Fire? Where am I? Trouble! I'd better get out of here. Fast! The front door! Nope. Front doors are usually impregnable. There must be another way to escape! Must be one of those trendy voice services. Just press the button and ask whatever you want. Whoa! What's going on with the electricity? This is... Weird. What's this supposed to depict? No idea how this happened, but I'd better stay away from that fire. I wish it was a real one, but it's just a digi window. And it's broken. A decorative blanket, maybe? Looks sturdy. I should take it. There! It's working! But maybe not for long. I need to get past that door! Locked! And in perfect shape! I don't think I can break that one. Locked! And in perfect shape! Looks like a multitasks tribot. Let's switch it on. Nothing. Is it out of juice? Another tribot. No good. Are they broken? I always knew these were unreliable junk. Too bad. They could have helped putting out the fire. Welcome. Yikes! Unidentified user. Please provide name and function. My name? It's, uh... Alert Level 5. Burglary in process. What the...? Please remain still until agents arrive to arrest you. I'm no thief, Triangle Head. And don't you have more urgent business to take care of? Like... the fire? Inappropriate attitude detected. Request for applicable disposition. Database search in progress. Network unreachable. Closest range of action in local data is... Neutralize the individual at all costs. That tin can is crazy. No point trying to reason with these things. Please don't interrupt the destruction process. Here it comes. <laughs> I'm glad this was the only mad robot here. Whoops! Ah! ah looks like this was the last one. Hey, a door just unlocked. Smoke. <coughs> That's unbearable. Well, I need to find a way out of here. Fast. <laughs> Leah! Hang on. I'm right here. It's you. Don't talk. You'll wear yourself out. I'll get you out of here. No need. Why are you saying that? 
You know why. I... No, I don't. What happened? Uh... Leah? Leah! She passed out. I need to help her. Quick! Uh, uh, no way. It's too heavy. I'll need a tool to help me move the furniture. Hmm. What if I remove that metal bar? There you go. Uh, so heavy. I have to. No, I'm not strong enough. All your fault. What? Murderer. Leah, what are you saying? I just found you. You're gonna make it, I promise. Liar. You killed me. You killed him. Stop it. You know I'd never do anything like that. Worthless. Dangerous. How could you lie to everyone? Even yourself? Stop it, please. Shouldn't have trusted you. My son isn't safe with you. That's not true. I... I'm taking good care of him. Wait. Something's not right. Where is... Criminal. Doomed. I... Need to focus to get you out of here. Hold on. I'll try it again. Uh, it's so heavy. Uh! <sighs> oh. <sighs> no, I'm I'm sorry. I love you, but I'm just not strong enough. Should have known. Huh? What's going on? I I'll get some help. Don't move! Of course! Running away, like always! I'm not, but... You'll be judged for your sins. No! No! The ground! Is everything collapsing? I'll... stay here with you. Liar! You left me alone! No, I won't. I'll never forget! I'll never forgive you! No! No! Huh? Oh. Morning. Another nightmare, huh? Uh, I guess. Somebody called you earlier. Who? How would I know? Check your phone. Right. Whoa! Six phone calls from the same guy? I better call them back. Hmm. Oh, finally. I thought you'd never reply. Yeah, sorry. I uh, had uh, personal issues. So tell me, your name is Sin? Do you need my services? Of course I do. You're my last hope. Please, come to my apartment. I've sent you the address. Wait, aren't you gonna tell? There's no time, and the line could be tapped. Okay. Hurry! Uh, uh, why do I only get weird clients? I'd better get ready. Leah, I still can't make any sense of these nightmares. It didn't happen that way. I wasn't there. Hey, how are you doing? Don't you have some errand? Don't mind me. But... I just want to have a little chat before I go. All right. What is it? This is Graf. I've been taking care of him since his mother died five years ago. Hard to believe it's been that long. I've been so busy trying to make ends meet, I've barely seen him grow up. How are you lately? I'm okay. You're sure? You don't seem very... I said I'm okay! Got it? All right. He's stressed out. Look, I know I haven't been there a lot lately, what with all my work. No problem. It's your life. But you're a part of it. Even if we have no blood ties. I'm in the middle of a game. Did you really interrupt me for that claptrap? <sighs> Kids. 
come you're not at school? You mean the Consciousness Center. Whatever. It used to be called school in my day. I'm taking it 10. My eco-manager teacher broke his ankle. He doesn't have a Meditribot. Can you believe it? We don't either. Yeah, but that's only because you're poor as a church mouse. School teachers are drummers. Yeah. Bunch of arrogant people who can't move a finger without a doohickey to help them. Yeah, you married one. Right. Your mom was different. About school. I mean, the conscious. The fair is today. What fair? The science fair. Don't tell me you already forgot. Oh, uh... It's in the regulations. The presence of a parent or tutor is required for the vote. You must be there at five o'clock. Okay, okay. I'll come. I promise. You better. Did you prepare something for that fair? Sure. The Graph Recycler 110. I've been working on it for months. Ah. Uh, so that's why you were so noisy in your room lately? Don't blame me. If the walls were better insulated, you wouldn't have to complain. Not complaining. Just curious. And yeah, I wish we could afford a better apartment. But for now, we'll have to make do. Hopefully not for long. When I get my diploma. Yeah, you'll have a new home under the dome. Can't wait. Take care. Yeah. Pompolos fruits. These cost a fortune and are full of chemicals. But I like to eat real food. I'll leave the other one for Graf. You know I don't like those. But you gotta eat solid stuff. Can't grow up with sodas. I mean, can't I? What would a detective be without a magnifying glass? Not exactly high tech, but that's how I like it. I should take it. It's your turn. What? Already? Didn't I do it yesterday? No, last week. Man, time flies. Oh, there's an ad under my clothes. That could be useful. Hey, this probably came up with a chili con insect I ate in bed last night. Hmm, not much left. Ugh. Goat cheese. I buy these for graph. I refuse to eat something produced by another person's body. Gross! What's that? Some kind of paper. Yep, that's an ad. Must have come with the food we bought. Hey! What's going on with the AutoClean Tribot? Dunno. Been stuck like that since morning. Maybe I should... Thing electrocuted me. Oh well, looks like we're both stuck at home today. Impossible. I need to get rid of it. My stick. This belonged to Grandpa. He barely used it to walk, but he taught me to fight with it. <laughs> Sorry, little bot. Great. Who's gonna do the cleaning now? Don't worry, I'll have Shay fix it. Hmm. The tank is full. It collected a lot of fur. Must be what caused the issue. Not my fault! Don't look at me like that! Oh no. Shouldn't have touched it. Now I'm covered in cat fur. The floor is all cracked. Maybe I shouldn't have jumped on it. But... Hey! Look at that! An ad was hidden underneath. The mail security system. Please confirm your identity by pressing the touch panel. Security. Tighter security, always more security. When did the world become so complex? You've got mail. I was afraid it was gonna say that. My biggest source of stress, opening that rack. 
tons of bills, security notices, more laws and advertisements. <sighs> Let's get this over with. Hmm. Just one bill? Great! Mm, wire energy bill? 245 units? Must be Graf. He's constantly in front of screens. Can't blame him, though. There's nothing much exciting to do around here. Say, another paper. Please note, due to numerous fraud attempts, direct transfer from phones is no longer accepted. What? All payments must now be processed through pipe terminals within two days of receiving your bill? Oh, great. I'm gonna have to find one of those. And most importantly, how am I gonna find so much dough on such short notice? I missed something. There's one little lad stuck between two racks. Another call? Hey, where are you? Well, on my way. I said it was urgent! Please hurry! Okay, okay! <sighs> Gee, what's up with that guy? Never had such a stressed client before. That doesn't bode well. This used to be an Ask Anything assistant to welcome new visitors. Back when right-thinking drummers built this place. It broke ages ago, so we've recycled it into a job board. Much more appropriate. So... What's new today? There's a cool collectible ad behind this ad. You wouldn't believe what drummers throw away. To get some of the best stuff, try our treasure hunt. Participation costs 10 units. Entrance located on the roof of this building. Yeah, I've used it before. Really a great deal when you're lucky. I'll give it a go if I find time today. 70-year-old lady, ready to take care of your kids in your absence. Price starting from 9 units per hour, varies according to species. I reserve the right to refuse wolves, crocs, and squealer cubs. Ugh. Two great kachu groups will perform next Wednesday in Sector 54X. Free entry. Come join us. Darn. This was last week. Missed it. Private detective and handyman. I wish the handyman part wasn't 95% of my day job. I've done enough plumbing for a lifetime. But we gotta make a living. Don't play with us. The boss won't like it. So, hand over the moolah. Mr. Squealer, did you take a good look? Do you really expect someone like me to have that kind of money? Who cares? Them's the rules. You make a deal, you pay. Or else. Oh, well, I guess this is gonna hurt then. Hey, what's your problem? Leave the old man alone. None of your business. Get the heck out of here. And as for you... Ugh! Can you end me quickly? Please, I'm done suffering. Oh, I'll make you suffer, buddy. Enough. You're gonna regret it. You'll pay for this. They're gone. Are you okay? Don't worry about me. What was that about? You really shouldn't have interfered. I don't have much longer to live anyway. Don't say that. And you didn't answer my question. It's a long story, but in short, I owe money. You see, I've been diagnosed with heart strength, which is incurable. Some days, the pain is hard to bear. I figured those rats could provide me with some drugs to suppress it. 
I just wanted to enjoy life before it's too late. I'm so sorry to hear that. Although, when there's life, there's hope. No disease is ever incurable. One just has to search thoroughly. I've lived with a chemist long enough to know that. Theoretically, but no one cares about us slummers. In any case, you shouldn't be staying here in the cold. Come to our apartment. There's not much space, but we'll find a way. That's very nice of you, but I can't accept. I've already caused you enough trouble as it is. I fear they'll come after you. Just let them. I'll show them the meaning of respect your elders. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to imply. Don't worry about it, but please don't insist. This is my choice. All right, but I'll find a way to help you somehow. I promise. You have your whole life ahead of you. Don't waste it on people like me. I want to, and it's my decision as well. <laughs> All right. Here's the last medical prescription I've got. This dates back to my time as a drummer, before they expelled me. Expelled? You know the rules. Only valid people are able to stay, unless you've got family to pay. And I don't. This medicine helps stabilize my disease. I'm not sure you can still get anything with this old cardboard piece, but take it. I wish I had something more useful to offer you. That's fine. I'll manage. Thank you, my boy. Those dog tags. You were in the military. Good eye, boy. A few years ago, I was part of the resistance during the Autarchism fight. Then surely you can face them. You may be a detective, but you've still got a lot to learn. My body is declining. I can barely stand on my feet. This is pointless. I've accepted the fact that my life is over. I can't let you say that. I'll find a way to help. Please don't give me false hope. Tell me, how come I've never seen you around? I go from street to street. Can't stay very long in one place. Begging is forbidden, and I can't afford a home. Our current society is quite contradictory. I see. Why not try and leave this city? You could have a small, peaceful life as a farmer out there. You know it's not that simple. The borders are currently closed to everyone but high-ranking citizens. Besides, Atlassi is my country. I was born here. I've defended it my entire life. This is where my life should end. Not like this. This is my choice to make. Those are squealers, weren't they? Correct. I thought they were exiled a decade ago. Yeah, at least that's what most people believe. However, some of them stay hidden in the shadows, infiltrating our society. My disease made me weak. They took advantage of the situation. But I don't blame them. How can you say that? They just tried to murder you! Yes, but I couldn't pay them back. I don't regret it, though. The drugs give me more time. I did everything I wanted. Still, they shouldn't go as far as threatening to kill you. There's just... no excuse. Be careful, boy. There's no such thing as black and white. I don't get it. What would they gain from getting rid of you? You'd never pay them back. I'll be an example. <laughs> I have more value dead than alive. Well, I won't let that happen. Please be careful. The last thing I'd want is to get you killed. Don't you worry about me. I can defend myself. Probably. But their numbers are great. You can't beat them all. <laughs> Bet on it? He said not to get involved or I'd get into trouble. Maybe he's right. But I can't help it. I need to help the poor chap. I've gotta go, but I'll be back soon. Be careful, boy. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Wait. That one is different! Hey, isn't this Graf's favorite band? Maybe I could buy him a ticket, if my finances allow it. Nice! An ad coupon! Oh, I remember.
remember this. Graf had a similar one when we first met. It's an inflatable cuddly toy. You just have to wet it a little and a few seconds later it gets all around like a balloon. Maybe Graf will want one again. Graf always carried his with him. I wonder what happened to it. And how come I totally forgot it existed? I'm afraid someday I might even forget my name. According to the message, my client lives in Center Basic 568. That block is near this street. Let's go check it out. This gizmo can be used for paying invoices and getting a daily pill. Let's give it a whirl. Nothing's happening. Is it broken? It is. It's been like this since yesterday, but no one has repaired it yet. Just my luck. You don't say. I set up my stall here for a reason. But no one comes around anymore. Are there any others around here? Probably. Though I've heard the same thing has happened at other places in the slums. Really? I haven't heard about this. Oh, you know... The media is all controlled by the government. You think so? Of course. In any case, it's kind of worrying. We need these. Yeah... I had too many other things going on to worry about. Everyone's saying the same thing. We need to stay positive and have faith in a brighter future. Hello. Hello, sir. Would you like anything? Just chatting for now. How's business? Could be better, but I'm not complaining. As long as I earn enough to make a living, it's fine. I like this job. Even if you see all kinds of weird stuff going on. What do you mean? Like, this morning, I got up early to prepare the stand. There was this big man sleeping. Like, right around the corner. In his underwear. I was worried he would scare off the customers. So I tried to wake him up. And boy, was it hard. I thought I wouldn't ever get him to stand up. That poor man... He said he couldn't remember drinking, but has no memory from the night before. He probably took some drugs. A homeless guy? Nope. He told me he's a policeman. Goes to show that even drummers aren't so happy with their lives after all. For a policeman to go that low, that's really bad. It doesn't matter how much they flash their shiny badge around town. They've got their share of troubles too. Yeah, all about maintaining that image. Oh, I didn't have that one. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Coupon. Something's in there. Ah, 
Oh, I didn't have that one. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Hey, who the heck are you? Get lost. Not very friendly. I get it. You're that salesman from last time. You guys just won't give up. But you're wasting your time. You've bothered me enough. Take this back. Huh? They slid a sales catalog under the door. Cool. There's a coupon inside. At last! Here you are! Ah, truly sorry. I had some... difficulties on the way. So, what's the fuss? I'm in deep trouble. I've lost my crippling gun. That's all? Why is it so important? I'm gonna lose my job, that's why! I'm... kinda new on the force. If I tell the chief I messed up, he'll fire me! I just can't afford it! So, you're hiring me to find that gun? Okay. How much can you offer? 500 unis. A thousand. I can't! 500 is all I can afford! Please! I'm begging you! <sighs> Alright. 500 it is. <sighs> Wish I was better at negotiating. Tell me more. Any idea where you lost it? Last night. I was on duty in Drummer Street. I'm absolutely certain I lost it during my watch in Alley Number 12. I had it before. Then why don't you search for it yourself? I can't go outside. If someone notices me without the gun, I'm done for. Aren't you exaggerating a bit? Are you from the police department? Of course not. I can't stand them. Uh... Then you don't know. Trust me. What happened exactly? How'd you lose it? If only I knew. I just remember exiting the alley and noticing it missing. Where did you store it? In my pocket. Where else? Anything else missing? Actually, yes. My handkerchief. A blue one. My wife hand-stitched it for me. It was in my pocket alongside the gun. Both are gone. Okay. This might prove useful. Drummer Street, you say? There's a border post to enter the area. I can't pass it. You're a detective. I thought you had credentials to examine the drums. Nope. All my clients are slummers. I usually don't go near the dome. Oh, great. You're a cop. Can't you give me something? Call your colleagues, maybe? I said it. I'm new. I have no one I can trust. In that case, give me your uniform and your badge. I'll impersonate you. Impossible. We don't use badges anymore. There's a body scan at the entrance of the dome. It can't be faked. Darn. You're right. Then, uh... Hmm. I know. I have a friend who can do wonders with technology. She will find a way to get through. Wonderful! Now, go ahead. What are you waiting for? Hey, I'm gonna take some risks for you. You could be a bit more gracious. Please, Mr. Detective, hurry up! Better, but I won't move until I get enough information. What now? I'd like to inspect your apartment. Experience tells me things are often hidden right before our eyes. But I told you, I lost it on Drummer Street. I insist. Let me do my job. Rule number three in my book, never blindly trust your client. Go ahead, but hurry. Why were you patrolling in this street? I received orders and I follow them. Were you alone? Aren't tribots and cameras enough for that job? The chief insists on keeping some humans in the crucial areas. Crucial, eh? I see what you mean. But that's how it is. Drummers get priority. How come you're living in the slums? I could have sworn cops were drummers. You're wrong. I don't earn that much. But are slummers allowed on the police force? I thought... Please stop the useless questions and do your job! There's no time to waste! So, I'm doing lost and found today? Mm, I shouldn't complain. I've had worse jobs. Well, I can't shake the feeling that something's not right. Well, I'm used to it anyway. Things always go wrong. Thanks for the info. Hurry up! Mm, quite the stack. 
Looks like the guy loves to drink. Nice! An ad coupon! Two glasses, eh? So what? Dunno. I had a feeling you lived alone. I do. Without searching through it, I can see an empty bottle of hot juice. Perfect to get drunk as a skunk. Let's see... Hey, don't touch my jacket! Don't worry. I'm just rummaging through your pocket to see. Gaha! <laughs> I've found... a flyer. One of those activists in the street must have put it there. Keep it. I don't care. What's this button for? Don't! It's my... Bed. Oh. Oh, I didn't have that one. What's that? Looks like some kind of... Whoops. I don't believe it. You've broken it. Oh, really sorry. Uh, what's that exactly? A uh, remote control for my, um, tablet. Ah, uh, in that case, no worries. My friend is an electronic genius. She'll fix it in no time. That's mine! I didn't allow you to take it! Trust me, I'll fix it. I owe it to you. <sighs> all right, all right. But hurry up and find that gun! You're wasting time here! Something stuck beside the mirror. A picture of Sin with a woman and a little girl? I wonder who they are. That cup doesn't seem important. However, there are two pills beside it. I'll take one. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Nice, an ad coupon. Oh, I didn't have that one. The garage is closed. That's weird. Usually she leaves it open all day. Say, are you there? No reply. I bet she's in there anyway. She never leaves the place. Weird. I don't remember this button. What the? Shay! Huh. Hey, Shay! Oh, hi, bro. How you doing? What the heck is that abomination of a machine near the door? Abomination? You mean the circular saw? Pretty neat, huh? Neat? That thing almost killed me! Well, you know, the slums aren't very safe for lone women. So, I built this ultimate crime detection device. The way you press the first button gives out a lot of information. Blood pressure, DNA, stress level. Got nasty intentions. The system detects it and triggers the saw. Now tell me. Are you feeling angry or stressed lately? Are you insane? Well, yeah. <sighs> all right, all right. I'll render it non-lethal then. But it will lose efficiency. Deactivate it. Now! Uh, okay. But only during the day. I've got valuable stuff in here. So, <laughs> why are you here? I need your help to get across the border post. I knew this day would come. See, I've prepared the perfect response to this. For real? Now, where did I put it? Just a sec. Gotta search. There we go! Only two types of things can cross the border. Authorized citizens registered in the mainframe, and controlled merchandise. Any living thing stored in packages will be automatically destroyed. Therefore, the best solution consists of killing you. 
not an option. I know. Well, technically this would work, but if you're not willing to try... <sighs> okay, the only other way isn't much easier. How to become an authorized citizen. The border post scans the user at the entrance in order to get a body print. This information is then compared to data contained within the local border post server. Each border post owns a copy of the data, which is replicated from into a central mainframe. Thus, you need to access one of these servers, add your body print, and ta-da! You're allowed to cross like a regular dome citizen. Doesn't sound too hard. Oh, I forgot to mention the deadly security equipment guarding the server. Nothing you can't handle, though. Well, thanks for the vote of confidence. I'm starting to wonder if that job is really worth the trouble. Mm. I promised not to interfere with your PI job, but you're seeing the glass half empty. Think of it as half full instead. Pray tell. If you become an allowed citizen, you can start prospecting new clients in the drums and get rich. That's a big if. Those rich folks will never be interested in a stinky, low-grade detective like me. But I guess it's worth a shot. That's the spirit, bro. Access the server, add my body print to the server. Huh, that's all fine and dandy, but how do I do that conclusively? Coming up. Whoa, what's happening? I got your body print with my own scanner and it's perfect. What? What's perfect? I injected the necessary information into your DNA. Huh? Isn't that dangerous? Not at all. Carrying info into your DNA is the most reliable way. No chance you'll lose it. That's not what I meant. Few people master the experimental DNA transportation. You're lucky. I'm one of them. I'm always the lucky one. What info did you inject? Your body print. You injected my body print? Into my body? Yeah. Uh, huh. Hmm. I kind of see what you're going for here, but it's more complex than you think. I had to include an encryption key, a data mining program. Forget it. What do I do now? Border post 001. There's a tall building with a roof that's shaped like a pyramid. You can't miss it. Yeah, I think I remember that weird pyramid. Find a way to enter the building, then connect to the server. By connect, I mean touching it. Those servers are offline, so direct contact is required. I've programmed it to automatically hack the operating system and install your body print into the database. Pyramid shaped building. Insert thingy into doodad. Got it. Will it work? Probably. What if it doesn't? Then I'm guessing you'll be chased by numerous security drones and tribot guards. Great. Trust me. I think it might work. Uh, I'm probably the most foolish person in the universe, but all right. I trust you. Cool. I won't pretend to know anything about computers, but can't you, like, hack the server on the network remotely? I know this sounds crazy, but there are things even a skilled cyber meddler like myself cannot do. The main server is not connected to the triweb. Color me disappointed. What were you doing here in the dark? I'm performing some isolation tests. Isolation? Yep. In our world, there are irritating environments. Loud sounds are usually the worst offenders. Don't need to tell me. My neighbors can be pretty loud at night. See this device? It's a hearing aid. I've succeeded in reversing its functions. So instead of amplifying sounds... It's blocking them? Glad to see you're following for once. Hey, I'm always up to finding out about more questionable inventions from you. But why was the garage closed? What if someone sneaks inside while I'm wearing these? I wouldn't want to take the risk. Well, I passed through and you didn't notice. You're not just anyone. You're the terror of the fight. The one and only bro. Don't overdo it. How are you doing these days? Busy. That's the thing. Ever since we found ourselves back a few years ago, we barely get time to talk aside from our job. We used to be so close back then. What happened? The world has changed. We've changed. Time is money, so we can't spend too much time idling, like, right now. You're right, but that's a shame. My best friend. We've known each other since kindergarten. A little rough around the edges, but I trust her with my life. Well, maybe a bit less since that saw incident. I'm on my way. Wait, 
Aren't you going to do a little training before tonight's... Tonight's what? The fight, of course. Oh, yeah. But... You forgot again? We do that every night. Well... Of course I remember. I'm a master when it comes to fighting, even when they're virtual. Well, master, you ought to do some training unless you want to get humiliated. Never. Get to the important part. How do I fight? The cabin detects your vital readings and summarizes them into a single life bar which everyone can see. Everyone? That's kind of... indiscreet. You should have read the paragraph about private life before signing. The program includes AI virtual opponents. Bots, if you prefer. They're easy to get rid of. Their appearance and moves are based off of people and things you've seen in real life. However, the real objective comes only with the night fight. After progressing through the level, you'll encounter your true opponent, the master, a real person. That's what the public is here for, an epic and decisive battle. Sounds dangerous. No pain, no gain. Each time you get hit, your life bar gets depleted. Not only that, but lasers in the cabin make you feel the impact, as if you really took a blow. Amazing, huh? I wouldn't say that. You're fine, as long as your life bar doesn't get empty. What? Don't tell me. You can die. Oh, well, technically, yes. <clears throat> but this can't happen. <laughs> Relax. Fatal blows can't happen during training. <laughs> Only in night fights. The thrill of death drastically increases the bets. And when you're about to run out of health, you can escape. I'll send you a reminder. No worries. I wouldn't risk losing you. That's pretty reassuring. Thanks. I mean, <laughs> it'd be a lot of trouble to find someone crazy enough to replace you. Hmm. I take that back. Can you repair this tablet remote control? A tablet remote control? Let me see. Where'd you get that? My client. He's a policeman, and it was dropped accidentally. That explains it. That ain't no tablet remote control, mister. This is police equipment. And if I'm not mistaken, it's used to remotely deactivate any kind of electronic devices. Cameras or mimes, for instance. Really? Why would the police disable cameras? To enter private properly safely, I guess. Or shady things. Well, doesn't matter. Please tell me you can fix it. Already done. What? Already? It's only cosmetic damage. It's working fine. Oh, thanks anyway. Can I turn off or damage Tribots with that? This sends small impulsions and needs to recharge itself, so I wouldn't bet on it. Give it a try on smaller things, though. Ah, oh, my cleaning bot is all messed up. It shocked me. I see. Can you fix it? Yes, but... You're better off leaving it in pieces. What? Why? Listen, you said it yourself. That bot is dangerous. It electrocuted you. Even if I fix it, what proves it won't hurt you again? Would you feel confident staying in the same room as a murderer? Huh? We're talking about a machine here. A Hoover. So what? I have a better idea. Judging from the aspect, this model is at least 30 years old, right? Yeah. I got it from the dump close to my apartment, but it worked fine, at least until now. One of the components contains u -Stom. That ore has run out on the surface of the planet. It's not used anymore, but I can sure have some use for it. So, here's my offer. I buy it back from you for 200 unis. With that money, you can buy a new one. Then, it's a deal? Sorry, I've grown fond of it. It's one of the first things I got when I moved into my apartment with Graf. Okay, I get it. But you shouldn't get too nostalgic. The past is the past. Look towards the future! Although, sometimes the future is in the past. What? Good luck, bro. Yeah, gonna need a lot of it. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Nice, an ad coupon. Oh, I didn't have that one. What's that? Are you hiding children in here? Bro, never? 
I hate brats. These are drawing attempts from artificial intelligences I've worked on. I thought I could make some money by winning this art competition. They're not very good. That's an understatement. Robots are capable of many things, but artistic talents are very much out of their league. At least, for the way the human brain interprets it. You can't reproduce the human creative side with algorithmies? Well, I've read a lot of studies. Theoretically, we could reproduce the entire human brain, except for creativity. AIs can mimic some patterns, but designing something from scratch by themselves and looking good? That's the only thing even you will always have an advantage over. Hey, no bot has ever matched me when it comes to fighting. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Nice, an ad coupon. Oh, I didn't have that one. Should I do a little training?
Let me guess. Hmm. Must be for closing the garage door? Hmm? Nothing seems to be happening. Huh? What's that noise? N nothing I just walked into some metal scrap. You know your garage could use some tidying. I never lose anything. Watch your step, bro. Better take that lever before she notices. Got a minute? Nope, but go ahead. Um, I, uh... Oh, my rubber cutter! I figured you might have taken it. Rubber? Cutter? Well, yeah. What else could it be? So, not a lever? It was inside that slot on the wall. Of course. I always put it there so I don't lose it. Oh. It cuts only through rubber. No risk to damage other materials. So, give it back. Wait. I might have a use for it. What? But you didn't even know what this was. Now I do. Please, pretty please. Ah. Uh, okay, okay. I'll manage. Keep it for now. Awesome. Um. <laughs> You're the best. Don't mention it. This might come in handy when fighting rubber bots. Gotta go. Okay, don't forget to train regularly. So, this is the pyramid-shaped building Shay mentioned. A Toxal pill dispenser. Darn, it's busted. Hi. Uh, hello. You, uh, look kinda depressed? Uh, especially for a robot. You don't know the half of it. Uh... So... Are you gonna tell me? Please don't talk to me. This may can be contagious. Oh, come on. It can't be that bad. After all, you're alive. Uh, I mean... Do not worry about me. Tell me, what's on your mind? Despair, darkness, death. Uh, not that, I mean... What happened to you? How would you benefit from knowing that? Dunno. Just curious. Is that so? See that building with a huge antenna in front of you? This is the sorting center. I've been working there for the past 30 years. I was responsible for the delivery of big packages. Lately, I haven't been 
efficient enough. The management noticed it. Today they've fired me. Man, that sucks. I'm so sorry. Not even robots are immune to layoffs now? So, what are you waiting for on this bench? Some scientists are on their way to pick me up. They're going to recondition me. What does that mean? Taking out some of my circuitry. Giving me a new triangle head, like those new models. Then my firmware will be updated. I will lose all data on my hardware memory. You will be reset? Yes, precisely. I've never felt like this before. I believe I won't be myself anymore. Isn't this like dying? Uh, I don't know, but it sure sounds terrible. There are so many questions on my mind. What happens if I die? What if I commit suicide? Is there a god for robots? Man, I can't keep up with spiritual stuff for humans. Never mind robots. Can you describe your job more precisely? My main objective was to sort packages between various destinations, including the slums and the drums. Packages were automatically sorted by size and shape to fit the pipe leading to their target. I just had to push the correct buttons on my control panel. Square button for square packages, triangle button for triangle packages. Seems simple enough. Can't a machine take care of that? Uh, I think I may have said something stupid again. No, you're right. That's the thing. They're going to fully automatize the process. Although, part of the job was also to ensure no dangerous materials went past this point. This didn't happen often, but in case of any doubt, I had physical access to the packages to check them. It's not fair. I never screwed up. Always pushed the right buttons. No accident, never. Sure, I may be getting slower over time, memory chips wearing. Was that enough reason to get rid of me? I, uh, probably not. So, who's doing the job now? No one. Really? How was the mail delivered now? I guess it's stuck. Actually, I don't care. I just couldn't care less. Am I being selfish? Mm, that bot is something. I've never seen any reacting like this. Maybe just a little, but that's okay. It happens to the best of us. Oh. You made me curious. May I take a look at where you work? No, I've locked access. Can you open it? All right. Now you can enter. Wonderful. Thanks. See? You're useful. No, this is my last act on this planet. <sighs> if I could cry, there'd be a river down my feet right now. Hmm. I'll help you. You cannot. Yes, I can. All you need to do is find yourself a new job. Impossible. I was designed for this specific task. I don't believe that for a second. You got two arms, two legs, you can do anything. If you say so, then what do you suggest? You could work for me. What do you do in life? Many things. I'm a detective. People ask me for help in various ways. By night, I fight to get some extra money. Wow, this is... I'm sorry. I'm... Nothing like you. I'm neither bright or strong. I would just be a burden. Don't say that. I'm not either, really. I just try my best, and I'm sure you're very capable. What do you need to live? I use one non-rechargeable thermionic battery per year. Ah, 
This could be a problem. I'm not rich, and those are very expensive. I told you, this wasn't possible. Okay, I'll find something else. Why don't you work at the waste treatment center in the slums? I don't know. What is it like? It's pretty similar, using a lever to uncover interesting stuff and throw away the rest. Darn, I forgot. It's on free mode, but it's not free. I have no money. Hmm. Maybe I can come up with something better. Uh, just let me think a little more. I'm not worth your time. Leave me alone. Gotta go, but no worries. I'll be back soon. Don't bother. What's up? Say, don't you need an assistant? No. This wasn't the answer I was expecting. Look, I need a favor. A cool little robot I've met is about to get transformed and wiped out. You wouldn't want a poor innocent soul being erased like this, would you? Since when are you a friend to robots? I'm friendly toward every creature who doesn't try to harm me. Okay, what kind of robot is it? Not a tribot for sure. Looks like an old model. Two rusty arms plus a square head. He's worked at the Border Post Sorting Center for years. Mmm, maybe? I knew you'd accept. Thank you. Hey, let me finish. It must be one of those pre-war bots. Weaking them is strictly forbidden by law. Since when do you care about that? Exactly. It's exciting. Maybe I could give it a try and remove this tracking device. However... I was afraid you'd say that. You want a counterpart, don't you? Yep. Until it becomes useful, I'll need to pay for its energy source and the time I'll spend fixing it. Let's say... 200 unis. I'll deduct them from tonight's fight earnings. Deal. I'm gonna tell him to come here. Thanks. I can't wait to get my hands on it. I've always wondered how those antiquities work. Just promise me not to erase his memories. Oh, <laughs> I'll be sure to make plenty of backups. That's, uh, um, okay. I'll leave you to, uh, whatever you're doing. See ya. Me again? Why are you insisting? I'm done for. I've got an idea. I got the perfect job for you. An assistant to my best friend Shay. She's some kind of crazy inventor who's very skilled with technology. You could help her by bringing her tools, performing searches, and all kinds of stuff mad inventors do, I, I guess. You just need to agree to being tweaked to get your tracking components removed, among other things. Will she erase my memory? She promised not to, but remind her, just in case. I hope I'll be up to the task. But it'll always be better than being wiped out. Thank you so much, Mr. Mr. I'm sorry, I do not know your name. No apologies needed. The name's Brock. Just go to Shay's garage, right near the garbage sea harbor. My navigation system is a bit rusty, but I should be able to locate it. You've got my eternal gratitude, Master Brock. Citizen, do not talk to this apparatus. Move away. Oh no, the guards! They're here to take me! Not gonna happen. Refusing to obey is a fifth class fault. You shall be eliminated. Stay down while I get them. It's over. You've destroyed them, but why 
They're robots, too. They threaten both of us. But am I more important than them? I can't. No time for existential questions. Get out of here fast, before more come. You're right. Goodbye, Master Brock. Hey, that's a collectible ad. What is this control? There aren't any labels. Yep. Oh, getting high. I better watch my step. An ad coupon. Ah, for once, I'm glad I didn't forget to take my keys. I'm thankful for whoever invented screwdriver keys. Closed, obviously. No way I got up there for nothing. Uh, I'm getting sick of this. What in the world am I doing up here? Why did I even accept this mission? I'm so... stupid. Huh? Oh, I guess it just needed a good kick. Whoa, they're not kidding around with security here. This must be the computer Shay talked about. Let's see. There, I've touched that panel, and now what? That's all Shay told me to do. I should have known it wouldn't be that easy. It worked? Do I have a drummer license now? Awesome! I can finally leave this stressful place. Hmm. Maybe I should do the same for Graf. Hmm. Nah. He'll get his diploma. And he'd blame me forever if he knew I cheated. I trust him. anyway, but hey, look at that. A few products fell on the floor. It'd be a shame to let good food go to waste. Oh, I didn't have that one. Scan complete. User allowed. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Nice! An ad coupon! Oh, 
I didn't have that one. <sighs> I remember this place. Hasn't changed much since we were forced to leave. Looks like the alley Sin mentioned, but it's blocked by a power barrier. Access forbidden by the Triangle. The Triangle? Our government. Puny human. Oh, yeah. Citizen, stand back. Access restricted. Why? What happened? This information is confidential. The individual needs to make a new query or disperse. All right, then. What happened here? This information is confidential. Please make another query. Oh, come on. I'm a detective. You can tell me. Scanning in progress. Please wait. Database check in progress. Record not found. Low-level user privileges. Access denied. <sighs> Someday I'll need to get myself a real PI license. I guess something happened in the pharmacy? We cannot confirm or deny such information based on rumors, even when they're true. Please make another query or be gone. Hmm. So you're guarding it until the police examine the situation, huh? Forget the pharmacy. Why can't I access the alley? Regulations stipulate that surrounding areas should be closed to the public, regardless of involvement. Just my luck. So, tell me, rubber buddy. How you doing? Moderately well. Our priority assignment is to guard the pipe mail, but our battery level is running low. The pipe mail? You mean the tube thingy over there to send mail? Correct. Irresponsible citizens have been misusing it lately, so it needs constant guarding. I would have thought whatever happened at the pharmacy would be higher priority than some metal junk. This is expensive technology. Wrecking it will no longer be tolerated. Scanning in progress. Hey, what you doing? Analysis completed. Probability of causing wreckage is 8%, which is under the tolerance threshold. What do you take me for? I wouldn't wreck your pipe thingies without a reason. Good. In extreme situations, the death penalty may apply. Are you serious? We Tribots do not have the ability to lie. Most of the time. How long will it take for you to charge up? We are extremely powerful, and thus we require a lot of power. Unfortunate events led to my battery being depleted and damaged. A full recharge will take 18 years, 5 days, 3 hours, 9 minutes, and 43 seconds. 18 years? <laughs> yeah, you're damaged all right. But you can't watch over the pipe mail while recharging, right? Incorrect. A notification will be sent to my operating system in case an individual attempts to mess with it. Good day. The day is always good. Please be gone. A memorial fountain. Autarchism Day. 3026 AR. Almost 10 years ago. We used to be ruled by a giant democracy involving most countries of the world. But a deep economic crisis led to conflicts. Atlassia became independent and self-governed. Hey, that's a collectible ad. There you go. There, it's wet. Just a few seconds. Emergency. Degradation attempt. Analysis. There. Let's see what happens. Analysis completed. Foreign object in the pipe mail system. Problem solved. Warning, no energy coming from the socket. Power is running low. Activating power saving mode. Activation failed. Need to find energy source. And he's out.
the Tribot cop has left some kind of key. Oh, I know. Should I enter? Seems like there's an ongoing police investigation. Oh well, I'll just take a look-see. This place kind of reminds me of Leah's laboratory. She used to be so happy working on those medications. Mm. But the past is the past. Let's not dwell on that. Welcome. It seems you put on some weight since your last visit in our stores. Right. Muscles. Mm. This is incorrect. We've detected a 35% fat increase. Ugh. We've highlighted our special recommendations for you. Nice! An ad coupon! Traces of... I'd say... Attempts to force open this drawer. Yet the drawer is securely locked. Can't imagine the managers would let this damaged drawer remain exposed to the customers. This must be recent. Guess I found the reason for the police investigation. Someone tried to get what's inside. Still, that doesn't concern me. I think... Looks like one of those ad bubbles. What's it doing here on the floor? Wait, what's that? A camera lens? I see. It must have... Yeah, that seems like the most logical explanation. Someone turned it off. And this happened recently. In many cases, there's no button or anything to view the recordings. I'll leave that to the cops. Here's your daily anti-pollution remedy. The one and only Tox-Out Pill. For your information, your last Tox-Out Pill request was received five years ago. Actually, I don't know why I pressed this button. It's been a long time since the haze had any effect on me. I'll give it to Graf. Keep in mind, the dome protects you, but your home adds an extra layer of protection. As long as you stay inside, you don't need one every day. Decrease government spending by staying home more than 20 hours a day. 20 hours a day? Oh, I'd go crazy. Please wait a moment. This is a Starix 500 pill. This treatment is prescribed in case of extreme anxiety, insomnia, and emotional outbursts. Due to high concentration, this formula is restricted to individuals with a risk of dangerous behavior to relatives. We're hoping this isn't for a close friend. If so, make sure to give them the appropriate support. Anxiety? Dangerous behavior? Why did I find this at Sin's home? Does he need those? Warning. High dosage greater than one pill a day has a 99% chance to cause blackout and or comatose state. What? To reduce this side effect, this pill always needs to be taken alongside a Calmese E. Don't forget. In case you're not wearing your MediLive Health, be sure to always follow the Phi Doctor recommendation. This establishment will not be held responsible for any accident. Hence why I don't trust medicine. Fix one thing, breaks another. Please wait a moment. This medical prescription is outdated. Please update it in an appropriate medical government-approved signing device. Update? A piece of cardboard? Great. Where am I going to find a drum or doctor? They require all kinds of health insurance, and it's not even for me. Maybe I can do something else for them in the meantime. A selection of products. Looks like I need to press the pictures to get more info. How careless. Your skin is so rough. Whether you're furry or reptilian, you need to take good care of your skin. It's the only thing protecting you from the elements. Do not hesitate. Buy our soft skin gels to add a protective barrier and make your coating so much smoother and nice looking. That's foolish. My skin is supposed to be rough. Product added to your shopping cart. Hey, wait. I don't want to order that. Product transferred from your shopping list to your wish list. <laughs> Stupid. Getting old. Losing your hair and your fur. No worries. Youth gain will stimulate your roots to grow it back. Now you'll look young forever. A society based on appearances? Getting older is part of living. Product added to your shopping cart. No, I don't... Ugh, I give up. Did you know? Regular food isn't good for you. 
In addition to being full of salt, sugar, and fat, it doesn't provide you with the specific quantities recommended for your body. The solution is Delastute, a perfect combination of vitamins and energy, swallowed in just one second. And it's yummy! No thanks. I don't feed on placebo. Product added to your shopping cart. So, are you overweight and feeling the need to eat all day? Stop! Or should we say, stop, Unger? This revolutionary powder causes both your brain and your stomach to refuse any food once you've reached your nutritional recommendations. I don't need no stinking powder to know when my stomach is filled. Product added to your shopping cart. Man, you're such a ball of nerves. How many times have you heard this? Time to remedy it with Calmes E. Combine these capsules with your Medi Live Health so they can get gradually diffused into your body as you need it. Who's a ball of nerves? Not me, that's for sure. And remember, the first step towards a good relationship with others is acceptance. Shut up, you stupid contraption! Ugh. Product added to your shopping cart. Burn your fat with Baud Normalizer. Made with salt extracted from corrosive minerals from east of Serene, this will stimulate your body to remove excess fat and get a fit, socially acceptable body. Acceptable, huh? Congratulations! To reward you for checking all of our recommended products, here's something special for you. An ad? That's a bit like putting a cherry on top of a rotten cake. Huh? We're sorry. It appears you don't have enough units. Would you like to pay with credit? Only 40% interest, spanning any length according to remaining lifespan estimates. Hey, I didn't pick any product. Your shopping list currently has many items. Clear it! Drop it! I don't care! Just get me out of here! This action requires you to unsubscribe from automatic payout. Are you sure? Yes! Very well. You've been unsubscribed. But remember, you can subscribe again at any moment to make your life easier. Yeah, yeah. Make my life harder. Goodbye. What's with all the cardboard boxes? Huh. It rains every night, yet they're dry. Someone put them here today. Small target to play, maybe? <laughs> oh, I didn't have that one. This ad? Is it my reward for hitting the target? Hey, that's a collectible ad. Wow, it's been years since I've seen one of those wanted signs. No one really cares in the slums anymore. While in the drums, it's much more efficient to display hollows all over the city. This face looks very familiar. Must have been a famous affair? Good idea! Some blue cloth with sin written on it? Bingo! Here's a lost handkerchief. Then, I definitely need to go down there. I'm gonna try... Ooh. Nope. Can't open it with my bare hands. Yes! Some heavy marks here, starting right next to the handkerchief location. And if we consider it was raining last night, just like every night in this area, no doubt about it, an object fell here and slowly drained further. I bet this is what I'm looking for. Hey, I recognize this. I think it's called... Newspaper. These haven't been produced for years. How is it still intact? 
especially near chemicals. Or maybe they're the reason it's still intact. In any case, better not touch it. <laughs> There's something inside. Nice, an ad coupon. I've heard of insects digging small holes like this. I'm afraid I'm gonna regret this, but... Uh, now that's unexpected. I found an ad. Let's see. Yep, that's definitely Sins. If the handkerchief's here, I bet the gun isn't too far either. Whoa! Isn't that... A self-regenerating mine? I better watch my step. Hmm. I could swear I've seen this already. But where? In any case, this doesn't bode well. A bunch of very thin wires. Must be components of those mines. After all, they're electronic devices. Oh. I didn't have that one! Mm -hmm. Hey! I believe this deactivated the mines. This might not last for long, though. Uh-oh. Trouble ahead. A crack in the sewers. <laughs> How cliche. Uh, hello. I am... I don't care who you are. Mm. Squealers. Always straight to the point, huh? Although, you look familiar. Well, as far as I'm concerned, you all look the same to me. Boss, he's the guy who defeated us this morning. What? You lost against this vermin? No worries, boss. We wasn't prepared. This time, we'll get the job done. I'm looking for something, and you're in the way. This our territory, Croc. Wrong. The sewers are public. Tell that to your precious government. They exiled us, left us to die. Look, I don't want any trouble. Too late. No one gets to see us and live to see tomorrow. Guys! Wait! I know you're kind. You squealers are nothing but scum. You've been banned for a reason. Get out of my way. Ooh, Baby Croc is having a temper tantrum. Ooh, I'm so scared. I hate to break the news to you, Croc, but you're clearly outnumbered. Don't underestimate me. You might take me down, but not before I get rid of some of you first. Think about it. Do you want to take the risk and lose some lives foolishly? Croc got a point, boss. Shut up! Did you forget our motto? Fight to the end. To reclaim our due. I know, but... Look, Croc. We won't let you pass. But I'll let you live for today. Go back to where you came from. If you dare talk about us to anyone, we'll get you. Your friends. Your family. Everyone you've ever loved. No matter what, no matter where, no matter when. <laughs> I'll be going. Although this means I'll need to find another way through. Mm -hmm. Rubbish. This mine stays visible, even from afar. Would this mean... Yep, it's broken. Ugh, better avoid big shocks while carrying this, though. <clears throat> Going here was mighty dangerous, but at least it was worth the reward.
What's up? This mine seems broken. Do you think? All right, let's get the why are you traveling with the mine part and ask, you want me to fix it, right? Uh, yeah. Do it yourself. Hey, that's not very nice. No, I mean it. That mime ain't broken. It just needs a refill. Put some Trax powder inside it and you're good to go. Where am I going to find that? Don't you have some? Sure, I can... Um, or not. I forgot. I ran out last week and forgot to order some. Ooh, sorry. You're screwed. Great. Just in case. What does that powder look like? A grayish blue. It smells a bit like rotten pamphlets. Hmm. I might have seen powder like that somewhere. Gotta go. Okay, don't. Some kind of bluish powder is leaking out of it. Oh, smells like rotten pompolos. Seems like an idea. There, I've refilled the mine with that powder. I hope it works. Oops, I pushed it a bit. That's three times the regular dose. I better not move too quickly. Mm -hmm. Get rid of that thing. Scanning in progress. Dumping process started. Hey, it's making a funny noise. <laughs> I hope it worked. Only one way to find out.
Whoa! Or just unconscious. <laughs> no way! How could you? Sorry, you didn't leave me a choice. Go ahead. Finish us! That was never my intention. I'm nothing like you. <laughs> that... voice... I... I knew a crack, but that's... impossible! It's... it's you! I remember you! After all these years! Huh? Our banishment... You're responsible for this! What do you mean? You're gonna pay for it! Whoa! I had to knock him out. What was that all about? So, all the items citizens throw away end up here? The squealers must be trafficking these. Let's see... Old ripped clothes, broken dish, a... chair? How did that even fit in the tube? Hey, here's a worm! Oh, delicious. Uh, anything else of interest? I, I doubt it, but it's worth checking again. Hmm... Yes, here's an ad. Seems like the object I'm tracking went through that machine. Hmm, I need to get closer. Hey, that's a collectible ad! Hmm... Must be an inside view of the purifying engine. Some things are stuck inside. Let's try and get them out. What do we have here? A gun. Let's examine it further. There's the police logo here. Definitely the one I'm looking for. Ooh, seems loaded. I should resist shooting it. The gun may be tracked. Who knows what kind of info this could transmit. A serial number. I doubt I could access the police database, so it's no use to me. Hey, I thought this looked different. Someone stuck a small ad here. There you go. Uh, some initials. RJ. Those can't be Sin's initials. What does this mean? I better get to the bottom of this. Time to return to Sin's and have a little chat.
they're all gone. Gotta be careful. I bet we'll meet again. The only efficient medicine on this list happens to be the cheapest. Go figure. I'll buy one. Should I buy some snacks? I owe 245 units, and I need to pay this within two days on a pipe mail. Raph spends more and more time in front of screams. Must be that age. Hi. Uh, hello, my boy. I don't mind talking, but I don't see how I could be of any use. It's gonna be a little more complex than I thought. Oh. But don't worry, I'm not giving up. Is there anything I can do for you until I get your medicine? Hmm. Some regular medicine helps a bit. Tell me, which one? Glucosite. But it's so expensive. I can't ask you. I'll get you that. Don't. You'll only be delaying the inevitable. I know you and your son could use that money. My son? How do you... Just a guess. Well... I'll get some anyway. All right. But promise me you won't be foolish. Keep this in mind. Sure. Here. Glucosite. My boy. Nah, don't say anything. Just take it. Fine. Thank you. I still intend to get you your prescription medicine. Gotta find a doctor, though. Don't waste your life on this. Time is money, and you're clearly lacking both. I'll manage. I found it. The gun? You got it? Awesome! You're a lifesaver! Wait. I'm not giving it to you. Yet. What? Why? My investigation brought up some questions that need clarification. I'd like you to explain a few things. Uh, sure. Go ahead. So, the pharmacy incident, all the other- You're no- No, you- Maybe I'd- Look. If you're telling- Wait! You just- I How many glasses do I want to throw?! <laughs> Hey, you want a drink? Um, sure.
Here. Oh, oh. Thanks. I found it. The gun? You got it? Awesome! You're a lifesaver! Wait. I'm not giving it to you. Yet. What? Why? My investigation brought up some questions that need clarification. I'd like you to explain a few things. Uh, sure. Go ahead. That gun ain't yours. Huh? Of course it is. I got it when I was recruited onto the police force. Then explain those initials. R.J. Well, yeah. Another agent got it before me. Who? Is that important? It must be the agent who went into retirement before me. I can't remember his name. That's not all. The identifier code has been scratched beyond readable. How do you explain that? I guess... It's not brand new, you know. He must have worn it out during his missions. Hmm. See this? Yes, my remote control. So what? Oh, uh, I forgot. What is it for? It's for changing my bed position. Oh, is that so? Didn't you say this was for your tablet? Um, well, yeah, it can do both. Huh. Anyway, my friend told me something quite interesting. See, she thinks that's a police device to remotely disable cameras. <sighs> okay. I admit, that's true. Then I just confirmed you're a liar. Are you stupid? That's police equipment. Civilians aren't supposed to know about it. Hmm. Have you ever used it? Not recently. All right. Then tell me, weren't you patrolling near the pharmacy last night? Yes, I told you. Then what? Get to the point already. An incident occurred there. The pharmacy camera had been deactivated. I suspect this little thingy could be responsible. I... no idea. Why would I do such a thing? You tell me. You're testing my patience. I said I didn't use that darn remote control, got it? Did someone steal it from you? Aside from you, no! Okay. You know anything about what happened at the pharmacy? Only what you told me. That someone deactivated the camera to steal something. I didn't mention any robbery. Well, that's only logical. What else could it have been? True, except nothing seems to be missing. However, someone attempted to force open a drawer in the back. Do you know what's stored in there? No, and I couldn't give a darn. So you weren't involved in any way with the pharmacy incident? Enough with your questions. Mind your own business. You're the one who asked me to investigate. Not on me personally. This is irrelevant. I can't trust him. Here's a pill. What's it for? The heck would I know? Really? You don't? Even though it's yours? What? You just stole it from me? Actually, I stole it an hour ago. I can't believe it. Well, you better. This is Sterix 500, an antidepressant with an interesting side effect. With a strong enough dose, anyone can fall into a comatose state. Where are you going with this? I almost think you're accusing me of drugging someone. Not just someone. A cop. You're insane. Sure, maybe I am. But here's my theory. The merchant girl on your street described a guy deeply asleep earlier this morning in his underwear. She had a tough time waking him up and he couldn't remember what happened. But he knew one thing for sure. He's a policeman. So you think this policeman came to see me? Impossible. I haven't had any visits in days! What about the two glasses on that table? Since when can we not drink with multiple glasses? I'm going through a tough situation and you're making it worse! Why did I hire you? Now I understand why you were so cheap. What? My prices are too low? <sighs> Forget it.
Let's assume I'm right, and that gun ain't yours. Wouldn't it make sense that it belongs to the cop you put to sleep? Those are big accusations. Stop with the mindless assumptions. I'm fed up with all that crap. Give me my gun back. I'll take it by force if I need to. First, I won't let you. Second, your insistence confirms my suspicions. Huh? You're just trouble. Darn it, what do you want from me? The truth. So, the pharmacy incident, the drugged policeman, the gun's true owner. All the evidence points towards the same direction. You're no policeman, Sin. You're a thief. No, that's wrong! You don't have any tangible proof. Maybe I don't, but the police would. Look, I have an idea. If you're telling the truth, it shouldn't be a problem if I ask the cops about your identity. Wait! Don't do this! You just don't understand. I'm... You don't leave me any choice! <clears throat> ah, my head... Ah, I feel weak. Uh, sorry. That drink... I see. You knew I might become dangerous. You win. I can't fight like this. You were right. You read me like an open book. I'm a thief. A low-grade criminal. But I did it for my daughter. Your daughter? Yes. I just want to see her again. I made a huge mistake. Or at least I think I did. A week ago. My wife found videos of me with another woman. The truth is, I can't remember it. Think you've been framed? <sighs> don't know. Maybe. Any enemies? Not that I'm aware of. The videos seemed real. I concluded I must have been drunk one night and... Well, in any case, she was furious. She made me leave home. She warned that I should never come close to her or our daughter anymore. I tried to reason with her, but to no avail. Not seeing my wife anymore is hard enough, but my daughter too. Women can sure get hopping mad, but that's a temporary setback. Not this time. She's a journalist, you know. Knowing the truth is of the utmost importance for her, and I definitely lost her trust. I attempted to talk to my daughter at the Consciousness Center, that made her totally mad. She threatened to start an expel procedure. Expel? I would lose my qualification and access to the drums. So, you're a drummer? Yes. Well, not much longer, I guess. I had no choice. I left by myself to come to this awful dump. Well, no offense. None taken. But why the stealing? I thought about this situation thoroughly. I just... I can't live without my sweet little girl. I can't. So, I had to go back and reverse what happened. I'm afraid the past can't be changed. You're wrong. There is a way. I could get her back. If her mother would forget this incident. Can anyone really forget such an important event? Yes, with oblivion. Oblivion? This medicine was invented for critical situations. Victims of a trauma. Kids losing their parents tragically. It has the ability to suppress select memories days after they occurred. Of course, the government kept it secret. Having this rolled out to the public would have dramatic effects. I spent entire days searching for a solution, and I finally did. A hacker lived in the apartment next to mine. After some convincing, he shared some leaked reports. Oblivion was mentioned, as well as locations where it's stored. I had a policeman friend, RJ. He regularly patrolled around one such location. That pharmacy? So you drugged him to disguise yourself and steal the medicine? Exactly. I desperately needed it. What a way to treat your friends. True. But if you had a kid, you'd know. You'd do anything for them. I deactivated the camera and tried to force open the drawer. But then... I ran out of luck. A bot detected me and called the cops. I didn't have a choice. If I ended up in jail, my hopes of getting back my daughter would be lost forever. So I escaped through the back alley. What about the gun? 
in the rush. I took it out from my pocket and threw it in the sewers to get rid of it. But, what a fool. I forgot to clean off my fingerprints. If the cops got their hands on it, I'd be done for. So that's what happened. You hired me because you needed the gun back, but couldn't take the risk to search for it yourself. Yes. Now, go ahead. Call the cops. I'm ready. No. What? I won't. The only thing I wanted was to know the truth. Look, we're on the same side. I've got a kid too, sort of. But I deserve it. I attacked you. How could you forgive me? How could anyone? Don't worry about me. You've suffered more than enough, man. I won't tell anyone. And I'll help you get rid of that stinking gun. Really? But I... I lied about something else. I don't even have enough money to pay you. I figured I'd just find a solution. Ah, well, I had a feeling you'd say that. No worries. We'll figure something out later. I... This is... Thank you. Don't mention it. Here's the good... Don't move! Hands over your head! <laughs> you too! You're both under arrest. What? But... Don't bother trying to use the gun. We've deactivated it. How did you find us? Your detective friend here was behaving suspiciously. It was automatically recorded by the system. He led us to you. We took the time to record your confessions behind the wall. That'll save us time. Ooh, sorry. You're darn right to be sorry. This time I got you, Pork. Helping criminals is a federal infraction. The name's Brock, you disrespectful weasel. Whatever. Come on, move. Both of you. <sighs> Whoa! I'm late! <sighs> Take a seat. The director will arrive in 3 minutes and 30 seconds. In the meantime, feel free to do exercises at your desk. Psst. Hey, what? Huh? What's going on? Where are the others? I'm not sure, but Stubot said Mr. Fenton has been promoted to another center. Hmm. Don't you think that's strange? What is? Well, first it was our polyrectical teacher who became clinically depressed. Then our eco-manager started having health issues. And now our algorithmic teacher is transferred elsewhere. All of our human teachers are gone, and replaced by bots. <sighs> nah, no conspiracy there. You watch too many liveies. They're just replacing the staff with bots to optimize cost. They're becoming less expensive over time, while us humans are much less reliable. Don't you feel concerned? It sucks, but we should be thankful to have been accepted here. Would you prefer one of those crappy slum kids centers? It's our only chance to become drummers, to live under the dome. I know. I worked hard enough just to get a place here. Still... Go ahead, sweetie. Take a seat. Hey! I told you! Don't call me that in front of everyone! Students, I have some rather major news. As Stubot must have informed you, Mr. Fenton has been promoted and will not be coming back. This incident and some previous others have implied unforeseen changes to the management. It has been decided that your final trials will be advanced to this week, starting now. What? Now? But Afraid you won't pass, stinkies. Shut up, baby robot. Quiet, please. The trials will span across three days. In addition, your science fair invention will be rated and counted for the diploma. As the only students choosing this career path, all four of you will be constituting one group. Stubot here will serve as standard meter to evaluate your performance. Meaning, you will pass if you get a score equal or better than Stubot. Keep in mind though, this is not a competition. Yeah, right. The trials are split into four parts, each counting 25 points for a total of 100 points altogether. The first part consists of a series of exercises you'll be doing now. Any questions? Ott? I've got a major problem. 
From tomorrow, I'm supposed to start my internship at the police station. I know. We've decided to do you a favor. You'll be doing tomorrow's trial in the evening after everyone else. What? But... No, but... Remember, getting accepted into active society as a drummer for kids like yourself means substantial efforts. You must be willing to make sacrifices. Don't worry, it'll be fine. Huh. All right, the exam starts now. There you go. I'm stressing full steam now. Easy. Looks like the others haven't finished yet. Very well. The results should appear in a few seconds. Oh man, here comes the stress again. Good job, guys. Clay submitted fast enough to get two bonus points. Eh. Same for you, Graf. Good job. You will get the correct answers on your phone in the evening. That's all for now. The fair will take place right here. Deliberation will occur at 5 p.m. Thank you. Great job! Thanks. You did well, too. I'm sure I answered everything correctly, but I still couldn't beat Clay. Don't worry about it. You'll get your diploma and become a drummer. We'll pass together. Of course we will. <sighs> I wonder what Brock would say about all this. I'm pretty sure he's having fun right now. Being a detective must be so cool. <sighs> hey, Ott! Wait for me! So I gathered a few clues. I had suspicions, of course, but a detective gotta trust his clients a bare minimum, you know? And this is when I realized that Sin... Shut up! Ugh... What a chatterbox you are. Sit. Wait a minute. The interrogation room? How perspicacious. Aren't you supposed to interrogate Sin first? Uh-uh. In due time. Sit! Ah, uh, okay. Man, those cuffs sure are tight. They aren't really necessary, you know. Don't be a child. This is the procedure. Yeah, procedure schmeaters. You haven't changed a bit, huh? After all these years. This is irrelevant to the case. So, what am I guilty of? We'll determine that. Uh, I don't feel comfortable with this robot watching us. Why is it here, anyway? 
to perform technical requirements such as recording and testing the equipment. Just ignore it. Starting. What's this contraption for? The procedure? Enough with your procedure, Drivel. I have the right to know what this is. Fine. That's a lie detector. What? I thought these weren't reliable enough to... The engineers have made remarkable improvements. False positives are now reduced to 0.02%, which was deemed an acceptable rate. As such, this equipment has been recently approved by our government. A very precious asset. Calibration in process. Subject needs to stay still. A word of advice? You'd better not lie. Or what? That thing's gonna electroshock me? <laughs> no, no way! Is this even legal? Calibration over. Perfectly legal. I could show you the description of the law, but I'm not even sure you can read. <sighs> I've been to school. For a few years. Shall we start? Listen carefully. I will ask you ten questions. For each one, you've got exactly ten seconds to reply. It is highly recommended to give the first answer that comes to mind. Our only aim is solving this case. If the device detects a lie... Let me guess. Electroshock? Uh-huh. Glad I don't have hair then. It would be such a mess. Starting timer. Alright. First question. What is your name? You know my name, Inspector. I'm not Inspector anymore. From now on, call me Commissioner Wes. Oh, okay. Inspector... Uh, commissioner? This question is meant to provide cross-checking for fine-tuning end results. I still didn't hear your name. Oh, uh, yeah. It's Brock. Are you sure? Of course. Last name? It's just Brock. Subject now registered as just Brock. No, I meant... Uh, forget it. Next question. What's your job? It's obvious. Private detective. Uh-huh. If I remember correctly, you used to be a boxer. I ended my boxing career right after the fighting pits were closed. They got replaced by virtual arenas. Give it a try. You could make a lot of money. Oh, well, I wouldn't dare to participate. They're illegal. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> the subject seems nervous. Sweat has increased by 50%. Should we add a new question to the queue? That won't be necessary. Uh... Next question. Why did you become a detective? And handyman. Whatever. I'm doing it for Graf. Don't. Graf? Uh, oh, I assume this is your son. No. He's Leah's. In her testament, she asked me to. Hey, I thought you'd remember. After all, you were in charge of the case five years ago. My memory isn't a database, you know. The chief means he's getting old and can't be as efficient as he used to. I guess. Lately I've been losing my memory too. Whatever. I needed to make a living for both of us. The police ain't helping us, so I figured a lot of slummers could use my assistance. Uh-huh. <sighs> Next question. What relationship do you have with Sim? He's... was my client. Uh-huh. He was looking for something he lost. The gun? No need to explain. The conversation between the subject and the suspect has been fully recorded as evidence number 2563. So, you know everything. What's the point of this whole interrogation? I'm the one asking the questions here. Focus. Tell us how you met. He tried to call me. Endlessly. I believe he found me on the triweb. I've seen his searches. Uh huh. Next question. What have you been doing this morning? My investigation. Be more precise. I went to Sin's home, then to the sewers. Oh, and before that, I crossed the border to check the alley in the pharmacy for clues. Uh huh. You crossed the border. Uh, uh you know, 
I used to be a drummer, so... You still have access. This isn't acceptable. It should have been revoked long ago. Should the main database be checked for this record? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Record found. Revocation request. There is no availability right now. A ticket has been reserved. The process will be performed as soon as possible. Estimate 58 hours and 35 minutes from now. What a slow process. Well, never mind. As long as it's done. Good. That leaves me some time. You mentioned the sewers. Uh, yeah. The gun left tracks that led me there. Tell me about the squealers. Their leader and a few of his minions wouldn't let me pass, so... Hey, but how do you know I met them? A wild guess. They've been causing a lot of trouble lately. You just confirmed our suspicions. Yeah, you need to do something about them. They're acting like it's their territory and everything. In due time. Next question. How do you think we should handle Sin? It's obvious. Free him immediately. Give him a second chance. He deserves it. Deserves? So, do you believe in redemption? You think a criminal can redeem himself and never repeat any wrongdoings again? You're talking about Sin as if he murdered someone. It was just a failed robbery. And poisoning a police officer? Nothing important, then. I wouldn't say not important, but nobody's dead. Besides, you won't do it again. I'm 100% sure of it. Uh-huh. Agent X598, please give your input on this. There's a 95% probability of criminals committing a new crime within 10 years. This is a well-known statistic. Therefore, we suggest the subject must be having some kind of brain malfunction for contradicting this. Oh, so I'm crazy, huh? For what? Believing no one's perfect? Do all citizens have to believe all the crap you say? Tell me, what's the source of this blasted figure? Even if it were true, there's still a 5% chance to never get in any trouble. And 10 years is a very long time. Calm down and focus. We're not here to judge you. Yeah, right. Let's move on. Next question. Have you ever murdered someone? Uh, Please reply. Yeah, of course I've murdered someone. Uh, what the? <sighs> That's impossible. I'd never. I, I couldn't kill someone in cold blood. There's something wrong with your contraption. You gotta believe me. Uh-huh. Unless you're considering bots. You've killed bots? They can't be killed. They're machines. Uh-huh. Let's be more specific. Have you killed Leo? What? Answer the question! No, of course not. Say it aloud. I did not kill Leah. The data is confirmed with a 99.998% probability. See? Your stupid machine agrees with me. Uh huh. What does this have to do with sin? You can complain later. This interrogation isn't over. Last question. Who did you really kill? I... Uh, can't remember. Hmm. See? No electroshock. I told you. Must be something wrong with your machine. Uh-huh. Possibly. We agree with the subject. The data of this interrogation is of contradictory nature. Very well. This interrogation is over. Stopping timer. Not too soon. Wait! What's up with those last questions? They're totally irrelevant to Sin's case. We do not disclose our work methods. Oh. I see what you're up to. You're still blaming me for her death. That case has been closed years ago. It was an accident. Then why? Why are you bringing this up? We didn't have this powerful hardware at our disposal back then. I just needed to confirm some details. Well? Satisfied? Uh-huh. 
What I believe is... Not important. You'll have time to think about it in custody. Custody? But I thought you understood I had nothing to do with Sin's incident. Maybe not, but you sure have your share of problems. Anyway, the investigation AI needs time to examine your answers. Investigation? AI? You mean an artificial intelligence is going to solve the case by itself? Uh-huh. Most of it. This is outrageous! I'm... outraged. Do not worry. You're not a suspect for these events. There's not much to solve anyway. This case is crystal clear. Is it? Sin could have been framed. Very unlikely. Let our algorithms do their work. We will release you as soon as possible. The sooner the better. <laughs> Agent X-598, please start the analysis and tell Agent Ray to come in. Yes, Commissioner. Hmm. Come over on this side. Uh. That's a blind spot. Huh? Listen, I hate this as much as you do. Those AI reliability algorithms, figures and everything, Bunch of crap. No robot should be making decisions in our place. You don't say. But the law is the law. I'm the commissioner here. I need to follow orders. From who? You ask me, chief? Yes. Please take this man to a cell. Okay. Achoo! Hey! You're a cat? Uh... Don't be foolish. Surely even you can see he's a reptilian. Yeah, but I hate cats. I'm allergic to cat fur. Yuck. Enough. Screw up one more time and you're fired. Okay, okay. You've changed, Chief. Never threatened me before. Go ahead. First cell. Take a shower. What? In front of you? This is a dry wash. No need to take off your clothes. Oh. Germs elimination in progress. Process over. That was fast. <sighs> oh. How did I get into such a mess? <sighs> Graf would be ashamed of me. Huh? <gasps> oh, the fair! I forgot! He's gonna kill me if I'm not there on time. 4 p.m. I can still make it. Gotta be there, no matter what. Let's find a way out of this rat hole. Nope. I can't do this in front of strangers. Go ahead. I could care less at the moment. I wasn't referring to you. Hey, Sin. You okay, man? <sighs> yeah, I know. It's tough. But I'm sure everything's gonna be fine. I'm gonna get us out of here. You'll see. I'm tired. Don't mind me. <sighs> Listen, pal. I'm sorry for what happened. Why? Why are you sorry? I'm the only one responsible. I got you involved in this mess. Attacked you. I robbed a pharmacy for precious medicine and miserably failed. I deceived my old pal, RJ, and intended to drug my wife. But you did it for a noble cause. No, it was all for me. I'm selfish, and now I'll pay the price. The triangle should give me the death penalty. The triangle? Yeah. The members of the government get to decide the fate of prisoners. Wes told me it was an AI. No. The AI does the investigation. The final judgment is in the hands of the Triangle. And with all the evidence they've got, it's over for me. I refuse to believe it. You're a good person. Wrong. You can't understand. You're nothing like me. Yeah. I'm probably worse. Huh? Forget it. I'm not sure I should insist. Look, I'm not a psychologist or anything, but what experience has taught me is to hold on to your best memories and dreams. 
life out here is more often crappy than not. You can decide to drown, or you can fight to make it better. Not only for you, but for everyone important around you. You deserve a second chance. Just uh, don't do anything you might regret. You've got a daughter waiting for you. <sighs> I want you to promise me. What? Promise me you won't do anything stupid. I... <sighs> yeah. Say it. Scream it. Uh, won't you leave me alone? Be honest with yourself. You think your life should end here? Like this? Yes! <sighs> no. You... You're right. I want to see her again. If there's any chance. So? What will you do? I... I'll fight. Louder. I'm gonna fight! There. But... I need some time. Of course. Who's RJ? Over there. The guard. Oh. He may be a bit simple-minded, but he was my friend. And I deceived him. Any chance he might, uh, not hold a grudge against you? What do you think? He threw me in the cell like a bag of potatoes. He said the inspector was on the verge of firing him for being tricked like this. Great. Okay, so he hates you now. But I'll need him for my escape plan. Can you make an effort? Not sure what you mean. Just call him whenever I ask you. Okay, whatever. Stay here. As if I had a choice. Some... fur. Now where did this come from? Oh, I know. I had it on my clothes when I showered. It got stuck in the drain. Who knows? Might be useful. Device has outdated firmware. Please update to read the rest of the story. Do you wish to perform the update now? Go ahead, but you better be quick. Update in progress. The update failed. Error 0x8544123. Unknown error. Restarting now with default firmware. You gotta be kidding me. Corrupted file. What? Corrupted file. Hey, a digital ad. Cool. Debug mode activated. That voice. Did something happen? Can we talk? You said you felt guilty for involving me in this? I am. Then, may I ask a favor? Can you press a button on your panel? Why? Just curious. Whatever. Tell me which one. Maybe the third one. Hey, I can access that sink. Let's see. What are you fiddling with? Look, I was able to open it from this side. Open what? A trap door at the back of the sink. This is our exit ticket. Uh-huh. 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 Mm-hmm. I think I'm unscrewing something. Aha! Now it's leaking water. Perfect. I need your help. Can you press another? Ain't got nothing better to do. The fourth one. Call RJ? I wish I didn't have to, but... Okay. What am I gonna tell him? Tell him there's a problem with your sink. Ah, 
Well, that's why you messed with it. Yep. You're kidding me! I'm not clear. I don't want to talk to you. Ever! My sink is broken. Can you check? You won't get me with that stupid excuse. It's true! Look! Uh-oh. If the boss sees this... Trouble! Okay. I enter and fix that. No move! Here you go. Cat fur in the hat. What a magician. Yeah, that sink is... <laughs> what the... What? No time to explain. Get out! But... No! Alert! The barrier is back. Oh, great. All this for nada. Now I'm in even more trouble. At least the guard is out. Does this change anything? One camera down. Bye bye. I'm free. I found something. I can't believe it. Better look again. I always miss the ads. There you go. Go ahead. It's open. No. Huh? It's a mistake. I've got to stay. I need to atone for my sins. But... but... You're not responsible for anything. But me... I'd become a fugitive. What are you waiting for? Go! Okay, but... I'll come back to visit you. Right. Just be careful. Always. What's in there? Must have been a fraudster's belongings. Eh, these will be safer with me. I'll get back my things. Darn. They kept the gun and other things. That's a collectible ad. Nice. An ad coupon.
Oh, I didn't have that one. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Nice, an ad coupon. Three bots, cameras on the front. They won't see me if I'm careful, but one bot is guarding the exit and won't move. What should I do? There. Mine's all set up, too. Say, Graf, I'm intrigued. What does your invention do? Well, this, my friend, is gonna solve our water shortage problems. Partly. Wow. Hmm. Don't tell me. This is a... moisture recycler? Almost. Then, let's say... Does this turn rainwater into drinking water? Nope, but you're getting hotter hot. So, are you gonna tell me? You first. Okay. It's also a solution to our everyday problems. Just less crucial. Is that a sock? Yup. This is a socks auto pairing machine. Put all your favorite socks inside and it automatically matches them according to size and color. Is that really useful? Well, my parents forced me to do their laundry. So tiring. Wait a sec. That doesn't fit the theme, does it? The theme? Yeah, converting. What? There was a theme. Afraid so. Oh no! That means I'll lose half the points. At least. How am I going to... Hey, Porky and Kitty. What's this crap next to you? Huh? No way. Don't tell me. These are your creations? Back off, Clay. Now's not the time. Oh, they're really yours. Well, no surprise there. Garbage boys can only make garbage. What did you call us? Still, I'm curious. You gotta know your competition, right? What's that piece of rubbish, Kitty? Tell me! No. Ah, uh, come on. I'll know sooner or later. Then wait. Ah! Spit it out, or I break his neck. Hey, are you crazy? Stop it! You're hurting him! I'll stop if you tell me what this piece of crap of yours is. You win. This machine transforms urine into drinking water. Oof! Are you serious? <laughs> Urine... into... water? This... this is ridiculous! It works! You'll see! Wait... you expect someone to... try your machine? There's your piss in it! <laughs> Idiot! Yeah, I'm sure he's never had to drink polluted water. Okay, okay. I'm convinced. Let me try it. What? No! Oh, don't be like that. I'll just press that button. Here. What did you do? Ooh, too bad. It's broken. I... Uh, I'm going to... Graf, don't! No, I won't play your game. What? You won't do anything. If you harm Ott, we'll ask your mom for a DNA search on his clothes. You'll get banned. Hmm. <laughs> Man, you always ruin all the fun. That was just a little joke. Oh well, I'll be on my way. Just one last thing, don't even bother fixing it. What? Who knows, the same accident might happen again. If you dare, I, I'll crush yours. Hmm, Stubot, activate. <laughs> Hello, sir. Please watch over my invention. I will. Hey! You can't use Stubot like that! Of course I can. He's material for the center, and the center belongs to my family. Isn't that right, Stubot? Okay. 
ta-ta for now. The sun is shining. I'll get some due rest. What's his problem? He's the director's favorite, and he always gets the best marks. He doesn't have to act like that. You don't say. Look what he created. Hmm. Oh, so sleek. We're in trouble. Your invention doesn't fit the theme. Mine is broken. And I'm starting to have second thoughts about my choice. There's no way we're gonna win this. Don't listen to him. It's an amazing idea. It's too late for me. But we can fix your machine. Possibly. But you heard his threats. Besides, I wouldn't feel right if you helped me pass while you fail. Oh, don't worry. I'll catch up with the next trial. Hmm. There's another way. Remember, we're evaluated according to Stubot. What if we, let's say, use their machines? You mean, messing them up? Like he did? I'm not sure I agree with this. You're right. We're not like him. I'll just fix my invention and hope for the best. But I can't afford letting him break it again. You could watch over it. No, there's got to be something better. Some kind of protection. Giving a shock if he touches it. Hmm. I've got something for you. What's that? A force field. It defines a perimeter. By connecting the right stuff, you should be able to get the result you want. I had to use several for my machine, but I had a spare just in case. You're sure? Yeah, take it! You should hook up a detector and an operator on the NUB ports. That's perfect! You're a genius, Ott. Nah, geniuses don't forget the instructions. I'll be around if you need me. Okay, thanks a bunch. Well, to be honest, this solution is a bit convoluted. But this trial is crucial. Anyway, let's get started. What a mess. I need to fix this quickly. Melted plastic could work. Hmm, if only I had some. A collectible ad? Great! Awesome! I found another one! One more to the collection. I can't leave yet. I can't leave yet. Hey, Ot. Any idea how I could fix my invention? Well, you built it, didn't you? You should know better. Right. I think melted plastic could fix the glass. Do you have some? Afraid not. Sorry. That's okay. I'll figure out something. So, your internship starts tomorrow. Yeah, it's quite exciting. I'll get to work with a real policeman. My uncle is head of the police station. I admire you. I'd be so stressed in your situation. Why? I'm like a fish in a bowl. As soon as I get out of it, I get all anxious without control. Actually, they'll probably stick me around the protocopier all day long. But I'm still looking forward to it. You're okay? Yeah. I mean... I know what you mean. But really, it's fine. If I don't win this, I'll catch up later. You always seem so confident. Even in the worst situations. That's because I've known worse. Hmm. Sorry. I know you've had your share of rough moments too. I'm more concerned about the present situation. People always give him a funny look due to being a mixed breed. I couldn't care less. He's the only person I can be confident with. Gotta go. No worries. I'll stay here to watch over our inventions. Thanks. Where should I go? Hmm. I know. I'll pay a visit to that crazy inventor. Maybe she can help. Ugh! What a smell! Good thing I'm used to searching through trash. Anyone can get poisoned. <coughs> Is that a saw I'm seeing in here? I'll try not to get too close. I don't feel like pressing this button. Looks suspicious. 
Um, hello? Miss Shay? Maybe I should get closer. Whoa! What was that? Crap! Oh, that bloody junk is busted again. Hey, watch your tongue! Uh... Oh, no! All the voices are back. I shouldn't have quit my treatment. Hey! I'm right here! Hmm... Ah! <laughs> You're right. I prefer that. Now, where was I? Wait! Won't you help me? Oh, you need help? Why didn't you tell me? I... Never mind. You're Brock's stepson, right? Grap? It's been a long time. Yeah, I'm surprised you remember me. Been busy with studies. And that's why I'm here. Who needs studies? Practice is the best way to learn. And get injured, apparently. Anyway, can I ask you something? Well, my mind reader isn't quite ready yet, so... I guess it's fine if we resort to talking. A mind reader? For real? Just a prototype. I had to stop working on it. I couldn't bear hearing my own thoughts. Like echo on a phone, you know? Um, anyway... By any chance, I need some kind of device to detect wrong intents. Maybe a fingerprint reader. I know it's very specific, but... Wrong intents. Weird. I've got a feeling I built a device like this, but I can't put my finger on it. Look around, maybe? Will do. I've set up a force field. What could prevent someone from accessing what's placed inside it? A short circuit. Mm, wouldn't that be dangerous? Not really. The force field would diffuse the shock all around, so it's safe. Unless you have a congenital heart malformation, in which case, you'd die sooner or later anyway. Um, very reassuring. Just keep your eyes open for any sparks. The slums are filled with broken devices. Right. Brock and I visited her once for getting help with my homework. That's how we met. Usually I prefer doing everything myself, but this was too important. Just like now. To be honest, I wish she was one of my teachers. I better go. Wait, if you see Brock on the way, give him that. Here, buds. I've reversed a pair of hearing aids to block out all outside sounds. You can do that? Amazing! My sensors have detected Brock as sleep deprived. I forgot to give it to him earlier. Huh? He was there? Yeah, this morning. Hmm. I'm sorry to ask, but he's out all day and night but never tells me anything. What business does he have with you exactly? Well, let's say he's doing errands for me. Among other things. Other things? I'm sorry. He made me promise not to tell you anything. <sighs> Obviously. He doesn't trust me. He's got his reasons. Yeah, right. Excuses. Always more excuses. Listen, I'll discuss it with him next time, okay? <laughs> That'd be great. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, back to work. I guess something dangerous is in there? What are you talking about? There's no danger inside my garage. Not so sure about that. And why the symbol then? Oh, <laughs> that's the anti-intruder detection system. It's outside, not inside. Obviously, that makes a huge difference. Wait, how does this work? If a visitor presses the door button with the wrong intent, it unleashes a counter-reply to make sure they can't enter. It's perfect! Can I borrow it? Well, it's very valuable. I spent a lot of time. Oh, please! My whole future depends on it! All right. Brock asked me to deactivate it anyway, so go ahead. But leave the saw. Uh, that saw was the counter-reply? I'll have to replace it with something softer. By the way, several people are going to use my machine. I should only target one person. I can't take the risk to hurt anyone from the examination board. Easy. Put that person's fingerprint on it. Hmm. That won't be so simple. Oh, this bot's yours? Yep. Brock found it for me. He did? He insisted I take care of this one because it was about to get dismantled. Who thought he could have feelings for robots? Believe me. Your old man is packed with feelings. Good or bad ones? Depends if you're on his side. <sighs> Can I have the screwdriver? What's the magical word? I don't know. My parents didn't live long enough to teach me. Don't say things like that. Although that's a valid point. Okay, 
You can have it. Awesome! Your enthusiasm for a simple screwdriver is wonderful. I wish I had a childhood. What do you mean? A normal childhood, anyway. I'm afraid time goes only one way. Hmm. Who knows? Tell me, you took a swim in the swamp? Um... Here! Sorry. Nah, no worries. Rock does it too. <laughs> Great, what am I doing here? <sighs> Got lost in my thoughts again. I shouldn't wander too far. No use. I already took my tox out pill today. What? Huh? Selling without license is forbidden. Oh no! The police! I surrender! I surrender! Please, don't hurt me! Explain yourself! It's true. I'm just selling goods to make a living. Explain yourself. Well, I had no idea I needed a license. Explain yourself. Huh? I've already told you. Oh boy, oh boy. Explain yourself. Something's wrong. This drone must be bugged. It's gonna shoot at any moment. What should I do? Yes. Yes, you were. Now we know what brought you here. Right. Anyway, bye. Wait, don't go. You deserve a reward. I'm good. Nonsense. You're obviously looking for something. You know what? Take a good look at my stand. I'll give you anything you want. Hmm. Okay. What? This... Get off my stall. This is the Untail. Do you want a statuette? No, I don't believe in this. Be honest. I see it in your eyes. You're curious. Here, let me give you this one. What? No! I can't accept. No credit, huh? Look, this is a defective one. I wouldn't be able to sell it anyway. Okay, thanks. Denante. Hopefully no one sees me with this. They 
might think I've turned into an untel fanatic. Whoa! What's wrong with that info phone? There must be a short circuit running inside that button. It's dangerous. Though, I doubt anyone would be stupid enough to touch it. Easy. Now, let's see. What the heck? Who designed this mess? Looks like I can disconnect this wire. Should I? Okay. Is this the good one? Did this work? It's off, but still risky. Now, how do I take that button? I can't really get a grip. Let's see if I can pull this button out. Mm. There! Whoops, everything came off. Well, at least I got my button of death. And it's even got a nub connector. Perfect! A beggar. Don't look at him. Keep your eyes to the ground. Hello, my boy. Oh, no. Please wait. You live here, right? With the detective. How do you know? Are you spying on us? I better call. Look at me, boy. Do you really expect that from an old geezer? I'm alive right now because your dad stood up for me against squealers this morning. He's not my father. Leave me alone. Fine. Farewell. Hmm. Maybe I was a bit harsh. After all, I could be in the same situation if it wasn't for Brock. What did Brock do exactly? Long story short, I owed money to the Squealers. They were ready for payback. <laughs> he gave them quite a beating. Did he? Offering help and risking his butt for free. That doesn't sound like him. Maybe you don't know him that well. Well, I know one thing for sure. In the end, he always either gets fooled or screws everything up. My boy, the result never really matters. Only the intent. If you say so. Hey, that's my favorite chip music band. They're giving away some stickers to promote their next tour. Nice, I'll take one. I'll take another. Not my turn. <gasps> this is tiring. <clears throat> Flower? What's that doing here? I must have used it for some project. My very personal and totally outdated computer. Nobody uses anything that big. But that's all I have, so I gotta stick to it. Probably not the right time, but I could play in the virtual VR arena. Yeah, <laughs> 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 
Great! Should I train a bit? Getting better. Should I train a bit? May I... What are you doing, my boy? Burning that holy symbol. Ah, I forgot. To me, it's just a plastic figure. I'll take my chances. If it's important for you, go ahead. The statuette has melted. Good. It's still hot. I'll use that old piece of cloth to wrap it. It's all sticky. Better use it fast before it gets hard again. I didn't intend to use that stove anymore anyway. Oh no! Truly sorry, I didn't realize I had sullied it. Let me clean it! Don't waste your time for an old fool. No way! My old man always says, it's never too late to do the right thing. My mistake, I'll fix it. There, like new. Thank you. Now go. Goodbye! There. Not perfect, but that should do the trick. Now, now I need an operator to give a shock to a certain someone. What could fit that definition? There. The force field perimeter should extend just enough to cover my machine. But it's not active yet. The source liquid is added here. It's filtered, then a combination of chemical agents transform it. Residues fall to the bottom, which can be cleaned out with this trap. The reaction takes a few hours. Progressively, tiny drops fall into the glass. Great, it fits. The 
force field should spread the detection so it's not localized to one point, but everywhere around. Now I need an operator to give a shock to a certain someone. What could fit that definition? The trap is set! Good. Only one problem left. I need to target Clay exclusively. Still around? What do you want? I'd like to apologize about earlier. Ah, finally! You're making some sense! I'd like for us to take a new start. And I've got a gift for you. A pair of earbuds. You won't be bothered by outside sounds anymore. Oh, interesting. Wait a minute! You're not trying to trick me, are you? Of course not! Look, I'll wear them. See? Hmm... Okay, let me try it. What? I said... Uh, will you remove those darn things? Uh, wait, I can't hear you. There, convinced? Give me that. Hmm, oh, yeah, a perfect silence. Exactly what I needed. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Beat it. I hope I don't regret this. Okay, just gotta be careful. There, I've applied some flour on his finger. He didn't feel a thing. Very gently. Uh. <laughs> Hopefully I applied enough pressure. Hi. Hello. How are you? Fine. He doesn't have much conversation. Hmm, do I have a reason to use that brainwashing apparatus? What? What a relief. Final step. I activate the force field. Perfect. My convoluted protection is almost invisible now. Oh, is it working? I'll know the answer in a few seconds. Oh no, he's coming back. Uh, what? Hmm. Idiot. Stubot, I forgot my socks on my chair. Bring them back. Yes, sir. I told you, kitty. Accidents tend to happen. Again? Yes! Oh my! Huh. Ew, he's just knocked unconscious. You sure were heavy-handed. He started it. It's almost time. The examination board will be here any minute now. Okay. I did everything I could. Now I just have to cross fingers and wait for my old man. Look, look, my parents, they're over there. <sighs> I'm here. Finally, I thought you'd never come. Quick, there's only a few minutes left. That was close. We made it. That's the important part. You don't realize. One more minute and all those years of work would have been annihilated. What's your excuse this time? My investigation took an unexpected turn. I ended up in jail. I had to escape to... Jail? Are you a criminal? Is that what you're hiding from me? No, of course not. I can explain. Stop. I don't want to hear anymore. Don't you dare do that to me again! I'm sorry. <sighs> He's right. I need to find a way to redeem myself. Somehow. But it's getting late. Hmm. I know. Grandpa always said, eating is the best stress reliever. I'll prepare dinner for him. The best food he's ever had. Nobody can resist my cooking. Now, let's see what I can gather. I forgot. I still haven't gone shopping. This is all I could find. Guess I'll have to make do. Cooking time! When he told me he was stuck in jail, was he for real? 
Hmm, probably. No reason to lie about something like that. But why? I don't like this. Maybe I should have let him explain. Huh? <sighs> of course, that's him. Raph. I prepared dinner. Well, to be honest, I don't feel like eating right now. I just can't help thinking about, well, everything. Come on. No one can think properly on an empty stomach. Please. Okay. Here. Mmm. This smells so good. Quick, I'm starving. Hey, I thought you said... Doesn't matter. Give me some. <laughs> no way. What? Is it bad? Oh, great. I knew I shouldn't have put some. It's delicious. Is it? Uh, say, you're right. What's your secret? No idea. I had very few ingredients left. You know, no time to go shopping. You're a magician, then. Ah, uh, thanks. I'm glad you like it. Actually, it's funny. I thought I'd cheer you up, but it's the other way around. You never stop surprising me, son. Mm. You know, this meal, it kind of reminds me of... Your mother? Mm. She never had any time for cooking. But when she did, it was wonderful. Just like you. I mean, you're the same with cooking. No free time. Yeah. Mm. Mm. About what happened. Wait, not here. This time, it's my turn to surprise you. Follow me! Uh? Where are you going? <sighs> I didn't expect to climb all the way up here. Won't you tell me where we're going? Right here. I wanted you to see this. Uh? See what? Hmm. Let me ask the question properly. What do you see? Well, I see trash, the polluted haze, despair, and misery. Just as I thought. You keep looking at the ground. But you know what they say. Every coin has two sides. Raise your eyes to the sky. The sky? Whoa, you're right. This is pretty. Yeah, it hasn't changed. No matter how much our technology pollutes it, the Earth does its best to remain magnificent. Ah, uh, you and your mom, after we met, we used to go here every evening. Both of us had busy lives, but this was our highlight. Each day, we would spend the little time we had talking. Talking? Really? <laughs> uh, well, most of the time, anyway. <laughs> I... I want to ask you something. Is it wrong if I can't remember her? Not just her, but my father, too. Forgetting my parents. Does that make me a bad person? Of course not. Actually, to tell the truth, I'm the same. I have erratic memories of the past. Sometimes I ask myself, what did her voice sound like? What did her smile look like? If it wasn't for this picture I saved, I wouldn't even recall her face. Yeah, I've checked through all the triweb. Our family pictures, video clips, documents. They were all stored online in one place. When the national power outage happened, all our files were just gone. As if our entire existence up to that point had been erased. Not just ours, but the whole city. The only memories left are in our minds, and they're not even reliable. You're wrong. Our mind is the most precious and trusty belonging in this day and age. There's a simple explanation to all this. We both went through trials and tribulations. Sometimes our brain tends to block bad memories as a protective shield, so we can keep living. You talk exactly like Shay. Do I? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, I wish I could remember. You know, I do remember one thing. Really? What was it? You. 
The fire was still burning. I was laying down outside, regaining consciousness. You were there, watching over me. <sighs> it's been a long time. Look, I'm aware we don't get to spend a lot of time together. I know. Don't worry about it. You're doing what you can. I wish things were different, but I need you to know I will always stand by you. <sighs> do you still trust me? I do. Hey, I realized I don't have any pictures of us. This view would make a good one. Good idea. Hold on. Darn, the camera is acting up again. Let me do it. Wait, are you sure you know? Of course I do. There. Huh? <clears throat> oh, well, uh, I guess I'll take another. Don't! It's... It's perfect. Really? Okay. Here, I transferred it to you. Thanks. I... I'm glad you're here. Me too. Uh-oh. Hello? Bro, what are you doing? The fight starts in a few minutes. Oops! If you don't come immediately, I swear I'm gonna... Hang on! I'm on my way! Uh, Who was that? I, uh... Um... I'll explain later. <sighs> Some things never change. I'm, uh, I'm here, ready. Chill, bro. The fight starts in ten minutes. Huh? But you said... I used my bending time capacity. Bending time? You were late, so I jumped back an hour to get you earlier. But that's impossible. Is it? We can imagine it, right? Doesn't that simple fact make it possible? Now you're confusing me. Okay, okay. You're right, I didn't. After all this time, don't you think I've learned a thing or two about you? The only way to get you here on time is to never give you the right timing. Ugh, I fell for it again. Good thing you always seem to forget. Still, bending time. Wouldn't it be convenient? There are many interesting theories. Uh-oh, here comes Miss Science again. Well, you've got ten minutes to kill now, don't you? Been a long day. I could really use a rest. Oh. Very well. If you prefer spending this time doing nothing over enlightening your spirit, that's your choice. Actually, you made me curious. Enlighten me. Good. First of all, let me ask you this simple question. What is time? Well, uh, it's some kind of measurement. Like, I weigh 220 pounds and you weigh, um... How much do you weigh? Bro! You're as clueless about women as you are of science, aren't you? Anyway, I see what you mean. Time is a constant, right? For instance, fixing this tablet takes me one minute. Meanwhile, you're up on the trash mountain looking down on my garage. When I'm done fixing it, how much time has passed for you? Well, one minute? Wrong! What? Time is relative. It can vary for different observers. In my example, it will almost be one minute spent for you. Almost, but not exactly. There will be a very slight difference, maybe just less than a nanosecond. It's especially true when you're higher, thus not subject to the same gravity, like you on the mountain. Think about satellites. The effects of gravity, as well as the satellites' increased speed above the Earth relative to observers on the ground, make their clock gain about 50 microseconds a day. So, basically, you're saying that I could get older faster than you? Exactly. Maybe less than a second faster in an entire lifespan. But the difference exists. It's called time dilation. Does it matter? Yes, because it means one important thing. Time cannot be dissociated from space. You know how every object has three coordinates, height, width, and depth? These are dimensions. Well, time is the same. It's called the fourth dimension. It's hard for us to imagine. Time is an illusion of our mind. If we can move an object into space, why couldn't we move it into time as well? But how do we do that? Not the slightest idea. By moving into space, close to the speed of light. 
the speed of light? Hey, have you been to school? Everyone knows that. Now that you mention it, Grandpa and I, we often watch the stars at night. He told me that we observe them as they were millions of years ago. Yes, that's because light is an instant. A star's light takes a lot of time to reach us. Right now, how you're seeing me is the only reflection from my older self. Oh, so you're actually younger? That varies according to your perspective. There's a delay. It's so tiny our brains can't notice. But that doesn't make anyone travel in time. It's just looking. Right. We're standing still. What happens if we move? Say you have a twin. I do? Of course not, silly. One bro is already too much for this world. Hey. But let's assume you've got one. While you're staying on Earth, your twin is traveling inside a spaceship at a very high speed. Years pass. One day he comes back. And to your surprise, he's much younger than you. Hey, that's not fair. But true. The twin has aged much slower than you. Time slows down or speeds up depending on how fast you move relative to another reference. So, in a way, we can say that the twin traveled to the future. That's fine, but I wouldn't want to go forward in time. It'd be awful. All the people I know would be old or dead. Can we go back instead? Is that possible? Notice what I said. To go into the future, we'd need to reach a speed close to the speed of light. Now, what would happen if we could exactly reach the speed of light? Well, I guess we would disintegrate. Our body couldn't take it. Neither would our mind. We'd go crazy. Possibly, but you're making a common thinking mistake. You wouldn't need to move straight forward to gain speed. A vessel could be moving back and forth, increasing progressively and ever so slightly, that the movement itself wouldn't be perceived by the mind and body. You mean, like our reflection previously? Yep. Space in the vessel would shrink, including all objects inside. And suddenly, BAM! You reach the speed of light and enter a wormhole. From there, you get access to the whole world's history. You can land anywhere you want. Or should I say, any time? Exciting, uh-huh. can you just picture it? <laughs> right now, the only thing in my mind is a headache. Uh, uh-oh, we may need to go back in time, all right. Why are you saying that? Because it's time. Quick, in the cabin. Are you? Um, your opponent? No, it was supposed to be. What? Never mind. Let's rock, Croc. Huh? You? You're a... Darn! You blew my cover. Shay, I gotta go. What? No way. Not an option. I... I can't hit a lady. Well, I am one, and I'm telling you... Don't be a gentleman. I can handle you. Very well. I won't hold back.
Sorry it came to this. You're a skilled fighter, but don't worry about it. I wasn't here for the money anyway. Then... what for? Goodbye. Uh, well, I won. What a day. Done. No one can withstand my fists of steel. Congrats, bro. This should cover some of your debt. Why do you always have to ruin the fun? Hey, what's that? Some kind of giant egg? No touching. But I just... Nope. Can you at least tell me what's in there? It's... a secret. Ooh, a new invention? Yeah. I promise this will change your life. Let me guess. That's, uh... Money-making machine. Not even close. Then, uh... Take your time. Well, bye. Hey, you're making it sound like it's an everyday job. Isn't it? I'm risking my life for some credits. Nah, you can't die. What? Why are you always so confident I'll never get killed? Or worse, like this morning when you sent me to hack a border post full of deadly bots and lasers. Or when you set up that giant saw that I barely escaped from. And I was lucky to make it out alive. What a silly question. <laughs> That's because I know the... Mm, I mean... I know you. <laughs> I believe in you. Hmm. Okay. Thanks, Shay. You're a great friend. No problem, bro. This place is dark. Let's move on. A window? A porthole? Ah, in any case, it's shut. Let's see. Well, I thought there was light coming out, but I can't see much of anything. Hey, wait. I can hear... Is someone there? thought. Hmm. The voices. They've stopped. Mines? Oh boy. I hate those. Better watch my step. I have an awkward feeling. Maybe I shouldn't look. <gasps> what the heck is this? Wait, there's nothing here. I must be imagining things. Hmm. This is unlike the others. Why is that window position so low? I, uh, I need to take a look. Huh? <laughs> Graf, don't cry. I'll get you out of here. I'm here, Graf. <laughs> what are you doing in this cell? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll help. Is there any way to open from your side? <laughs> hey, can't you hear me? Uh, who's there? It's me. <laughs> it's Brock. I'm... I'm here for you! No. What? No! You're not! Get away from me! 
but Graf. Stop screaming! I'm not gonna hurt you. Huh? Oh gosh. I hear footsteps. What should I do now? It's him! They're coming for me. What happened to the enemies? This <laughs> place. Let's move. On. Let's. Coming for oh, great. That was a trap. Raph, how did you and why are you? Never mind. Am I glad to see you? Any way you can get me out of here? <laughs> <laughs> LOL! Uh -huh. You got stuck all by yourself. ROFL! LMFAO! What? There's something odd about all this. No doubt, Captain Obvious. Wake up, you fool! What the? No! This place. It's him. They're coming for me. What? They want another round. All right. Bring it on! Not coming back for more, eh? Quitters! Huh? Graph? Oh no! Don't move! You're surrounded by mines! Uh, you did this? Did... what? Don't... W what should I do? Please... Go away! I can't reach him from here. Monster. Uh, it's over. The monsters are gone. No! You... You killed them all! No, no, no I didn't! Liar! Just look! Huh? N no. I... They were... Oh, I... I really did. Please, forgive me. Everyone. Huh? Raph, where are you? Raph, come here. You're safe now. Don't be scared. I never, never hurt... Oh, it hurts. I need to get out now. No.
They're coming for- Coming back for more, eh? Quitters. Huh? Graph? Oh no. Don't move. You're surrounded by mines. Uh, you did this. Did what? Don't. W what should I do? Please. Go away! Of course. Huh? I knew it. I knew you'd run away. That's what you do. You never cared. I... I wasn't gonna run away. Just trying to fetch help. Don't bother lying to yourself. Just stop. Stop? Stop dreaming. Wake up! Now! No! Uh... Another dream. Graf isn't around. I better get up fast. Can't see from here, but I bet the sun has been up for ages. Huh? Pork! Hey! Who gave you the right to barge in like this? The law! Oh, uh, I forgot. Back to jail, huh? This isn't a choice. It's a cherry. Huh? A cherry? A cherry. Cherry. Yes. It's a request. Are you okay? Whatever. We've got a situation. Help us and I'll wipe the slate clean. Me? Helping the police? We're very understaffed right now. As per regulation 14-3032, in case of understaffing, the highest ranking officer can requisition any citizen for help. <laughs> Why me? Despite some aggressive tendencies, You've solved Sin's case remarkably well. You didn't blindly trust your client and uncovered the truth via uncommon methods. I've met so many detectives over the years. You are one of a kind. We've known each other for a long time. Currently, you're the most qualified person I can trust. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, uh, I don't have much choice, do I? Not unless you're in a special place on my wanted criminals list. Come to my office in two hours. Wait, won't you explain? Later. <sighs> huh? A message? Better go to her garage first. The heck? That thing wasn't there yesterday. You've got mail. I was afraid it was gonna say that. Fingers crossed. Just one letter. A bill. Of course. Hmm. That's the rent. Why does it always seem to come earlier each month? Gotta find 500 units fast. I owe 245 units, and I need to pay this within two days on a pipe mail. Graf spends more... My boy! Watch out! What? Out of my way! You? You're the one who's got a scram! Didn't you learn your lesson? Didn't come here for you. That guy owes us money. You won't lay a finger on him. Count your teeth, Croc. You're gonna lose a lot. Try me. Guys.
Oh, not again. What's up with that guy? Why can't we crush him? Don't care. I won't have him get my skin. You okay? My boy, you're amazing. You would do well in the military. Me? A soldier? <laughs> uh, I can't follow someone else's orders. I can barely follow my own. <laughs> I know you can. Just a feeling, but you seem to know a lot about me. You sure we've never met? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe in another life. Hey, how are you today? I've spent a horror... Well, I'm still alive, thanks to you. Glad to hear. I still need to find a doctor. But they all live in the drums, and I don't know any I can trust. Hopefully I'll meet one today. I've gotta go, but I'll be careful, boy. Hey, uh, what's up? I didn't expect you so early. Hey, wait! What am I supposed to? I will assign you a mission later. Man, no wonder that guy's surrounded by bots. He's as cold as them. Well, no point waiting here. What did she want already? Yeah. All right. I'll come back later. Okay. Thank you. Hey, bro. What's up? Well... Sorry, I'm super busy here. Can you come back later? What? But... Oh! But maybe you can help. You see, I'm looking for some materials. But my usual provider is on vacation, so... What an idiot! At a time like this. Well, I... Anyway, you should find everything around here. I could do it myself, but... You know, I'm working on a project of utmost importance. Well, you know, you know... That's an expression. Of course you don't know. At least not yet. Stop! Uh, mm. Can I just get a word in? Oh, um, sure. Did you forget? You're the one who asked me to come? Ah, oh, yes! I expected you to come earlier. So, when will you ask? Ask what? The chip. What chip? Uh, oh, no. I get it now. Events got altered. Huh? Listen. I need you to go see this hacker named The Gloom. I owe him a hundred unis and he only accepts close range payments. I've transferred you the money. Can you do this for me? Um, okay. Thanks. <sighs> Talking to you always feels like I missed an episode. No worries. You'll catch up. Need help with something? Actually, yes. Gotta finish this super important project for tomorrow. It's nowhere near complete. Oh, time flew by way too fast. Relax. It's not as if your life depends on it. Not just mine. Yours too. And maybe even the whole universe. Huh? Uh, just joking. <laughs> anyway, I'm lacking some pieces and materials. Some of them are crucial. I could order them new through the express delivery tube, but... But you're as broke as me. Almost. Besides, we're surrounded by junkyards full of hidden treasures. So, what do you need? Here, I've transferred the list to... that antique device of yours you call a mobile. Okay, can't promise to look into this right now, but who knows? Might stumble upon some of these along the way. Hope you pay good money. What? You want to get paid? Of course I do. I'm doing all of this for you, Buster. You ought to be more grateful. Huh? Oh, um, okay. I'll pay you on a case-by-case -case basis. And by the way, take this. Is that a 
Super duper high tech remote controller? No, nope. just a high tech radar. I programmed it to locate the pieces I need. Just hold it and open your ears. The noisier it gets, the closer you are. Awesome. Keep in mind, I need the pieces before this evening. Now scoot. My time is precious. Hey. Oh, wait, before I forget, let me reset Bolt. Just a sec. Is he okay? Positively. Whoa. I'd be delighted to help you, Master. Nice to see you doing well. So, will you help me collect those materials? No, I'll help collect ads. Huh? Just ask me. Master Brock, you've saved me. You're my hero. Ah, oh, shucks. That was nothing. You don't say. I'm the one who agreed to give him a new job. I'm the one to thank. Don't listen to her. She just loves being prickly. Ugh. I love you both. I love everyone. The world is beautiful. Wow. Uh, what a change of personality. I'm just super duper crazy happy to have a new job. Right now, my mission is to help you. Collecting ads? Yes. It will only cost you 20 unis per request. Shay! Hey, gotta justify the expenses to keep it running. I will stay in the garage, but I've got powerful sensors. According to my boss, your memory is limited, so I'll give you info on one ad at a time. Uh, thanks, I guess. Which ad do you need help to locate? Hey, there's something you've been looking for. Right there. You're sure? That's what your thingy says, anyway. Does this look like a crystal controller to you? How silly. I forgot to check if I got one in the garage. Well, I'm still going to be paid for it, right? Um... I hate it when I don't get a reply. Should I do a little training?
has kept this little box for years. I had no idea this was first in dust. Hopefully he doesn't mind me borrowing it. Mm, this place has changed quite a bit since the last time I was here. was ejected from this statue. Let's see, how do I use this again? Hey, that's not part of the scenery. It's stuck on the panel. There's a signal, but I can't quite find the material in this room. Could this mean... Ah! Pompolos! And it's not even rotten. I'll just have to clean it a bit. This must not be the real treasure the system is tracking. Let's continue. Just rubbish. Ah, pump oh, This must not be. Let's continue. Hmm. Nothing useful. This must not let's can hmm. rubble. Hmm. Nope. Full of ah, oh, this must not be. Let's get. Hey, what's that? Wait a minute. I've seen this somewhere. Hmm. Oh, yeah. That's the high precision clock Shay was looking for. Ah, people throw away such weird things sometimes.
something under that little trap? What do you know? Little pearls. Probably valuable. Someone must have hidden them here. Take money from my account to pay this bill. Scanning in progress. Bill detected. Sufficient credits. Payment complete. Hopefully this is the last one. Maybe I'm stupid for paying. What's the worst that could happen? Take money from my account to pay this bill. Scanning in progress. Bill detected. Sufficient credits. Payment complete. Yeah. So, what did I win? Thank you, and goodbye. Suddenly, I feel empty. Something's stuck on the grid. Wait, is the radar reacting to this? I wasn't expecting to look for a cake, literally. <laughs> I guess Shay's just hungry. Still looks good. Drummers are such big wasters. Hmm. Must resist! Can't eat! should be around here. I better find him quickly before I get sick. Going somewhere, crack? Go away. I don't want any trouble. Ha! Ah. Then you shouldn't have caused us trouble in the first place. What? Don't play the fool with us. You show no respect to the boss. You attacked the boss. And humiliated him. Yeah, I remember. He asked for it. No one attacks the boss and gets away with it. Get out of my way before I... Before you what? You can't escape us. You're gonna get the beating you deserve. Oh yeah? I beg to differ. Come and get me. You're dead meat! You're not gonna get out of here alive. That's what we're gonna... Oh, no way! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> got ya! Now who got humiliated, huh? It's humiliated, you dumb. Yeah, well, he's all stiff and cold. Let's bring that carcass to the boss. We'll get a reward. Yeah! Huh? 
that smell, and that familiar sensation of, like I lost a fight, left to die? Ah, better move on quick. Got a bad feeling about this place. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Yeah, I could have a use for that string. Ah, it ripped in half. Oh well, that should be enough. Nice, an ad coupon. Is that an untail statue? It has seen better days. I'll take these wings. Who knows? They might come in handy. Oh, I didn't have that one. Mr. Brock. Hey, you're... The director of the center. We met at the fair yesterday. I shouldn't ask you this. Huh? You must be here to meet the gloom. I need something from him. More precisely, a self-modifier chip. He refuses to give it to me. To a robot. Self-modifier? Robots and humans... We're not so different. Humans only use a very small portion of their brain. Not only this, most human genes are actually composed of junk DNA. Traces of evolution left behind. I don't get it. Well, all robots are created with a far broader range of capacities than what they're used for. Despite being a custom model, I was built with the same base. I can only perform the tasks I was designed for, with performance safe for my hardware. You mean... I want to improve my capacities. Is this allowed? Surely there's a reason why robots are limited after conception. Mm, you're right. This is why I need you to be secretive about this. I, I want to make this a surprise for my son. Hmm. All right. What do I get in exchange? We evaluate the relationship between parents and students. That means this would help Graf. Huh. Indeed. If you're successful, he will get bonus points. I won't pretend to understand how she's going to use this present for her son, but if finding this helps Graf, I couldn't care less. All right, you got this. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Heart? Please keep me informed. W wait. Sorry for my, uh, most likely embarrassing curiosity, but you're a female robot? Yes. I, uh, I've never seen a robot talking and behaving exactly like a human before. You're different. I'm a special model. Are there others like yourself? Well, just one. Much more sophisticated than I am. Actually, you've already met it. Did I? Goodbye. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Nice, an ad coupon. Seems br Oh, I didn't have that one. Ah, uh, for some reason I knew there'd be cables underneath those pipes. There you go. Take this. You found all the materials? Good. That's all? Good? Amazing job. You just literally saved the world. No, the universe. Don't overdo it. Oh, but I'm not. 
Who knows what would have happened if you hadn't found them? Hmm. Here's your enumeration. Not bad. Hmm. This part is still intact. Let's try cutting here. Then the other side. Perfect. RJ? You! Because of you, all your fault! You mean... Ah, I get it. Wes did mention firing you earlier. Yeah. Then... Uh, how come you've still got your police attire? The boss Wes wanted me to keep him. Is that so? Who are you working for, then? Not your business. Oh, come on. It's obvious you're guarding this entrance. Get lost! Uh, he won't tell, but... Two to one, the man I'm looking for is inside. Let's say... I'm not me. You... not you? Yeah, I'm someone else. Oh! Can I enter then? No, you're a croc. No croc allowed. But I said I'm not me. Stop confusing me. So, no croc allowed, huh? What if I say I'm actually a cat? Uh, stay away or I'll get sick. True, you're allergic to cat fur. Hmm. Listen, I'm truly sorry you lost your job. I never meant for this to happen. Hooey <laughs> baloney. Just needed to get out of that cell, by any means possible. You see, I have a son. Don't care. I made a promise to him. I just couldn't break it. Liar. No use. Gotta try something else. Relax. You shouldn't worry. After all, you found a new job, haven't you? Yeah, many people can have a use for a big guy like yourself. A use? Use me? Ah, uh, yeah, I didn't mean it like that. Sorry. We're still friends, right? Friends? <laughs> uh, it's raining splutter. Tell me, what can I do for you? Get out of my sight. Well, can't do, but let's see. Surely I can offer you something to even the score? Get out! Uh, I'll take that as a yes. Look, over there, a flying pink elephant. Oh, can enter. Uh... Hey, where is that elephant? He, uh... Must have flown away. Oh. What was that? I can hear someone shouting your name. What? Where? It came from inside. The boss? Don't hear anything. You sure? Better check. Nah, I have good ears. Stop tricking me. Ah, oh, not so dumb after all. I'm an elephant. Oh? Okay. Come. <laughs> Wait! You're a croc! Not an elephant! Liar! Uh, but... Out! Ah, uh, it almost worked. I give up. Good. Yep. Surprisingly, there's already a hole on each wing. So if I insert the string here... And there... looks good. Huh. I'll attach this end of the string to the pipe. Yeah, that should do it. Hmm. Who are you? What you want? <coughs> May I enter? You're an elephant? Yep. I, I mean, uh, <coughs> yes, um, obviously. Hmm. All right, enter. Good. 
What the? Who the heck are you? The gloom, isn't it? I need your help. You shouldn't be here. The guard let you enter? Well, I'm an elephant. Can't you see? An elephant. Hey, you idiot. Why did you let that one get through? Nah, tis what you told me. Huh? So that's your job. You stay here and guard the door. Nobody enters unless I tell you otherwise. Nobody? I can't enter? No, you stay outside. What about cats? I hate cats. No cats. Then uh, dogs? Doggies can enter? No. Maybe cows? Pigs? Hens? No, no, no. Then elephants, they can enter, right? Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Huh? So what? Uh... Yeah. Fine, as you wish, elephants can enter. Oh, cool. Tch. Goons gotta be goons. Eh, it's not like an elephant would come to the slums anyway. All rich company higher-ups. Are you stupid? Wait, why am I even asking? Just take a look at this guy. He's wearing a silly disguise. Um, you sure? Take it off. Ah, uh, hey, that hurts. Uh, hey, it's you. Bear Goon, you're fired. What? But, uh, but I did what you said. I'll just find another big guy with a bigger brain. You're useless. You... Tis all your fault. Again! Mm -hmm. I'll make you pay for this. Oh. Looks like I didn't make a friend. Still here? Ah, oh, you're wasting my time. Wait. I've got an important request. Important? For me? Or for you? Uh, depends. Just... Please hear me out. Ah, all right, all right. But first, put your hand here. Why? Just do it. Okay. Now, let's see. Ah, my database search returned some results. Uh, what? What's wrong? You're a... a cop? <laughs> well, not exactly. Nope. Oh no! Guy! I shouldn't have fired that guy. Oh, please don't put me in jail. It'd be a waste of my great intellect. That's not what you think. I'm no cop. Uh... The police are understaffed. I'm a detective. They just needed my help. Hmm. <laughs> Cops are detectives. I hate both of your kinds anyway. Always messing with the lives of people trying to make an honest living with the black market. Let's forget about all this and focus on my request. What makes you think I'll help you? Isn't it clear by now? You're alone. Your security system failed. And I'm, uh, let's say, stronger than you. Good point. All right, what do you need? A self-modifier chip. No questions asked. Fine. I can get you one. But these don't come cheap. It'll be 100,000 unis. One hundred thousands? You gotta be kidding! Hey, that's the deal. Take it or leave it. Do you even have any idea what trouble I'm getting into in order to get one of these? This means you already have one here? Eh, me and my big mouth. Give it to me. No way! Give it, or else I might have to... Ah! Okay, okay, then 10,000 unis. It can't be any lower than that. That's how much I paid for it.
No. I can't afford that much. Surely I can offer you something else. Hmm. Wait a second. That pendant you're carrying! What about it? To most people, this is an ordinary trinket, but I have a good eye for these things. I've seen that material before. It's made of heptamide. Heptamide? A very powerful alloy. An ounce of it can light up a whole city for a year. You can't be serious. I'm dead serious. Give me that. No way. I'm not giving it to you. It has high sentimental value. Sentimental? <sighs> no is no. Find something else. Hmm. Then? I know. You're a cop. I said it. I'm not, really. Doesn't matter. You must have access to it. To what? The mainframe. There's a reason why I have those killing machines. Sure. You do illegal stuff. That's not it. The cops, they have a file on me. It contains my signature and other personal info. Due to this, all drones, cameras, and tribots automatically detect and report me. This makes my life impossible. I can hack into the system, but even a genius like me <laughs> can only get read-only access. If someone would remove that file... You could escape? I'll be free. No more bots following me at every corner. Ah, sounds good. But how am I supposed to do that? You're a cop. Getting access to the mainframe should be easy for you. Uh, not so sure about that. Get that file erased, and that chip is yours. Hmm. Won't there be a password or something? Yep. Face recognition. Find the computer owner's face and use this awesome app of mine. Face Builder Hacks. Easy as pie. Let me transfer it to your phone. <clears throat> yeah. The heck? That phone of yours. What kind of ancient technology is this? The firmware and OS have been outdated for decades. Who cares? It works. Seriously? Okay, take this phone. This has the app installed. It'll generate a holographic mask you can use to enter the system. For this, you'll need both a front-facing picture and a three-quarter view of someone who has access to the system. Front, facing, and three-quarter view pictures. Check. Now scoot. Don't you dare flee when I'm away. Remember, I'm a detective. I found you once. I can do it again. And that day... No. Yeah, okay, uh, not moving. <laughs> Staying right here, stuck on his chair. You better. Hey. That's a collectible ad. Nice, an ad coupon. Oh, I didn't have that one. So? Here, 100 unis from my friend, Shay. Shay. That girl, always on the lookout for rare materials. Yeah, that's the dough she owed you. Let me check her account. Huh, I don't see any. Hmm. All right, I'll take it. Good. Uh, what business do you have with Shay, exactly? This is confidential, although... You better watch out. That girl's insane. Oh, uh, well, nothing new. I'm serious. Her file indicates she escaped from an asylum nine years ago. And not an ordinary one. 
Central Light is known for hosting the worst loonies whose profile means danger to others. She's been covering her tracks for years. Asylum? Uh, whatever. I trust her more than you. Loonies attract loonies. I'll be back. If only you didn't. What? N nothing Should I buy some snacks? Wait, what did I just buy? Oh, it's some advertisement. Can I get my money back? Welcome back. Why aren't you wearing our Medi Live Health? Analyzing your health in real time helps to cure you faster. If I'm not mistaken, this is an in depth medical examination terminal. One session costs 50 units? We've completed the examination. Would you like detailed results or a summary? A summary, please. I don't have all day. Your global health evaluation is 26%. Here are the potential threats currently in your body. Head toe virus. Probability to result in death, 47%. Genetic heart issues. Probability to result in death, 24%. Melting brain bacteria. Probability to result in death, 22%. 84 other concerning threats detected, including pallorodonia, septicesium, rotting tail syndrome, hypertension, corrosive skin, cyruptic disorder, clouding vision, spontaneous combustion. <laughs> I've got all of those? Yeah, right. I'd be dead 50 times over if that were true. Your expected remaining lifespan without a cure is six years. Huh. Guess I shouldn't worry about getting white hair. You're a reptile. You cannot have hair. Here's your prescription. Take it. That's no prescription. It's an ad. What the heck? Thank you for using our technology. What a waste of fine money.
Mr. Pork. Was that Wes's voice? Affirmative. Our chief has a lot of respect for our visitors. He insisted that he record these informational messages himself. That's, uh, unexpected. Wes said I should meet him this morning. Checking. Affirmative. He had been awaiting you before leaving for an urgent mission. He required you to stay here and wait for his return. We always follow the chief's orders to a T. But he made me a temporary cop. Checking. This information is true. However, you do not have the required permissions to access the chief's office. Bummer. Where is he? This information is confidential. When does he come back? This information is confidential. Obviously. Well, I can't just sit around indefinitely. Hmm. Meeting Wes yesterday. It sure brought back memories. He was the inspector in charge of investigating Leah's death. All this time, I've been convinced. He's been hiding things. This may be my only chance. I need to find a way to enter his office. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Oh, I hoped it'd be more useful. There you go. Nice, an ad coupon. I don't remember this speaker. Affirmative. It was broken. We replaced it today. Without properly working cameras, sound is crucial for us to understand the visitor's requests. Hello. Please stand on the appropriate floor panel for assistance. Floor? Panel? Yes, please do, visitor. I don't have time for this nonsense. My office. We will welcome you 25 hours a day, every day. Stay here to order a drink. I wonder, what's your job at night? Guarding the place, cleaning the rooms, preparing the planning, validating rules, ordering materials, killing the prisoners. Yeah, yeah, I get the picture. Wait, what did you just say about the prisoners? Dealing with the prisoners. Look after them. Right. We do not like you, but are required to ask anyway. Would you like a drink? Take. Whoa, it's flowing all right. A real waterfall. Gotta be careful not to spill it on my beautiful coat. Beautiful? If we could laugh, we would be rolling on the floor right now. Hey, you're a bot. And blind. You're not supposed to have taste, but I should. Exactly. Enter. On this spot, you may request a special entrance to visit a cell, the cafeteria, or our offices. May I visit the inside of Wes's office? We're sorry. Visitors are not allowed in this area. I thought so. Then, may I visit Sin? He's in jail. Are you a relative? Uh, a friend. Request rejected. <clears throat> Ask us anything. Our automated agents will do their best to answer you. This is a paid service. Five unis per minute. We love asymmetric cryptography, don't you? Am I not supposed to be the one talking? Our statistics indicate humans have tremendous difficulties choosing relevant conversations. Well, I have no intention of discussing crypto thingamabob. As you wish. Please, stay here to file a complaint. Tell me, what is your complaint? Screw that! You better get me to that bloody office! Or else! This isn't an acceptable type of complaint. Please reformulate. Hmm... Pretty please, your robotness? Allow me access to that wonderful room before I go off the rails. Complaint denied. I don't remember this. Affirmative without pro- Mr. Pork, please. 
Enter. My office. Check it. The chief's order is confirmed. The office is unlocked for you. That means I can enter? Affirmative. Great! Advanced AI's my foot. Open all the time. When all the personnel are bots, that's not hard to achieve. We do not understand your query. Please reformulate. This wasn't a query. Just a rant. We do not like you, but our requ- Would you like a- There you go! Um... Hello? Oh, Mr. Brock! What are you doing here? You're... Graf's friend, right? Uh, I think you were at the fair? Ott, yeah! Any idea where the chief of police might be? Uncle Wes? He's out right now. Uncle? I've heard him referring to an issue with tox-out pills. This will probably take a while. All right. I'm sorry to ask, but are you... A hybrid? Yeah. Every child inherits a race from either the father or the mother. Except me. I inherited genes from both of my parents. I've heard this happens once in every thousand births. Maybe even less. Might be a mistake of nature. Might be the pollution. All I know is... You're special. You bet. No matter how kind people try to be, they always look at me differently. This used to make me mad, but I got used to it. Yeah, I know the feeling. What do you mean? Long story. Hmm. If you don't mind, I've got a question too. What are you exactly? Croc or Gator? Wish I knew. You don't? Yeah. Trying to solve mysteries and yet unable to find the truth about myself. Poor excuse for a detective, huh? Don't say that. You're just too busy helping others. Someday you'll find out. I'm sure of it. Thanks. I was supposed to be comforting him, but he ended up comforting me. Boy, I almost wish he was my son. Oh, what's wrong with me? I, I shouldn't think that. Graf is a good boy, too. He's just... more difficult, too. You okay? Yeah. I have another question. Shouldn't you be at school? The cons? Nah, I'm on internship today. Ah. <sighs> hmm? Anything wrong? You look like... Nothing, I'm fine. Uncle Wes said I should stay here until he comes back. It's my first day. I... I have to make a good impression. I've seen that face before. He needs to pee. So, uh, Wes is your uncle? Yeah. It's so cool of him to accept me for this internship. Do you know him well? It's funny you'd ask this. To be perfectly honest, not that much. He's always super busy. I guess this comes with a job. He comes to family reunions, but... He always ends up leaving for an emergency before even touching his plate. By the way, what business do you have with him? Your uncle uh, kind of forced me to join the police. Temporarily. Seriously? Well, it's not such a surprise. You're an expert. Graf told me about you. Is that so? Yeah. Actually, he'd love to know what you're doing during the day. But he's certain it's awesome. He thinks detectives are super cool. And so do I. Is he talking about the same graph? What about the talks out pills? I'm not sure, but apparently there's a shortage going on. A shortage? I took mine this morning, so I'm good. At least for today. Don't worry. I messaged Graf this morning. He has one too. Good to know. What about you? Well, I'm just sort of... Immune to it. What? Immune? To the pollution? Seriously? Yeah. No idea how. One day I just realized the haze didn't affect me, so I stopped taking them. I had never heard of anything like that. Even drummers aren't totally safe with the dome. Don't tell anyone, okay? The last thing I want is to be transformed into a laboratory croc. My lips are sealed. 
He seems like a genuinely good person who has his share of trouble with life. I can see why he relates to Graf. Certainly glad they're friends. See ya. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Maybe you should, um, you know, let it go? You noticed? Can't. I, I said... I won't touch anything. Cross my heart and hope to die. Huh. No, I, I always keep my promises. I can hold. No big deal. Ah, I pity him. Seems like you're stuck here, huh? I'll get you a drink. I'm not particularly thirsty. Nonsense. No need to be polite. I'd never let a youngster die thirst. Oh, okay. There you go. Some water. Thanks. The water keeps flowing. Yeah. Cool, huh? Ugh. What's that box thingy? You don't know. A trihome. It's a virtual assistant. You can ask anything. Uncle Wes lent it to me while he's busy. Sounds cool. Can I try it? Sure. Hello. You're a new user. What's your name? Who cares? Now registered as Who Cares. Whoops. Welcome. As a free customer level guest, your permissions are restricted to changing the room environment. Currently installed environments, space. Waterfall, mountain. Which environment would you like? Whoa, how luxurious. Would you like to install new environments? Special offer, get new environments for 500 UNIS each. Limited to the first 10,000 customers. Get it before it's gone. You may also get the season pass for just 1,500 UNIS. This is the best way to ensure you'll get the new environments as soon as they're released. Ah, uh, no thank you. And stop your blabbering, peddler box. Hey, that chair seems to be covering something on the floor. Ah, uh, what the? I can't push the chair out of the way. A wheel must be stuck. Crawling is out of the question. I wouldn't get a good enough view. And... My back hurts. Mr. Brock? What are you doing with this chair? Trying to get it loose. There you go. Fits perfectly. Well, more or less. Hmm. Otto's making a weird face at me. But I think he's too busy restraining himself to feel concerned. I can't. Good. Now I better act fast. Oh, I didn't have that one. Hey, that's a collectible ad. A bunch of decorations, prizes. On that trophy is written, promoted head of office. Congratulations, Wes, year 3030. 3030? The year we moved into the slums. Okay. Time for my favorite activity that I despise the most. Using a computer. Ooh. Nice. An ad coupon. Good idea. Hmm. There. But it's not enough. Where am I going to find a front view of the old man? What happened? There are some stains all over that socket. Even on the wall. Looks like it burnt. A power overload? <laughs> it's recent. Did someone put his finger in it by any chance? Nah, no one would be stupid enough to do that. Glad to see even someone as stiff as Wes can make such a mess. Could there be something interesting in there? Ah, various electronic equipments. Uh, got no idea what most of these are. I'm not a technical junkie. Ha! Here's something I recognize. A printer. Hadn't seen one in years. Back at school. When it was still called school. God, feel old. Anyway, I got it out. It's off. No juice. Obviously. Wires from various equipment are all tangled up. 
Here's the wire. Now I need to hook it up. That socket is all burnt down. Hopefully it still works. Hmm. Seems to be the only socket around. Hopefully it still works. Yeah! Ready to give birth to paper babies! Documents? They still use paper? Huh. A bunch of legal stuff. Staff contracts. Whoa! They're all dated from years ago! I guess Wes doesn't tidy up very often. Hmm. Huh? Some drawings? They're weird. And crossed. I can't even make out what they're supposed to be. It's like someone tried to draw a suspect but couldn't. No matter what. That must be all. Oh? Something stuck beneath all this paper. Got it. Ah, there's a note attached to it. Hey boss, I've noticed you stopped sketching for suspect search recently. Why? It's such a shame. You're the best artist among us. Regardless, here's something I came up with. It's all based on pictures of ourselves. I figured this could help you until you get your skills back. Hmm, looks fun. Oh, it's still got some energy left. Nice! I heard something. Hey, it's totally a picture of Wes. Let's get a picture of that. Picture. Oh. 2D picture analyzed, 3D model generated. The device is now displaying a holographic image of Wes. Nice. Yes, it worked! Hmm. Not much on this computer. I'm curious. What's in the trash bin? Two folders here. D. Silver and R. Filch. Darn. They're corrupted. I can't access the documents. Filch. Why does this have a familiar ring to it? Let's try this other icon. Lots of names here. Maybe some list of criminals? Yep, found it. The gloom. How do I select it? Oh yeah, Graf showed me once. Uh, there. And delete. Hmm. Is this enough, I wonder? The hacker phone. It's ringing. Uh, hello? Anyone around? No, but... This is a secure line. Good job. Wait, how do you know? What do you think? I set up a watch notification in case of any changes on my file. Whatever. Will you respect your end of the contract? Yeah, the chip is yours. Though I don't feel safe with you carrying it all around. Tell me who and I'll send it via a secure way. The slum school director. Got it. Oh, and this phone is going to self-destruct, like, right now. Whoa! So much for recycling. What a waste. Better get out of here before... Huh? What are you doing here? Oh, uh... You said you needed me, right? Don't worry, Uncle Wes. I watched the place, just like you asked. Huh. And that explains why you were outside. Sorry. I had to go to the toilet. But only for a minute. I just came back. Besides, you know, Mr. Brock is a good person. Is he now? 
Enough with the suspicions, Wes. I came here to help. Whatever. There are more urgent matters right now. We have a situation. An important scientist has disappeared over Engineer Lab 21. Unfortunately, I have other business to attend to, so I'm sending you. Along with my nephew. What? I'm going on a case. In the drums. Yes. I gave you special permission to access the dome today. I need someone trustworthy to watch over that detective. I'm right here, you know. An air car is ready to take you there. Awesome! I can't wait to learn from you, Mr. Brock. Don't get your hopes up, nephew. All I ask is that he doesn't screw up like he always does. I'll prove you can trust me, you old weasel. Come on, Hot. Let's go. Uh, can't believe they actually drugged us. This must be a test room. Am I trapped here? I should take a look around. What's a weight doing here? It's not so heavy. I should take it. Hmm. Collectible ad. Great. Isn't there something embedded in that wall? Ugh, I can't get it out. Ah, my hands! Hey, the weight fell. Who would have thought this would actually work? If using your brain doesn't work, use your fists. Thanks, Brock. What's this? A key lock? No way! My key works? I guess those trials are custom made. stuck. Is this part of my test? Or am I just as unlucky as my old man? Hey, it worked! I won? A rusty golden token. Some kind of reward? I needed to use my own weight. And here's what was below.
there any way to win this? And the moral is sometimes cheating is the only way. Oh, wait. Another triangle token. Looks precious. It might help to get out of here. Huh. Awesome! I found another one! Another one. How many of these are there? One more to the collection! The number 17 is written at the base. Hmm... I'm afraid I'm pretty bad at comparing the weights of... Well, weights... Weird shape. I wonder if there's a way to tell how much each weight is. This is the last one. Finally, there you are. Took you long enough. It's here, the building right in front of us. Watch out, Mr. Rock! Hey! Where are you going, Mr. Rock? That elevator thing. Nice! An ad coupon. Oh, I didn't have that one. Lasers. Hmm. Maybe we sh- Huh? Someone heard us. Let's enter. Who are you? We're here to investigate. No kidding, man. The chief of police said he'd send his best investigators. I didn't expect to see a darn croc and an ugly boy. <laughs> Watch your tongue. We're here to help. Uncle Wes sent us. You can call him to check. No point. I know the old weasel. I shouldn't be surprised. No time to waste. Fill us in on the situation. Yeah, I should have guessed it wouldn't take time for that either. One of the two engineers living here has disappeared. Living? Aren't they supposed to work here? Same. They never leave the place. What makes you think the situation is serious? I do regular room checks. During my last one, I just couldn't find Dr. Hush! Couldn't he just be hiding somewhere? Man, don't take me for an amateur. I I've looked all over the place. Besides, the guy's medical device has stopped indicating any vitals for hours. <laughs> Maybe he arranged his escape and left while he didn't look. Impossible. As you've seen, lasers block the entrance constantly. Even the engineers aren't allowed to leave without permission, which is by request to us agents. Well, Dr. Hush didn't make any such request. That place sounds like prison. Nah, I know those intellectual types. 
They don't mind dedicating their whole life to working on their crazy projects. Shane is a good example of that. I'm pretty sure they asked for it. The croc is correct. He said to me once that studies have proven this way of living enhances creativity. To me, that's just an excuse to do whatever they want, but the heck do I know? Barriers are for their own protection from outside threats. Yeah, totally not paranoid. You should know. That fits the description of most drummers. Can't blame them with all those drones roaming outside. But they created this situation themselves. Are you the only guard in this place? I prefer the term security agent. Whatever. Answer the question. Fortunately not. I couldn't stand being here all day. But there's only one of us at a time. The scientist was there when I arrived this morning. He disappeared during my shift. Has this situation happened before? I don't think so. I mean, those scientists may be crazy over the edge. They're locked up in here, so that limits the possibilities. Anything you can tell me on that missing engineer, Dr. Hush? Just your average scientist in his 40s. Pretty sure his only family and friends are his bot prototypes. Bots? He's making them? Not exactly. He specialized in AI programming. He occupies the room on the left. When was the last time he was seen? I arrived this morning at 3 a.m. When I take my shift, I always check on him. He was there. So, you saw him? Are you certain? Yeah, in the flesh. Did he exit his room after that? Yeah, I saw him go to the restroom. His medical tracking stopped at around 5 a.m. That thing isn't very precise, so uh, it could have been one or two hours before or after. What? With all the advanced technology available, you'd think this would be accurate. It's called living privacy. Even if you're dead? I won't pretend to know your job, Croc Detective, but you shouldn't jump to conclusions. You better darn well be alive! I can't afford losing my job! About Dr. Hush. What else can you tell me? Don't know. You'd better take a look at this room. That should tell you more about the character. Got it. You mentioned two engineers, didn't you? Yeah, Dr. Mink is the other one. He's working on nanobots. Kind of the I-know-it-all type. How do they get along? They don't. They're like cats and dogs, always bickering over stupid things. Yet, they've never asked to be moved to another lab. I guess it's just a game of rivalry. Uh, let's hope so. Anyone else here? Nope. All visitors are required special permissions, and that includes drone deliveries. No one entered or exited the building until your arrival. Why would you need deliveries if you've got a pipe mail in the hall? Some packages still can't pass through there, you know. Could somebody use it to escape? No way! You'd have to be cut into pieces! And that would surely leave some traces around. Ugh, right. Are you certain there's no escape route? Yeah, the windows are fake. The labs are not connected in any way. They made sure of this when building the place. The only access is the main entrance you came from. Never has been any other way. Never say never. Take a gamble? I'd bet a hundred unis on this. <sighs> I usually wouldn't say no, but can't afford to take that risk right now. Shame. I've been meaning to ask, what's a squealer doing here in the drums? None of your business! Just mentioning. I thought your clan had been banished from the whole country. What clan? I'm forbidden from regular jobs just because some others screwed up years ago? Well, I, uh... Shut up. You know nothing. I hate people like you. All focused on looks. Empty brains. Ooh, seems like a touchy subject. I'll take a look around. Not too soon. You better solve this fast. I was supposed to finish my shift one hour ago. I won't get paid for this overtime. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Nice, an ad coupon. 
Whose room is this? Dr. Hush's. The guy who disappeared? Let's have a look. Some kind of grease spot. Tastes like coffee. Energizing biscuits. Dr. Hush must have been eating them before disappearing. There are crumbs all over the table. Even on the floor. You'd think sign. Oh, I didn't have that one. Energizing biscuits. Dr. Hush must have been eating them before disappearing. There are crumbs all over the table, even on the floor. You'd think scientists would be less clumsy. Hey, that's a collectible ad. I know this model. It was pretty popular 20 years ago. Looks ugly. What could have made them so popular? Beats me. What's in there? Nothing in particular. Some information is displayed. Tidy. 90% charged. Do not disturb until charge is complete. It's apparently been charging since 5.10 in the morning? Nice! An ad coupon! Oh, so this adds some kind of ramp? That's Dr. Hush's? Seems locked. Hmm, a vent, maybe? This bot is the one displayed on the screen? I'll try turning it. Warning! Do not disturb until charge is complete. Oops. You should listen, Mr. Brock. Otherwise, we might damage it. It won't open. Huh? I hear music. A loud beat. Pretty catchy. Go away. I'm busy. Huh. Open. Now. Hey! Who the heck are you? Such a nice way to introduce yourself. Mind if I enter? Uh, of course I mind. I'm in the middle of something important. Like dancing? Mm -hmm. I'm here to... Get out! Mm -hmm. You again? I wasn't clear enough. I'm a detective. I'm here to investigate. Oh, gosh! Hey! I paid all my taxes. Leave me alone. You again? I... No. Leave me alone, reptile. Listen, you got two seconds to step aside. Or else, I might start getting a bit angry. And there ain't any punching bags around to vent my frustration. <gasps> All right, please, don't hurt me. So, why are you here? Huh? What the? Guard! Hey, what's going on? <gasps> Dr. Hush! Oh, this is impossible. Oh my gosh, is he... Well, case solved. But that doesn't make any sense. So much for looking all over the place, huh? I swear, he wasn't there. It's true. What the heck is going on here? I'll tell you what. Dr. Hush is dead as a doornail. That can't be. A murder in the drums? Now I get it. Mink, you wouldn't let me in when I checked this morning. Seems like you had a very good reason for that. Are you accusing me? You're out of your mind. There's a corpse in your room, man. What do you have to say about that? Now, now, relax. This murder case is in my hands. Let's not jump to conclusions. Guard, 
Block all exits. Already done, Big Snout. Then block all communications from outside. Nobody enters or exits this building. And no data either. On my way. And you, stay here. Don't move an inch. Oh, you can't be serious. I've got a ton of work ahead. I'm late on schedule. <laughs> oh, of course a simple mind like you wouldn't understand it. Your colleague is dead. At this stage, all I can say is that you're a suspect. But even if you're innocent, what do you think might happen if I don't find the culprit? Who's to say you're not the next one on the list? Ooh. Mm, rats. Even dead, that guy keeps aggravating me. You're the only one who can explain the tech-savvy stuff, so... I'll save you time. I'll follow you around so you can keep an eye on me. Good. I'm impressed, Mr. Brock. Even with all that, you keep your cool. Uh, yeah? Did you already solve a murder case before? Not that I can remember. Um, but I watched some noir livies when I was young. Seemed like the appropriate things to say. Oh. Well, you're still pretty cool. Thanks. Uh, why is this happening to me? Can't I have a normal day for once? No breathing. Poor guy. Looks like he was bludgeoned from behind. I should take a closer look at that stain. Looks like he's been hit right there. With enough strength, could be enough to kill. Hmm. Blood? That would make sense if it bumped into his head. Hmm. I can't see anything important. Nice hands, though. Blood here? Maybe it got there after the impact. Empty pockets. I've rarely seen dead bodies. But I would have thought he'd be more stiff. He's not holding anything, but... Uh, there's some black stains on his fingers. Whoa! His hand is literally covered by nanites. I better write this down. Is that blood? It looks... stretched. What's that? A vent? Yes. We're stuck in here all the time. The air has to recycle somehow. Oh, I didn't have that one. A ray of light? Yep. Ten feet of enjoyment. Ever heard of ray therapy? The hot temperature reduces stress and prevents aging. Could this be used to hurt someone? At maximum power, it could burn your skin. Not killing someone, though. Maybe if you were to spend years underneath it. Oh, don't tell me. These are... Ah... Uh, things. Nanites. Also called nanobots. Yeah, close enough. What are these for? Are you serious? We've been using them for ages. Now that you mention it, I think Leah used them in conjunction with medicine. Yes, their main usage is health. Inject them, and they can repair your body from the inside. Neato. Well, there's a recurring rumor in our nanobot community. A scientist would have succeeded to take direct control of a host through the use of nanites. Sounds scary. Indeed. But let me reassure you, this never happened. If someone had truly made such a discovery, he'd be the most famous scientist in the world. So you didn't? I wish. That glove. It's for manipulating 3D objects in holograms. How do you think we build our prototypes? What about the headset? A diagnosis tool. Nanomachines reproduce the behavior of insects. In particular, they make barely audible sounds depending on the situation. This amplifies their noise, so I can make it out. <sighs> Why do I even bother explaining? Sorry, had some bad sleep lately. That power socket. 
It's burnt down. Oh, that's right. I tried hooking up an ancient bot the other day to help me with handling materials. Bad idea. It fried as soon as I hooked it up. What bot? Does it matter? I threw it away a week ago, so it's irrelevant to what's happening. All the other bots in this facility are modern. You mean only old bots can cause this? Yeah. Manufactured pre-autarchism day, I'd say. Interesting. Flowers hanging from the ceiling are leaking into this sink. The juice from Hengalus Wallace boosts focus and memory. Oh, it's so refreshing. I just can't do without it. Want some? Definitely. Help yourself. Hmm. Feels like there's a party in my mouth and everyone's eating cakes with all the flavors in the world. Right? Hmm. What? Wait! Don't do this! Too late. Do you have any idea what you've just done? This was my ration for today. Now I'll be all out of juice. I... I'll have to lick the whole surface of the sink this evening. <laughs> yeah, I guess he's an addict. Hey, there's an ad stuck in the drain. Watch out! Huh? I'm working with acidic solutions. You better not put a finger in it. May I put a leg in? No! Hmm. I guess you could strangle someone with those wires? See any strangulation marks on the body? Not really. Hey, that's a collectible ad! I heard some sound coming from the room earlier. Must have been output from there. I guess Dr. Mink was listening to music? I thought you were specialized in nanotechnics. Nanotechnology. Yeah, that. Small robots. Why the chemicals, then? Nanites act on a molecular level. Oh, so you're making liquid robots? Hmm. Dr. Mink, I have a few questions to ask you. I was afraid you were going to say that. But first, please swear to tell the truth. Of course. I always do. Liars always end up contradicting themselves and revealing the truth. I do not want to waste time. Neither mine nor yours. Very well. How long have you been working here? Since I majored in research. About five years ago. We've both been selected to join this high-rank facility. The kind of opportunity that you can't turn down! So you've known each other for a long time? Yes, although we've never really been close. Does this mean you don't like each other? No, that's irrelevant. We just do our jobs and are entirely dedicated to it. We dedicate our lives so that humanity can progress. No friends? No family or children either? <laughs> Loving a single person. Raising a handful of individuals. We cannot afford to live such a petty life. We will be immortalized for our work forever. It will impact the lives of thousands, possibly even millions. But, but, but... No but. I made this choice years ago, and I never regretted it for a second. What a sad way to live. So, uh, what kind of scientist are you? I specialize in nanotechnology and biology. Anything that can help humanity to live longer. We've been studying them for decades. However, a groundbreaking discovery was made in... Uh, sorry, Doc. I'd prefer to stick to the matter at hand. <laughs> what can you tell me about Dr. Hush? He's my... Well, he was my colleague. He was dealing with macro-robotic while I'm dealing with Nano. We've been selected to work in the same building, as we're complementary. And how is your relationship lately? I see where you're going. Yes, 
It was a bit tense. Why? Well, the government started shifting the funding to scientific projects. In particular, they reduced the budget for nanotechnology projects in favor of AI research. So this directly impacted your experiments? Listen, that's true. We've always had some disagreements. But even with the budget alterations, I didn't hold a grudge against him. Actually, he's the one who changed. He barely talked to me anymore. And when he did, the situation got tense. Lately, I could swear he was even trying to avoid me. I just figured he was too busy. But now, oh, I could never imagine he would end up like this. Any idea what could have happened? Honestly, not the slightest. I was here all day. He wasn't. I'm sure of it. Well, the corpse is in the middle of your room. You should have seen him enter at some point. No, I, I swear. It's like he magically appeared behind me when you entered the room. Magic, huh? I know how this sounds, but you've got to believe me. Right now, I don't believe in anything other than facts. I'll look around for clues. You better find out the culprit, because I wasn't involved in this. What's in there? The restroom. I'll have a peek. A trash grinder. I wonder why the blades are so close to the surface. That paper didn't get totally destroyed. Hey, I recognize it. That's the wrapping for McFlee's flagship ant burger with extra tomato sauce. My favorites. Map of the building. I'll take it. It's hard to believe high-tech facilities still use hard paper maps. Makes sense in the eventuality of a power breakdown, though. This is... um... A shower? What? No, a showlet. You mean... This combines a shower and a toilet? Oh, I get it now. You're from a far away country, right? <laughs> Something like that. I've been out of touch with technology advances lately. Well, it's a huge space and time saver. Enter the cabin and let it take care of you. The robotic hand removes your clothes, then feel free to let it go while it washes you. When finished, it gives you new clothes. Seems convenient. Clothes. Ugh, they're smelly. Don't touch that. Our maintenance bot will do the laundry. A wardrobe on this side of the fridge. Nothing unusual, but... Oh boy, those clothes are one heck of a pack. You couldn't even fit a paper between them. A box of ants. Alive. My favorites. Very fresh and crunchy. I thought you'd use them for experiments. We do. But nothing wrong with taking a snack sometimes. <laughs> I'm starting to like you. Inside, there's tons of coffee. Powder, more precisely. What did you expect? Dunno. A toothbrush, maybe? Toothbrush? Like a brush to clean our teeth. How silly! Why not a feet brush then? Their water is so full of chemicals that they lost their need for it. Nice! An ad coupon! What are you doing? Just checking what could have sunk in there. Smells like coffee. Great. The heck? It's full of nanites stuck in that sink. Not only this, there seems to be some kind of flower. Dr. Mink must have flushed some experiments. What? No, 
I've never done such a thing. I have my own sink. Then, what are they doing here? Beats me. No nanite on that coffee cup? This shouldn't be a surprise. And yet... Yep, there was coffee in there. So, what does this mean? That someone drank coffee? Oh, I would have thought someone was in the restroom recently, and you'd ask the staff who drank it. Yeah, sounds good. Did you drink that coffee, Mink? It's Dr. Mink for you. And yes. When, exactly? Around 4.40. I always get a bit peckish during Techno Junkie. Is that some kind of show? Yes. It lasts for 30 minutes, approximately, so I must have went out of the restroom at around 5. I remember this. A holographic display to watch Livy's. Wow! To watch a Livy, say or think meaty, followed by the title. Hmm. You're not seriously considering it, are you? I sense someone disagrees with your choice. Would you still like to start watching Hilarious Fairy Tales? Um, no thanks. The thoughts detection still doesn't work very well. Yeah, must be that. What do we have inside? Huh? A button? That's all? Of course. What did you expect? Usually our health chip will detect any problem and send whatever we need immediately. This button is only for use in extreme situations, which are technically unthinkable. Like a power outage, a meteorite falling down, or even... Hmm. A fire? Yes, even less probable. Press this and you'll get a package delivered to the closest pipe to provide health cure basics. If such a situation happened... Would you even know how to use that minimal package? Hmm... Probably not, but who cares? It's not like it's going to happen anyway. Yeah... Uh -huh. I heard a sound. You sure? All I could hear was a bum caused by your fist. Only one way to find out. So, where's the package? I didn't have that one. An energy drink? You gotta be kidding me. Wait, I thought communication was out. Hey buddy, you pressed the emergency button, didn't you? Emergency calls are never cut off. Oh good, I'm always thirsty. Nothing? Try pressing harder. Remember, this is for emergencies. Hmm. I'm thirsty. This isn't exactly a vending machine, you know. Who cares? As long as I get what I want. An ad? Uh, and here I thought I couldn't be worse than the first time. Last connection, 4.45. Wait, how come there's a ton of nanites on this particular coffee spot? That thing, it's blinking green. Does this mean... YOLO! No? Huh? You seem surprised and unsafe. Do not worry. I do not bite. I am glad to see a new face. It has happened zero times since I was born. Oh. 
So you're... Dr. Hush's assistant. Tidy. I tidy things up, left, down, right. Yup, yup. I see. Mind if I ask a few questions? I do not, do not mind. So, Dr. Hush built you? Yup, yup. He's my daddy. We love daddy. Where's my daddy? Um. He's dead. Hey, show some compassion for the little guy. What guy? He's a piece of junk. Daddy dead? Well, seems so. We're trying to understand what... Dead daddy! Daddy dead! Dead, dead, dead daddy! Uh, I thought you'd be... A, a little less joyful? Told you. The thing has no feeling. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no! It means no see daddy again? Dead daddy? <sighs> Look, uh, I know it's hard. Well, maybe not, because you're not alive, but anyway, I gotta ask, did you hurt your daddy? Hurt daddy? I cannot! Not, not, not! No way! Uh, why are you smiling while saying that? Oh, uh, bug, bug! Changing expression! <laughs> Dead daddy! <laughs> I just can't analyze it. It... Him... <laughs> I don't know anymore. He's telling the truth. How can you tell? He keeps changing his face. Daddy is good. No, Daddy is best. I couldn't care less about his body language or that spouting nonsense. No robot can harm his creator. Ever. That's the golden rule. Care to elaborate? When did you see your daddy for the last time? Morning, 5.04. What was he doing? Daddy, away. Exit room. Did he say anything when leaving? Yup, yup. Retrieving record. I need to settle things with Dr. Mink. What? This is impossible. Dr. Hush never even came to my office today. Then how do you explain the fact that he's in your room currently? I don't know, but that bag of screws is lying. I'm gonna tear him apart until... Calm down, or I shall calm you down myself. <laughs> what were you doing at the time, Tidy? Charge! Power to Tidy! Wait, you said you recorded Dr. Hush while you were charging? That's weird. You were totally shut off when I first found you. Tidy! Several phases of sleep, like human. Dr. Mink, is that even possible? Yes. We don't shut off machines immediately to compress the data of the day. The same way, it takes several steps before full awakening. But you still shouldn't listen to that bot. It's trying to confuse you. Did your sensors record anything else? Nothing unusual. Hmm. <laughs> Surely you've seen all those fantastical lives with robots rebelling against humans. Years ago, when the scientific community started designing bots, they took this into consideration. There's a golden rule. It's implemented in the hardware, encrypted deep within their AI core, and replicated throughout all their parts. No robot can attack their creator. That's true. We've learned this at the Konsk. We do not. Love Daddy, we do! Okay, so... They can't harm their creators. But those pieces of junk sure can harm me. I've had to get my way through Tribots more than once. Of course, there are varied levels of permissions. Permission to tidy! Shh! Stay here! The standard bots, close family and friends, are included in a second layer to that rule. Police and military tribots are designed for battle and may attack anyone who is considered a threat. This varies according to model. However, the golden rule is always there. 
Besides, we've never had any accident. <laughs> never say never. Life has taught me there's always a first to everything. <laughs> what makes you so certain that Dr. Hush respected the no-killing convention? Simple. An algorithm thoroughly checks. Algo? Rhythm? Dance? YOLO! It's hardly the moment to dance, Tidy. Anyway, if he didn't comply, he wouldn't be able to communicate with the exterior. Okay. Tell me, what can you do, Tidy? Tidy can tidy! Yes, and? Tidy can stretch arms. Like this, or this. That's pretty cool. I admit it. This must be useful. Hmm. Can you bend them? Ridiculous. Bending robot? No. Vertical. Horizontal. No bend. Daddy cannot. Try. No make. Work. Now. Dead, Daddy. Um, Tidy? You're bending them right now. Oh, uh, yes. My mistake. Cannot bend while extending arms. Oh, so what's the exact use? Moving arms, very efficient. No full body move. I see. Must be more practical to grab things scattered in a room. <laughs> Anything else? Tidy can carry objects. Do repairs, make phone calls, Tidy has sensors to detect humans and objects. Calculate shortest path. Useful to bring the coffee, I guess. Also, Tidy can strip clothes. Uh. Daddy likes getting naked. What did he just say? Please, naked. Uh, no, no, that won't be necessary. Either he's got a screw loose, or Dr. Hush is an exhibitionist. I wonder. Mr. Brock, what are you writing? Well, uh, it's a clue, so... Daddy, all naked. Yup, yup. This seems like a sympathetic bot, though. I don't really trust those artificial beings. He may be hiding something. I need to find the truth. Let's investigate. That should be enough for now. Enough! Enough, enough, enough! Got work to do! Wait! I forbid you to touch anything! Not Daddy! Not listening! Get lost! Yup, yup! What? You little piece of... Tidy, stay here. You should not mess with anything right now. Okay, Minky. He obeys you? Of course. Can't say I like it, but that thing is useful. I'm in his close acquaintances list. Oh well. As long as he doesn't move. An animated painting. That's a paint TV. You can watch liveies, of course, but the trend is to display a still picture permanently. For sure, that's a better use of technology. You don't say! Dr. Hush is so old-fashioned, and he calls himself an engineer. <laughs> Got more questions. Stay put- I don't have all day, you know. You okay? Well, I didn't expect to investigate a murder on my first day. It's both neat and kind of scary, knowing there's a killer around us. You don't mind me staying close? Of course. Thanks. Dr. Mink, what's your relationship with Tidy? He's the maintenance bot. He just comes and goes, doing housework. Did he come today? No. Until your arrival, no one entered my office this morning. Are you certain? Hmm. 
actually... The guard did check if everything was okay, like he always does, but he didn't enter. I've noticed the doors close automatically. How does Tidy open them? Just like us, he pushes the buttons. Free to roam around, then? Yes. Well, except my room. I deny him access. He must knock at the door first. Then I allow him entry. How come? You know, I don't want a bot bursting into my room in the middle of the night. That would be creepy. Says the creepy scientist. You said Tidy was lying. Is a bot truly capable of lies? Usually, no. But I never programmed it. Keep in mind, Dr. Hush was doing AI experiments. This could also be the result of a bug in the core. Tidy could believe what he says is the truth, based on false information. But you heard the recording. It was Dr. Hush's voice, wasn't it? Hmm, I don't know. Yes, it sounded exactly like him, but... Oh, there must be some explanation. Yeah, I just wish you'd give me one. He doesn't really look trustworthy. I better try and squeeze the facts out of him. See if there are contradictions in his statements. Just a moment. We'll continue this discussion later. I'm not the only one here. Interrogate the others! Don't touch this! Why? Does it bite? Don't play stupid! Can't you see that's my work tablet? It contains confidential information! So? Do you have any idea what could happen if it fell in the wrong hands? No, but I'm the detective here, so I'm not giving you a choice. Okay, go ahead. Put your greasy hands on it. Uh, I can't do anything. Is it locked? Yes, obviously. There's security. Well then, unlock it. No. What? Listen, buddy. I'm in no mood for jokes. So do your part, or this little friend of yours may accidentally end up stuck in your face. <laughs> if you insist. Hm. There. So? On second thought, uh, I can't understand any of it. Let me see. Hmm. Oh. At first glance, I don't see anything suspicious. This is some research data on power efficiency of nanites. Okay. In any case, I don't see any blood on this tablet. Unless it's been wiped off. I doubt this is a crime weapon. No! You think? Can't exclude any possibility. Ugh, really not my kind of art. You have no taste. Parts for experiments, maybe? That's amazing. Not a single part is jutting out of this furniture. This could be called an organized mess. Dr. Hush is a maniac. He hates when something isn't where it belongs. So he taught his maintenance bot to tidy items like this. I remember him going insane once because I didn't put my coffee exactly at the center of the table. Yeah, well... All scientists are a bit eccentric. What do you mean? I'm not eccentric. There's an exception to each rule. Hmm. You do have a point. Brock one, scientist zero. <laughs> Last connection. Tidy? Yep. yep. Tidy? Yep. Good boy.
pipe mail. In the middle of the hall? Those guys receive shipments all the time. Mostly ink for their material printers, but also their junk food. <laughs> it's very practical. Can't see anything special about it, but it's shut. Any way to open it? Nah, it's totally automatized. And only goes one way. The only thing those scientists produce is information. They never need to send anything physically. Uh, makes sense. What do you suggest? Maybe examining the body? Yeah. What's this? Some kind of apparatus? Ah, oh, I see it now. That's one of those old-fashioned lamps, right next to the body. Hmm, Ott seems to have an idea. Let's see what he's got. What do you think so far? I've solved this! Really? You haven't? Uh, well, I'd like to hear your conclusion first. Okay, let's gather everyone in Dr. Ming's room. So, what's going on? Found the culprit? I'm going to let my colleague here explain. Huh? Me? You said it. You've solved the case, haven't you? Um... He's just a boy. No, it's true. I can explain. All right, so... This is a closed-door murder. As you know, no one could enter or leave this place without being noticed. Which means... Only one of us could have done it. Yes. The body was first seen when we entered this room. It appears Dr. Hush has been struck on the head and died due to the impact. Considering there's blood on the lamp located right next to him, this must be the murder weapon. This lamp belongs to Dr. Mink. This implies the murderer had access to it. I don't like where this is heading. Dr. Hush was last seen alive by his assistant bot, Tidy. He never came back to his office. So where did he go? The possibilities are limited. Again, he could not leave the building. The only exit has an impassable power barrier. He couldn't have exited his room and stayed in the hall. It wouldn't make sense, and Mr. Guard would have noticed it. Hmm. Any comment? No. I was watching the whole time. Nothing unusual happened. Let's continue. Dr. Hush could have gone to the restroom and been killed there. But that leaves one problem. We didn't find his body there, but in Dr. Mink's room. This means he would have had to be carried to the next room without anyone noticing. If he somehow got carried out of the restroom, Mr. Guard would have noticed it. We've checked the restroom. There's no access between it and Dr. Mink's room. So that leaves only one option. Dr. Hush went straight from his office to Dr. Minx's. Nonsense! He never came here. And yet, here's his body. How do you explain it? I... don't know. I considered other possibilities. Maybe Tidy got involved somehow. After all, he's free to roam between the rooms for his cleaning duty. However, he could not access Dr. Minx's room. He's required to knock, and you need to open it. That didn't happen, right? No. Unless he used Dr. Hush's hand to open the door. Carrying it in the hall seems improbable. The guard was watching. As for you, Doctor, you didn't see or hear them enter. How about you, Ratty? I bet you killed the doctor in the hall and plopped his remains into my room behind my back. Who are you accusing me now? Why'd you think I called the cops if I was the murderer? To disculpate yourself. That's why. You dirty rodent. I'll lose my job because of you. Calm down. I thought about this too. But that idea seems doubtful. Do you seriously think he opened your door with Dr. Hush's body in his hands and then threw it all the way there without you noticing? Which leaves only one person who could do it. You, Dr. Mink. Ah! You're out of your mind, boy! I said it! I've never killed anyone! 
Drop it, Mink. You're done for! Drop? Up, down, left, right. And what would be my motive? Very simple. Mr. Guard mentioned hearing constant arguments between you both. We've been bickering over the past five years. That's no proof. Remember, Tidy's recording. Dr. Hush came to your room to settle things with you. You must have been fed up of hearing you complain about the budget restrictions on your projects. You seriously think this is a valid reason to kill someone? You're right. It wouldn't. For ordinary people. But you're entirely focused on your work. This is all your life. You can't afford to lose it. Dr. Hush profited from a higher budget while yours decreased. Tensions moved up a notch. You couldn't take any more. You grabbed the closest thing within reach. Your lamp. And then... BAM! Ah! This was most likely an accident. You hadn't prepared for this. So you didn't know what to do with the body. Panicking, you hid it under your bed. This would give you time to think. Under the bed? Only an idiot would do that! Seems like the best hiding spot to me. Guard, what do you think? You check the room regularly, right? Hmm, I did, but the weasel wouldn't let me in. If the body was under the bed, then yes, I wouldn't have seen it from here. You can't prove any of this. Sure we can. Right there. A trace of blood on the floor, exactly between the bed and the body. Why else would that be there? What the? It's true! There was only one way to make him disappear without anyone noticing. The acid canister. To liquefy the body and pour it down the sink. No! I never... These are for my experiments. When we arrived, you would just move the body out of your bed to throw the deadly substance on the poor chap. Remember, Mr. Brock, he wouldn't let us in. Which makes perfect sense now. Mr. Detective, please, don't tell me you agree with this. So, have you been paying attention? You know, I've been wondering something for a while now. What are you looking at? Your tie, Dr. Mink. There's a red stain underneath it. What? Hey, the croc is right! But wait! This isn't what you think. I... I ate an ant burger this morning. I wiped the stain away. I just forgot to check under here. This is tomato sauce. Are you taking us for fools, Mink? Hey, wait! What the heck? <laughs> My tie! You... licked it? Hmm. At least... You believe me now, don't you? <laughs> oh my, what are you doing, Mr. Brock? Brocky is gross! Just as I thought. This is no blood. Told you! Not just on your tie. There's no blood on this corpse. What? The heck? Are you serious? Check it for yourself. No, I believe you. But then, my theory... Has faults, I'm afraid. Gigantic ones. Oh. I had a feeling this seemed way too perfect. This case is more complex than we thought. Someone's been trying to cover himself. What a relief. However, this means we took the wrong approach. Don't tell me. We need to re-examine this place from top to bottom. No way! Are you aware I'm not getting paid right now, Croc? Oh, I should be home sleeping! I don't care. This may be one more hour of work for you. But this could mean the death penalty for the one sent to jail. Exactly. And your insistence to leave makes you even more suspect to my eye. Ah, better be gone before I... Tidy, you better go back to your room. And no tidying, okay? Tidy follows orders. Gone. No tidy. Thank you, Mr. Detective. You saved my skin. Don't congratulate me too soon. 
You may still very well be the culprit, just trying to confuse us to appear innocent. Hmm. I'll just have to put my trust in you, then. When you're done, and you've got a plausible theory that doesn't involve me this time, come and see me. Come on, Not. We better examine each and every detail thoroughly this time. Yes, sir. Why the smile? I could use this cleaning bot. Really? This old thing? What about Tidy? Exactly. With this, I would never need him in my room ever again. I want it. Okay, but it's broken. Oh, come on. I can repair this thing. I'll buy it for... Hmm, a thousand unis. That much? Deal. Not such a bad day after all. Sorry for earlier. Uh, tell me more about your work. Currently, I strive to improve the nanite's efficiency. Could these be used to kill someone? Doubtful, but technically possible. With bad programming, they could destroy the host. But we've been working on this technology for a while now. This never happens. Although... Hmm... Go ahead. Destructive effects can happen if the nanites were mixed with specific organic elements. Such as corrosive acid? That would definitely leave some traces. Could it be possible to destroy a body without external damage? I think I encountered some plants with this ailment. I would have to check my logs. Well, let's just assume it happened. How would we know? The nanites are trained for survival. Once the host is near death, they leave, but they couldn't last long on the outside. You'd find inactive nanites less than three feet away from the body. I'd better check the surroundings for any nanites in unexpected places. Can't see them with my own eyes, but I'm sure I have the right tool for the job. I know it'll sound harsh, but do you believe Dr. Hush committed suicide? I can't deny that he had been acting strange recently. So, I guess it's not outside the realm of possibility. I just find it weird he would do this in my office. Unless he really hated you. Do you think Tidy could have played a role in the murder? I don't see how. He cannot access my office. Besides, Dr. Hush is his maker. He could never... Hurt his creator directly? Yeah. Uh, let's keep some distance with that reasoning. My trust with technology is limited. A true detective never turns down any lead. When can we expect the result of your investigation? Uh, well, no. I didn't finish interrogating everyone. <laughs> you sure did interrogate me. I'll look around for clues. You better find out the culprit. Because I wasn't involved in this. Listen, I'd like to amend for my behavior earlier. My tablet offers a variety of features that you may find useful. So it's not just your research? You hid this from us? No. These features seemed unrelated to the case. But after what we've learned, I'm not sure anymore. Let me give you access. Lend me your finger. Hey! I'm adding you to the authorized guests. You'll have unlimited access for an hour. Oh, thanks. Hmm. Yep, here's that ladder. A rudimentary maintenance ladder, more precisely. It doesn't really feel safe. Do you access it sometimes? Are you crazy? I fear heights. Okay. Time to explore. Are you sure about this, Mr. Brock? No other choice. We can't let any possible clue undiscovered. No, I mean... 
Will there be enough room for you to get through? Hey, I'm not that big. You'll see. Oof, that's tight. Oh, maybe time for a diet after all. Hey, what did I just touch? Ugh, it's all sticky. Oh, it tastes good. I've lit it up for you. Nice. Yep, that's interesting. There's tomato sauce. What's it doing here? Hmm. I'll think about this later. Better get out of here before I get stuck. There's some kind of huge pipe at the top. Can't climb through there, I'm afraid. Then uh, I shall keep moving forward or reach the other side. Ouch! Oh, that was quite the drop. Huh. That's a vent, right? Yes. There's one in my room, also. How does that trap open? Hmm. I think you need to press that lever next to it. But that's unreachable. You're supposed to use a ladder, obviously. There's one attached in my room, but there's not one here. Seems so. That tablet might contain crucial information, but it's locked. Hmm. I'd better take it. Some kind of grease spot. Oh, did you just lick the floor? Hmm. Gotta be certain. Well, that's coffee. This is the same model as the one next to Dr. Hush. I should take it. Hmm. According to the map... What are you doing? Something's off. What do you mean, Mr. Brock? Just a hunch. Huh. Oh! You broke the wall? I barely touched it. Some paper-thin slab was obstructing this. A hole? Looks like it. And this leads right to your room, Dr. Mink. I had no idea. It's small. No one would fit. I wonder if anything got through there, though. That's up to us to find out. Hmm. Upon further inspection, uh, that's not very clean. Can't see any of those tiny bots from Dr. Mink, though. Anything you can tell me about this lamp? It's supposed to be yours, right? I guess. That's a connected object, of course. So there's data in it. You should check it. Better take it, then. Huh. Hey, it works! What? Dr. Hush's tablet. It unlocked. I'm surprised. I thought this wouldn't happen, considering... Well, you thought wrong. Let's see what this baby has to offer. Hmm... Looks like he transferred some data. Let me see. You're right. That's an external file transfer of his current project. AI Update 302305.zyl Is that unusual? Of course not. We regularly transfer files to our managers. Although, the receipt address is obscured. What does this mean? I can't really know who received the file, but considering the metadata, this must be someone high-ranked. Wait, I just noticed. That file was modified yesterday, but it was created in... 3029? Six years ago? Well, that makes no sense. There must be a bug in the OS. Do you think this might be linked to our case, Mr. Brock? A transfer at 445. That must definitely be important. Will Dr. Hush's lamp reveal some secrets? Uh-huh. 
What? So, fatal damage early this morning? Curious. Let's see what the supposed murder weapon has to say. Huh. All necessary stuff for a lamp, for sure. Huh? Maybe they exchanged them by accident? Here are the logs. Hmm. There. Major shock at 1102. Let me check. Hmm. You're right. That's the only relevant information on there. So, is this the murder weapon after all? We shall find out. Dr. Mink, when we arrived, I heard some music coming out of your room. Well, it's in my best interest to put all my cards on the table. So, yes, I allowed myself a short, fun seance. Oh, and here I thought you scientists were just a bunch of workaholics. So, you were dancing? Please don't rub salt in the wound. What music? Is that important? Might be. Oh, tech dream. It's a very catchy tune. I can never get it out of my head. Where in the room were you positioned when you were dense, uh, having fun? Hmm. I believe I was close to the door. I stopped when I heard you knocking and took a peek at the door screen. Did you notice anything unusual by that time? If I did, I would have told you already. I just heard you knocking and then I opened the door. Well, that's the short version. That's when we saw the body which just popped out of nowhere. Okay. Thanks for the info. Do you wish to watch a livey? Not now. You're lying, but that's fine. Other actions are available. Say or think help to get a list. Hmm. Help. Uh, error. Unable to connect. Reverting to offline mode. One record found. Would you like to play it? A record? Why not? I'm in the restroom. That's Dr. Hush's voice. He must have recorded this by accident. That happens sometimes. An accident? Food. Nothing particularly. Wait a minute. What's wrong? There should be hamburgers in there. I ate the last one a while ago. I should have ordered more automatically. Oh, I forgot. External communication is out. You ate an ant burger? Tell me more about it. How is that interesting? You never know. Well, I have some kind of ritual. I always have an ant burger while watching my science show. This morning I got pretty angry though. There was only one left, and it was already unfrozen. Curious. Do you think Dr. Hush wanted to eat it? Possibly, though he usually dislikes these, and it was in one piece. I bet he gave it a shot and then decided against it. Yeah. I should inspect this further. Only one way to do it. Couldn't you do this more... gently? I don't have all day, you know. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Looks like... pills? Yep, definitely pills. Whose are they? Don't look at me. I've never seen those. Is Dr. Hush taking some medication? That's highly probable. No one else lives here. Keep in mind, I've barely had contact with him lately. Maybe you should analyze them. Good idea. I'm surprised to see only one cup in here. Doesn't Dr. Hush drink coffee? He does. Actually, he always drinks his coffee in the restroom. I know him. He couldn't bear spilling a few drops on his precious materials while working in his office. But he uses auto-degradable cups. Throw them into the sink and they're automatically reduced into powder. I prefer solid cups. 
I don't care what they say about lack of hygiene or whatever. Coffee tastes better in it. Yeah, I can relate to that. Excel 500? Never heard of it. Mr. Brock, I think we can use that tablet to do medical searches. Of course. This is data I've gathered myself, merged with a specialized local copy of the TriWeb. I have an offline access to information that the general public will never see. Is there a specific topic you're interested in? Let me think. Hmm. That's a drug for patients suffering from defective organs, acting slower than normal. Uh, sounds more like an ad than medication. Dr. Mink, did you know your colleague took these? No, but that does make sense. We don't exactly have a lot of physical activity. I don't take this. I prefer the all-in-one menu. All-in-one? It's regular powder food with stimulants incorporating the exact and appropriate dose of food based on our medical tracking. Huh. Nothing surprises me anymore. <laughs> Gonna solve this myself. That'll be faster. <laughs> You'd better reply, man. Or care to become suspect number one. Do you believe Dr. Mink has the profile of a murderer? Hmm. Possibly. I could feel the tension between them lately. In any case, I don't know what happened. When not claimed, you'd have noticed if Dr. Hush had stayed in the hall. You hesitated. <laughs> you didn't watch the whole thing. Did you? No way, man. I'm a professional. But still a human. Don't you have to go to the bathroom sometimes? I don't. Only the most capable are selected for this job. We can't afford to miss anything. Hmm. Can you swear it then? No one could have went by without you noticing? Yeah. Yeah, I swear it. I, I was there the whole time. Watching. <sighs> He doesn't sound all that confident. Listen, earlier you affirmed Dr. Hush exited his office for the restroom. When did this happen exactly? Hmm, can't remember. Sometime after I arrived. This is crucial. I need you to be precise. Hey, do you know what kind of job this is? The same boring thing every day. No surprise, no action. Nothing ever happens. Well, usually. Oh, how lucky. Uh, Never mind. Make some effort. What happened the last time Dr. Hush exited his room? When and where did he go? Told ya! Ugh, my brain wouldn't register such trivial things. But there's a way to find out. What's this? The door monitoring. What? You keep a registry of door openings? And you're only telling me now? I thought this wouldn't be important. Not important? How the heck are we supposed to run this investigation without all the information at hand? Hey, lower your tone. I'm the boss here. This is highly confidential data. Only security agents are allowed to access the reading device. But I'll make a special exception. Check it. Come on! Do your job! What do you think I'm doing? Dunno. And that's the problem. What am I looking at? This is today's monitoring. That thing records the time each door was opened. And some icons to differentiate an entrance or an exit. I see. An arrow on the left for an entrance, on the right for an exit? Yeah. There's also the identity of who opened the room. Everyone's recorded. What about Tidy? The maintenance bot. Yeah, tracked as well. Okay. Okay, let's study this. Dr. Hush's room. If I'm reading this correctly, Dr. Hush was last recorded at 5.04. 
then disappeared. Wait a sec. Why did you open that door at 510? Told you, I check the rooms regularly. Right after the doctor went out? Uh, seems so. My memory is confused. Hmm. The restroom. Hmm. A lot more activity than I expected. Uh, Tidy was last recorded entering there at 424. Nothing later. Even in the other rooms. Dr. Mink's room? What a surprise. Despite the corpse being in Dr. Mink's room, not much activity was recorded there. Basically, Dr. Mink went out, then came back a little later. The time matches the restrooms. I guess he simply went for a rest? In any case, Dr. Hush never opened the door. Neither did Tidy. That doesn't make much sense, but at least it confirms Dr. Mink's statement. What's this fourth door? The main entrance. Wait, didn't you say no one came or exited the place today? Then how do you explain these records? That was you. At 4.38? Uh, um... Wait, I know! That was me. I took my shift at 4.38. Is that so? <clears throat> nice scent. That'll be ten unis. What? <laughs> Just kidding. But next time, avoid crippling my precious plant right in front of me. If it's that precious, I'm gonna keep it. Got more questions. A mystery can only be solved by gathering truthful information. Don't you agree? Sure. Then why are you lying to me? What are you talking about? Don't play fool with me. Some of your statements are clearly contradictory. Oh yeah? Can you remind me, when do you take your shift? Three o'clock, every day. Interesting. Then how do you explain entering the lab at 4.38? What? I didn't... Check the monitoring. What's written? 438. Besides, the arrow indicates an exit, not an entrance. You owe me an explanation. Uh, all right. I admit, I did take my shift at 3. And the door was indeed open at 438. But I didn't lie. It was me. We're not only agents. We also do secretarial work. By 4.38, I received a call. We're required to pick up and reply to every call we get. But it didn't work. What do you mean? This is a high security building, so uh, external calls don't work well. The line was awful, all full of crackling. I'm stunned that kind of thing happens in the drums. But it does! If you ask me, no matter how they claim technology advances, nothing ever works perfectly. When that happens, I open the main entrance so the transmission gets better. So, you stood at the main door for a while? Yep. Who was on the line? Don't know. It was just music. Music? Yeah, Tech Dream. Hmm. This sounds familiar. Of course. It's all the rage. It's really catchy, so I kept listening. How long? Oh, maybe a minute? After a while, I figured this was a spam call and hung up. I know what you think. Yeah, I looked away. But it wasn't much risk. The lasers were active. No one could get past, in or out. But anything could happen inside. Oh, this is a major blunder. Why'd you think I didn't tell you? Didn't think much of it at the time, but when you started your investigation, I recalled that moment. Please, I'm begging you! Don't tell anyone! That mistake could cost me my job! Well... I won't tell anyone. I mean, must be insanely tough to keep watch all day at the same spot and doing nothing else. <sighs> I'm so glad you understand, man. Still, that's an important event for this investigation. Sure. Oh, I hope my blunder didn't get the poor chap killed. 
We shall see. I'm not done with you, though. How come there's no record of your entrance at 3? Simple. I reset the statistics each time I arrive. For confidentiality, we're not allowed to store them for more than a day. And I can't get that freaking configuration panel to do the job automatically! Must have been programmed by some crazy engineer who's not living in the real world. <sighs> I know the feeling. Didn't you mention you had no control? It's all or nothing. There's no way to insert or edit data. Just remove everything. Okay. Doesn't matter. Dr. Hush was safe and sound when I arrived. Guess I'll have to take your word for that one. According to the records, you opened Dr. Hush's door at 5.10. At the exact moment, Dr. Hush's lamp received a violent shock. Interesting coincidence, don't you think? A uh, shock? Did you accidentally drop the lamp or something? No, never touched it. I've also noticed something unusual. At 9 o'clock, you routinely checked all three rooms. However, at 5.10, you only opened Dr. Hush's door. Why? Um... Oh, I remember now. I heard a noise. Is that so? Might this be... the sound of a lamp crashing down on the floor? Hmm, I guess that's possible. But when I looked inside, everything was normal. Are you certain? Yeah, Dr. Hush always keeps his room tidy. If that lamp was lying on the floor, I'd have noticed. Was Tidy there? I'm pretty sure he was down, charging. What about Dr. Hush, then? What was he doing? Let me think. Uh, hmm, I didn't see him. You didn't? Pretty sure of it. He wasn't in the hall, either. So he was already gone from his room? Yeah, must have been. Interesting. Something doesn't add up. At 5.10, you heard a noise and looked for Dr. Hush, who wasn't in his room nor the hall. Yeah. Then, the glaring contradiction is, weren't you worried? What? Think. You had no idea where Dr. Hush was, and yet you didn't look for him in the other rooms? Why? You're right. I only started to worry about him disappearing at 9. But I can't remember the reason I wasn't alerted earlier. Well, I have my theory. You do? Yeah. This is the reason you weren't worried at that time. I made a strange discovery in the restroom. At 5.11, the meeting me played a pre-recorded sample sounding like Dr. Hush. What did it say? I'm in the restroom. <coughs> Ring any bells? Yeah, sure it does. You're right. When I started calling for Dr. Hush, I heard him say that. The voice came from the restroom, so... You assumed Dr. Hush was in there. So, he wasn't? This would be the logical conclusion, which then means... The old man was kaput before that time. Let's not jump to conclusions and assume he couldn't be in the restroom either. Oh, that was quite a messed up day. So, uh, are we done? Depends. Hiding anything else? Nope. All good. Still can't believe it. Why did this have to happen during my watch? I've learned not to blame fate. Otherwise, I do it constantly. Just let me know if anything else comes to mind. Sure thing. So, what's this flower? Phonexy? Hmm. I wonder if this has particular medical effects. Is there a specific topic you're interested in? Let me think. Isn't that the plant lying on Mr. Guard's desk? Yep. Okay. I don't quite understand why you need info on this, but you're the detective. I found something. Uh... What's going on? Something's annotated below. Psst. Do you 
you think? Yeah, Dr. Mink must have written this. I need to understand something. You're not the only one. Hmm. I've seen this somewhere already. Just a moment. I'm not the only one here. Interrogate the others. Dead Daddy! Still dead. I'm afraid so. Okay. Dead Daddy! Huh. What? Don't eat those! They're clues! But I'm hungry. get totally destroyed. Hey, I recognize it. That's the wrapping for McFlee's flagship ant burger with extra tomato sauce. My favorites. So, detective, how long is this going to take? Are you done investigating? I'm certain I've missed one. Maybe I... Be patient. This isn't an ordinary case. Oh, too bad. All this stress is killing me. I'll look around for... You better find... This leads to Dr. Hush's room. What a surprise. I'm hoping you'll fix this before leaving. What about your pot minion, huh? I'd like to see him try. Right. I forgot it could. It can? Of course. We wouldn't do that kind of laborious job ourselves. Huh. For an instant, I forgot who I was talking to. Well, I'm almost glad to see you. This leads to Doc. Can you really insert such big things in a body without doing damage? What you see on this table is actually a reproduction at 10,000th the scale to make them easier to work with. They aren't visible with the naked eye. Must be hard to handle. True. Only a few experienced engineers like myself can do that kind of work. Does pretentious go along with this job? Hey, Tidy, just a hunch. Did Dr. Hush put out that ramp for you? Yup, yup. For me. So I can access the table. Got made and modified. For me. Is that so? Makes sense. Bots weigh tons and cannot jump over there. Well, I feel I've got all the hints I need. Time to gather, everyone. Let's talk to Dr. Mink. So, Detective... How long is this going to take? Are you done investigating? Yes. I'm ready to expose the truth. Impressive. Let's begin then. If you don't mind, Mr. Brock, this time I'll stay silent and listen carefully. As you wish. All right. We're all ears. Okay. After studying this case very carefully, I have reason to believe that the person who murdered Dr. Hush is... Actually, not a person. Tidy did this. Me not person? Murder daddy? Dead daddy? 
I knew we shouldn't have trusted that tin can! Really? But how? He didn't have any means or motive to do this. That's where you're wrong, Dr. Mink. And I'm gonna prove how and why. Let's start with the actual cause of death. I... The body, the lamp, and the floor. All three have red stains. This fake blood has been used to stage the murder. So, like my tie? Yes, this is Ant Burger Tomato Sauce. We've been fooled by that? I'm afraid so. There was a wrapper in the bathroom trash can, and as a specialist with that kind of food, I distinctly recognize the taste of McFlee's Ant Burger trademark sauce. This may be a coincidence. You don't know how long this wrapping has been there. Very well. I have more proof. Now? That's why my ant burger was already unfrozen! Yeah, it would be pretty difficult to rub frozen sauce on a corpse. So the malefactor had to defrost it first. Simple and ingenious, I must say. That's not all. Something else proves that we've been wrong from the start. We retrieved a lamp right next to the body which obviously seemed like the murder weapon. This lamp records events. The data indicates a shock happened at 11.02. 11.02? Impossible! You're right, actually. Dr. Hush's medical tracking stopped at around 5. Do you believe he could have died hours before receiving a fatal blow to the head? Tracking? Not reliable. Yes and no. It's reliable within a two-hour window. Not Six. Isn't that right, Dr. Mink? Yes, I confirm it. Our tracking device is located deep inside our body and cannot be extracted. It's reliable, but to ensure our privacy rights, it only logs once every two hours. What a great idea to make our detective life easier. Murders don't happen every day, you know. All right. So, if there never was a violent thump to his head, What's the true cause of death that the killer tried to hide? I have a theory. <laughs> Dr. Mink, when browsing through your medical database, I noticed an interesting note from yourself. I tried mixing those phoenixy flowers with nanites, programmed or not. It's no good. They cause the host's cardiac activity to slow down immensely ultimately causing death. Dr. Hush was poisoned? There is evidence to support this. Dr. Hush's right hand is literally covered by nanites. Besides, Mr. Squealer here... Hey. Sorry. I mean, Mr. Guard owns a plant on his desk, which is a phoenixy. It's entirely possible Tidy overheard Dr. Mink mention this and picked up ingredients from the lab. Yeah, those robotic things have quite the memory. Tidy, no memory. Tidy cleans, tidy tidies. Tidy does not pick plants. Others could. Minky murderer. Or ratty. How dare you? He's right. Either of you had the means to do it. Tidy right. True tidy. Don't go thinking I'm on your side. I'm sticking to the facts. And by doing this, I'll eventually prove you're the main culprit. No, no. Brocky wrong. But how? Why would Dr. Hush swallow such a poison? Let me continue.
There must be a I found black stains on Dr. Hush's right hand. At first, I wasn't sure what it could be, until I found another black stain, this time on the doctor's office floor. The stain itself was very faint, as if someone had tried to clean it. But, I have no doubt, this is coffee, which can be quite tenacious. And guess what? That stain was also covered by nanites. So, the doctor drank poisonous coffee. Yeah, he must have spilled coffee on his hand while collapsing. Wait, I also drank coffee today. That's right, but you didn't get poisoned, and here's why. You went to the restroom later after Dr. Hush, didn't you? The culprit had time to spill the coffee prepared in the sink before doing more, and this time without poison. Incidentally, that's where I found my second proof. In the sink? Exactly. Now, tell me, who usually prepares coffee? Tidy. Untrue. Daddy. Minky make. Coffee sometimes. Ratty too. Yes. Is that the reason you're charging a little maintenance spot for this awful crime? I hate to say that's quite a weak link. You mean I did it, Mink? I didn't say that. <laughs> but you thought it! Tidy makes good coffee, not deadly. Calm down. I'm just starting my report. Tidy adds major point. Daddy creator cannot hurt. Love, Daddy. You know... I thought a machine like yourself would be all about precision. But that's no surprise. You're a defective bot. Tidy defective? What you're stating isn't entirely true. Sure, Tidy cannot attack his creator when it implies a direct contact. A poison, however, is quite a clever workaround to kill without direct contact. Hmm, I guess you're right. Indirect violence is on a lower level of priority, and not part of the golden rule. But that still shouldn't be possible. His software programming shouldn't allow it. There is should, and there is certain. I know the reason for the malfunction, though I'll save it for a more suitable time. There's something else bothering me. Nanites are only active for an hour or so. They lose their energy very quickly. Considering Tidy did not come to my room today, how could it get enough nanites for such a powerful poison? During my investigation, I happened to make an interesting discovery which may just explain how. That hole between the rooms. It leads directly to a table in your office. Now, what's on this table? Oh, my nanites box! Exactly. If I had a guess, those nanites are brand new and charged, aren't they? You guessed right. It's fairly safe to assume anyone with knowledge of this hole could get access to nanites. And in Tidy's case, I'm sure it's perfectly aware how to activate its bot friends. Tidy different. Little bots, not friends. Darn nanites. Killed daddy. That's called racism. You metal mongrel! Hey, not trying to defend that piece of junk, but uh, wouldn't it be easier and more logical for the weasel to access his own nanites? What about you, sleepy agent? You seem keen to reject accusations on others. Me? Can't even access your room, you fool! Cause you can't bear anyone but yourself! I'll pretend I didn't hear that, but your assumption is stupid. There's a reason why you dug that hole and hid it. People, come on. Hear me out. Remember when I first found out there was a thin layer of plaster covering the hole? Now, who does the repairs in this lab? That metal junk. Oh my, that's true. Tidy can regenerate walls with plaster. Could it really be? You did this piece of junk? Nah, -ha. human idiot. Plaster, easy to do. Even for pesky humans. 
tidy, no hole. No way! I beg to differ, your metal highness. Another piece of evidence strengthens my theory that you did this. Or at least that you're a big fat liar of a bot. According to the monitoring, Tidy went into the restroom at 424. He was not recorded in any room after that. However, the screen in Dr. Hush's office states that he had been charging from 450 to 1110. How could he be in the office if he didn't leave the restroom in the first place? Very simple. Yup, yup. Tidy prepares coffee. Daddy come, drink. Next, Daddy back office with Tidy. So, you're saying he opened the office door and you just followed him? Yup, yup. Okay. For now, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. In that case, let's examine the path of our favorite deceased doctor, shall we? I think you'll find it rather interesting as well. Tidy, no like insinuation. Before you move on, I have a simple question. What is that monitoring you're referring to? Oh yeah, that's true. You're not aware. The lab registers doors openings. Only guards are supposed to know. What the heck? All this time, we've been watched? I thought you were there to ensure our privacy. No, I'm there to ensure your physical security, making sure nobody threatens your life. What a great job you did. You lied to us. Not me. I didn't make this system. Then who did? The government, of course. Oh, that's right. Fine. I'll send them a suggestion later then. Hmm. On the other hand, Tidy didn't seem surprised at all about the monitoring. Let's move on, shall we? There's something curious about the doctor's movement. The last time Dr. Hush was recorded, he was leaving his office at 5.04. After that, he was nowhere to be found. This is confirmed by the guard's statements, if you don't mind explaining. Sure. At 5.10, I heard a noise coming from the doctor's room, but he wasn't there. Actually, no one seemed to be there. Although, Tidy was idle, charging. I started to look for the guy, but then I heard his voice coming from behind the wall. I'm in the restroom. Except this wasn't Dr. Hush at all, but a recording coming from the meaty me. A recording? Oh! Does this mean the body was in the restroom and the murderer didn't want Mr. Rat to see it? That's unlikely. The guard checks the rooms regularly and there's no hiding spot in there. Besides, keep in mind the ultimate goal, getting Dr. Hush in Dr. Mink's office. There's no way to move the body from the restroom to his office without going into the hall unnoticed. Lies! Okay, give us your version of the facts then. Daddy, come with me. Back to office. Before charging, Daddy head out. Tidy never forget. Daddy last words. I need to settle things with Dr. Mink. Daddy, meet Minky in hallway. Daddy follow Minky. Enter Minky office. Minky, give coffee to Daddy. Daddy, dead. I gotta give credit to the tin can. Its version sounds way more plausible than your own, Crack. Sure, Tidy has a bothersome recording. But how do we know when it was made? It's out of context. You could have very well recorded this and forged your so-called proof. Also, there's no monitoring record of Dr. Hush ever entering Dr. Ming's room. Wrong! Mink touches door. Enter with Daddy. Then Minky. Poison Daddy! The weasel went back to his room with the doctor? Look monitoring. When did Minky enter? 504. Mm -hmm. Exact. Same minute that Daddy leaves. But I never did that. I never saw him today. Mr. God. I can't remember. Are you kidding me? Tidy, what about the voice the guard heard? Coincidence? Meaty me faulty. Sometimes meaty me, 
play Livey randomly. Hmm. Yes. I've seen it happen. And the hole? The coffee spot on the floor in your room? Already there. For ages. Brocky, prove the opposite? Well, the nanites. Nanites, machines. Attracted to coffee. True, Minky? I can't dishonor my profession by lying. Yes, due to their hardware, nanites are attracted to caffeine and gather inside. So, after all, it really was your doing, Weasel. No! Don't you listen to it! Mr. Detective, I told you the truth. You need to believe in me. Well, I have to side with the tin can. That's two against two. What do you think, Hot? I... Sorry, I'm getting lost with all these details. Guys, let me finish my theory, and then you shall decide. Fine. No, listen. Too tidy. Tidy, sad. Dead daddy. Gah. Let's focus. Tidy used the meaty me recording to avoid the guard getting worried that Dr. Hush disappeared. As a result of my assumptions, Dr. Hush could neither be in his room, the restroom, or the hall at 510. And as the monitoring confirms, he never entered Dr. Ming's room either. No way, man. That's impossible. I beg to differ. He couldn't just disappear into thin air, could he? Oh, he didn't. There's a fourth possibility, and I'm going to explain it to you. The vent? Yeah, the ventilation duct. That's the only spot the body could be hidden without anyone noticing. Pure conjecture. You have any clue to support that insane claim? Sure do. Tomato sauce? Yeah. Looks like the murderer didn't hesitate to put quite a lot to confuse us. Problem detected. What is it this time? Ventilation also used for delivery sometimes. Is that true? Yes. Big packages don't fit into the pipe mail, so they're delivered through the vent. It's possible the content of a package leaked. Obviously. Bam! Gotcha! Huh. Still... That would be a huge coincidence, don't you think? Let's assume you're right. In order to get into the vent, Dr. Hush would have to be in his office. He was. But you said it earlier. The last time he was recorded, he was leaving his room. How do you explain this? It's clear Dr. Hush never left his office. There's no monitoring entry between his exit and the time the guard checked the room. This was just an attempt from the criminal to direct our attention elsewhere. Even Tidy could use the doctor's hand on the button, just enough to add this to the monitor. This would imply Dr. Hush was dead by then. Yes, actually. I think he was killed even before going into his office. Absurd. Oh, really? Well, I have another clue. Remember where the poison came from? The coffee. To poison him, it'd be easier to have Dr. Hush drink the coffee in his office. Except, he never does. Dr. Hush always drinks his coffee in the restroom. He's too maniacal to risk spilling drops while working. And yet, there's a coffee stain on the floor. What do you insinuate? That the stain was made when Dr. Hush was dead on the floor? This is exactly what I mean. Brocky liar. Daddy take coffee in office sometimes. Again, I'm afraid it's your word against his, detective. Yeah, it'd make a lot more sense that the doc spilled it by accident. Brocky, done for. Give up. No good. Even Mink starts to think my theory is too far-fetched. Am I really on the right path? Everyone. Well, except Tidy. I know how all of this sounds. But please, allow me to continue and trust me. Silly Brocky! Alright, 
Let's assume Dr. Hush drank his coffee in the restroom and died. To get into the vent, he would have to get back to his office first. How? Simple. Tidy can carry objects. You're saying this little metal thing carried Dr. Hush all the way to his room? <laughs> oh, hey, man, I would have noticed. Are you certain? Should I jog your memory? Uh... At 4.38, the guard wasn't at his seat. He had received a phone call with terrible reception. When this happened, he opened the lab's main entrance to improve the signal. What? But on the line, no voice, only music. During that moment, he was looking away. Is that true, Mr. Rat? You blundered? Hey, you know how this is. Reception is terrible in here. Actually, you may not. After all, you've got no friends or anyone. Ah, so it's true. He thought this was a spam call, but here's what I think. This was you, Tidy. It wouldn't be hard for you to simulate a phone call and play some music, am I right? He can. Rocky, what music? Okay, Tidy, play music. Oh, uh, no thanks. Tidy, no call. Nah. -ha. Although the guard was still making sure no one could enter or exit the lab, at that moment, anything could have happened. Hmm. I'm trying to imagine Tidy carrying the doctor in the hall and opening the office door with his hand. It's technically possible. Just downright crazy. This would also explain why Tidy was found in Dr. Hush's room, even though he supposedly stayed in the restroom. Take it the other way around. What would be the point of this call farce if Dr. Hush was safe and sound while returning to his room? There would be nothing particularly disturbing. No. Tidy no call. Rocky death. So, when did he die? Between 424 and 438, as this is the time Tidy went into the restroom and left. Rocky ignores. Poor Tidy. Daddy dead. Your theory is accurate. There's still a lot that needs explaining. For example, how could Tidy put Dr. Hush into the vent? It's not like either of them could climb a ladder. Wrong. I know exactly how Tidy did. Don't forget Tidy's main ability. Extended arms. Hmm. Are you serious? Impossible. Pray tell, why would it be? Arms stretch to nine feet max. So what? Look! You're kidding, right? How can we know it's not just pretending? Let me check its data. Hmm. I'm afraid it's true. It has extended its arms to the limit, which is nine feet. Dr. Hush's ceiling is the same height. Thus, Tidy couldn't reach the vent. No, no way. Aha! Told ya! Froggy theory, gone. Kaput! I need to think fast. I'm convinced Tidy was involved. He has to be. Take a look at the room configuration. Both scientists' offices are a reflection of one another. As such, the vent height is exactly the same in both rooms. How high is it? 10 feet. Yeah, the laser column in this room is 10 feet, and it goes up to the ceiling. And with Tidy's arms reaching 9 feet, that's not enough. Oh, Rocky agree. Admit defeat! No way. We're just missing a little something. The workbench! Tidy can stand on it! It's visibly about two to three feet high. But the metal thingy can't jump on there, can it? Not jump. This is the point of the ramp Dr. Hush designed for it. You told me yourself, Tidy. <laughs> tidy, learn. Close mouth. Sorry, Croc, but it seems like pure conjuncture. Oh, but I can prove it. You can? Go! Go, Mr. Brock!
Here's a picture of the room. Look, there are crumbs all over the table. Oh, that's true. Now, as you know, Dr. Hush is a neat freak. How could he leave crumbs everywhere? The answer is simple. Dr. Hush wasn't alive. Tidy, you crushed them while climbing on the ramp. Nuh-uh. Tidy woke late. Not cleaned yet. Oh, I wish for once you'd tell the truth. Admit it. That's what happened. You climbed up, stretched your arms to get in the vent, and put Dr. Hush inside. Then, you push the poor chap towards Dr. Mink's room. The more we talk, the more... <laughs> huh? Is it laughing? I... Huh? You what? Will you change your mind and pretend it's not possible for you to climb there? Hmm... Is possible. My pleasure. Huh? To see Brocky fall into own trap. Brocky lucky circumstances. But luck running out. Might you be more specific? Look map. Ventilation duct two feet high. Tidy three feet high. Cannot bend, cannot fit. Plus, cannot stand on floor while pushing all way through. He's right. Tidy couldn't fit inside, and the distance is way too long to push all the way through the vent while standing on the ground. No. Oh. Rocky, done for. No. I, um, I can prove how. Let's take a look at that picture again. This is how Tidy did it. We forgot to ask ourselves one important question. What opens the vent trap? After all, it's not always open. That's right. Unlike mine, it doesn't have a ladder and an automated way to... Oh, I see now, the lever! Are you suggesting... Yes. First, Tidy opened the vent and put Dr. Hush into it. Then he grasped the lever with one arm and pushed the corpse with the other. Whoa! Now that's the craziest thing you've said so far, Croc. Is that even possible? Let's see. If this map is correct, the vent is almost nine feet wide. Yes, it's absurd, but technically possible. The maintenance robot clinging onto the ceiling. You're insane. Let me judge how insane I sound after all this is over. Let's not forget the finale, the corpse in Dr. Mink's room. Yes, Tidy pushed him, but the pertinent question is, when? Indeed. There's a specific piece of evidence that tells us exactly when it happened. I analyzed Dr. Mink's lamp. The data I gathered indicates a fatal shock at 510. Oh, I get it now. Well, I don't. What's the fuss? Tidy needed to put the lamp next to the body, but he couldn't do it himself. So, he put it in the vent alongside the corpse. Makes sense. The fall must have damaged the lamp. But wait, 510, that's early. If there had been a body lying in the middle of my room, I would have noticed. And didn't you say this was the data from my lamp? Tidy could not access mine. Good. Rocky theory falling apart. Wait. Okay. I admit, I fooled you. Yes, I said this was the data from Dr. Meng's lamp. But I never claimed this was the data from the lamp next to the body. Ah? Uh -huh. The croc is confusing me. Let me explain. Of course, we immediately consider that the lamp next to the body is Dr. Mink's. However, this lamp's data revealed a surprise. It belongs to Dr. Hush. <coughs> Incorrect! Nuh uh Wait, so that's the one Tidy pushed into the vent? Yes, there's no doubt about it. Nah, if that's what happened, there'd be two lamps here. Mr. Rat is right. How do you explain that the other lamp, my lamp, is on Dr. Hush's desk? 
We'll just have to prove Tidy picked up Dr. Mink's lamp. Could he now? Just think. Where was Dr. Mink's lamp originally? No, show us. Well, right there. Dr. Mink, your lamp was right here. Well, yes. How did you know? With the door permanently shut, there's only one spot Tidy could access. And that's this hole in the wall. Again? Oh no. If it were me, I'd steal Mink's lamp, then pass it through the vent so it fell in the intended location. Dr. Hush's lamp wouldn't even have to move. That's a relevant matter. Unless... Tidy, you've been awfully silent. Cat got your tongue? Or is it because you realized you slipped up? After picking up Dr. Mink's lamp, it was supposed to throw it through the vent. However, Tidy inverted the lamps. Inverted? And I can prove it. You see, I noticed something off in Dr. Hush's room, especially when you take his personality into account. Let me show you in the picture. The lamp? That's actually the weasel's lamp, huh? Yes, but that's not the strangest thing. Don't get it. Okay, this information should make it clear. After being told Dr. Hush was a maniac, I noticed the way the lamp was positioned was off. It's neither at the center of the desk or facing the front. There's no way someone so obsessed about order would let an object be so badly placed. Okay, why not? So what? This explains what happened. Dr. Hush's lamp was originally on this desk, perfectly centered. Tidy took Dr. Mink's lamp. Right at this moment, he got interrupted. So he put it next to the other. After he left, Mr. Guard, he executed its plan. But he took the wrong lamp, which was pushed through the vent. Tidy's objective was to make us believe Dr. Hush fought with Dr. Mink in the morning at the time his tracking stopped. This timing only makes sense if Tidy made this mistake. Then, if it wasn't the body falling, what caused the other lamp's fatal shock at 510? Do I have to explain everything? Tidy was interrupted by the guard suddenly checking the room. Now, why did Mr. Guard check Dr. Hush's room in the first place? Oh yeah, I know. I heard a noise. Oh, then it was... Yeah, Dr. Mink's lamp receiving a shock. In particular, I believe Tidy intentionally bumped it from a high distance to break it and make us believe this was the crime weapon. Nice thinking. Although, if it's Dr. Hush's lamp that was pushed through, shouldn't it suffer from a shock too? When it fell from the vent. It did. Although non-fatal, that lamp received a shock at 11.02. And this explains the last mystery. No way! This is why I never noticed Dr. Hush until you came in. He simply wasn't in the room before. But if a body were to fall from this high, oh, it ought to make a huge bumping sound. That's accurate. I'm not deaf. Sure thing. You're not deaf at all. Remember the context when I arrived in front of your door. Oh, gosh. Oh, that will teach me to set the music to full volume makes perfect sense now. What does? I was focused on the door screen, so I had no idea what was going on the other side. And with that loud beat... Yeah, it covered the sound from the body falling. But wait. What again? Can't you agree with my theory just this once? I'm sorry. I just want to know the whole truth. That's so exciting. Except your colleague has been assassinated. In order for this to work, Tidy would have to do a last push at 11.02, correct? Yep. I believe he has sensors. He knew where everyone was. True. But 
he was still charging at this moment. Good thinking, Weasel. He couldn't be both charging and doing this at the same time. Oh, 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 Naughty right. Tidy charging cannot push. Actually, that's possible. How? You told me yourself, Dr. Mink. Tidy goes through various states of consciousness while charging. As soon as we arrived, he started to wake up. Have you noticed the huge length of its cord? It doesn't prevent him from going anywhere into the room while still keeping connected to the power socket. So, Tidy, who's the winner this time? Did he... uh... bug? No! <clears throat> Rocky, not detective! Impossible! Hey, is that your only argument? Cannot explain crime without essential part. The motive! Tidy, no motive to hurt Daddy. Well, I have an idea. Rocky cannot! Yes, I can. I'll admit I don't have the whole motive, but some elements lead us in the right direction. As we proved earlier, Dr. Hush died between 424 and 438. Then we shall wonder, who exactly did that data transfer on his tablet at 445? I know, it's that scrap of metal. Yup. Before putting him into the vent, it used Dr. Hush's hand to transfer the data to the outside. The file was an update from a few years ago and accessed recently. Keep in mind Dr. Hush's job, which is to improve Bot's AI. My bet is that Dr. Hush used elements from this very old update and tested them on Tidy. So you think that's why he went crazy? Maybe. Old firmwares don't have the software protections I referred to earlier, which in turn could allow this indirect killing. I guess Dr. Hush made a backup of this data in case. Uh, uh, uh. Care to say anything, Tidy? Rocky, wrong, wrong, wrong! Yup, yup. But Tidy will wait and see. No waiting. That's enough. It's time for you to admit it. Why'd you even care? You solved that mystery. It is just a defective machine. Let's switch it off and hand it over to the police. No, you won't. Do such thing. Is that a threat? No, no. Yup, yup. Rocky theory, no hold waters. What? Tidy ask, simple question. If Tidy push Daddy, would Daddy be where he is right now? Where he... Oh. Rocky understands. Daddy should have fell right below that. Oh my! Once again, the tin can is right! That can't be. Then, uh... Ha uh. <laughs> Tidy closed your beak. No, I'll prove you wrong. I, uh, I have to. Go ahead! Please, master of convoluted explanations. What crazy thought will Rocky give this time? This is the end of the tunnel. The final riddle. If I can't explain it, then my whole theory goes to bust. I can't let that wacky bag of metal win. What's the explanation for Dr. Hush's position in the room? No. No way. It... can't be. Have we been mistaken this whole time? Mr. Brock? Hey! What are you doing, man? Stop! Stop! Brocky hurt! Daddy! That's awful! I can't watch this! Uh. Uh. Huh? huh? <gasps> what's... what's going on? What the... D -d 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 Dr. Hush! You're alive? Daddy, not dead daddy. Uh, updating expression. Not dead daddy. Are you all right? More or less. Tell me, what's the last thing you remember? 
Wait. I think... I saw Dr. Mink. What? I think I fell? Tried to move towards him. Not feeling well. Let the poor chap recover. No. I'm sorry, but it's too important. When did you lose your consciousness? What were you doing? I... I took my coffee. Tidy prepared it. When I drank it, my heart stopped. Then... The croc was right! It was tidy all along! Crap! I still can't believe this low hardware maintenance bot could plan a scheme as elaborate as this. Although flawed, fortunately for us. But, Doctor, you were dead. Are you a zombie now? No. I believe there's an explanation for this. You do have an explanation to everything, don't you? Can't wait to hear it. The effect of the poison was to slow down the heart rate, ultimately causing death. However, the life in this bunker, uh, I mean, lab, isn't a very physical one. As such, Dr. Hush was taking some medication to compensate. Excel 500, more precisely. I see. This has the exact opposite effect, doesn't it? Yes, it boosts the heart activity. This is what saved Dr. Hush. No one noticed he was still alive. Not even the tracker. His heart pounding slowed and stayed under the threshold, putting him into an unconscious state. The shock from falling down the vent caused him to wake up for a few seconds and move towards Dr. Mink which also explains that red stain near the bed. There's another blunder you made, Tidy. You neglected this. Tidy, did you really try to kill me? Why? I... I hate you! I'm sick of tidying all day while you use me as a guinea pig! Tidy, clean the floor. Tidy, move this thing a little to the left. Tidy, make me coffee. I can't take anymore! Where did Tidy learn to talk like this? The firmware... It worked! Why did you pretend to be the same dumb bot? What? This is the project I was working on. The government sent me some incomplete files from an unknown scientist, working on the same field years ago. He never got to complete his work and disappeared suddenly. But I was able to recover this code. I needed a specific bot model to test that firmware. The only one at my disposal was Tidy, but I noticed some weird behaviors. Like, Tidy would suddenly laugh for no reason. <laughs> the code itself seemed unethical and dangerous. There were some references to copying the human brain. I decided to stop this research and alert. Oh my gosh, that's why you did it. Now that you experience feelings, you don't want me to revert to your regular firmware, do you? I'm so sorry, little guy. I caused this. I messed you up. Oh, you really shouldn't be sorry. You're the victim here. I can fix you up. I promise. No! It's trying to escape! We can't let it happen. Who knows what disaster he could cause in this state? Tidy. Odd, stay here with Dr. Hush. I'll handle this. Lasers! I've set the emergency plan. He won't access the controls. Rubbish guard! Let me out! You won't go nowhere. I have done nothing wrong. Daddy is alive. Only by chance. And stop calling him Daddy. You're nothing more than a defective AI in a metal scrap. Now, let me switch you off. We'll fix you. Take orders from a petty human. I'm perfect. The only defective one in this room is you, human scum. I've got new orders from my new daddy. When I'm out, he'll take care of me. What? Who? It's quite funny, actually. You see? No, I promised. You'll have to figure it out by yourself. A shame. Really? Because you never will. 
stop this nonsense. This is my last warning. Switch off, or else... Save your breath. You'll never get me. Well then, I'll make you switch off, one way or another. Did you get it? For good? I guess. Not! Ah! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! It's going berserk! You will regret this! Everyone in this city will be destroyed! Go away! Get escape! Hey, wait! That's mine! Okay, get that sucker and bring it back! Come back here so I can smash you into pieces! Uh, too bad I can't shoot with this thing. So no choice. I'll have to bump into that crazy bot. Let's see what this baby can do! Now for the hard part. How do I get back to the lab? Ah. Hey, Chief. I, uh, got a little lost on my way back. Well, uh, here's that criminal bot. What's left of it, anyway. There. You can have some scientists check its components and confirm... You realize what you've done? Yeah. I stopped the dangerous criminal at the risk of my life. You put hundreds of citizens at risk during your little highway escape! My escape? People are in shock. There are news reports everywhere. You stole a hover bike. You bumped into air cars. Innocents could have been killed. No chaos like this ever happened in the drums for ages! Huh, good. I gave those rich folks some events to talk about. So what? You think that's funny? What did you expect me to do? Sit back and wait for that bag of screws to wreck the city? There was no other way. There's always another way. This robot wasn't much of a threat. You, on the contrary. Our collaboration ends here. What? You're firing me? Consider yourself lucky I don't throw you back in jail. Perfect. I'm out of here. Don't call me back. Because next time, I won't be here to save your bacon. Mr. Brock! Nephew, don't bother. This man only brings misery to everyone around him. Hmm. Listen to me. I forbid you to get close to him ever again. But... No but. The situation will get dangerous soon. What do you mean? Come on now. I've got to bury some suspects for another case. To bury? Yes. To interrogate. Oh, I see. You're using code names. Yeah. I'll be right behind you, Uncle. I felt so angry and pointless. Deep down, I knew Wes was right. 
This was just one little robot. They couldn't have done so much damage. Could it? Who knows? But that's when I noticed it. What the? All these calls and messages? Graf, he's in trouble. Shoot, I need to... I, uh, I'm coming, son. Well, I'm almost glad to see you, Clay. Almost. You bet. This place gives me the creeps. Just look at that thing on the wall. Um, I'm more concerned about all those bots. They're inactive, you fool. Got a bad feeling anyway. So, what are we supposed to do here? Hey, find out by... <coughs> yourself. <coughs> you okay? I'm... <coughs> I'm fine. You forgot to take your pill. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't take mine yet. Maybe I can give you half. Hey! Don't you dare! <coughs> you... You jerk! That was mine! No big deal. You'll get one as soon as we go out. Besides, you know a pill isn't efficient unless you take it whole. <sighs> You'll never change. Always so arrogant. If I wasn't so tired, I'd beat the crap out of you. Focus! You'd better get out of here fast, buddy. <sighs> you won't get away with this. I'm afraid to find out what this is used for. Whoa! That button activates. Some energy shock on that part of the wall? A collectible ad? Great! Awesome! I found another one! Weird. When I approach this thing, a picture appears. Is this the outside of the building? Two locked doors without a handle. I bet these are exits, and each one of us ought to take a different one. Wow! You must have gathered all your brain cells to understand this. Shut up. Watching them makes me uneasy. Why? I'm not sure myself. Maybe they just remind me of your mother. How dare you! She's so much more than these pieces of junk. Yeah. <laughs> this foot screen seems to display the results of this trial so far. You sure took your time. I've been stuck here for ages. You mean you didn't solve your share of puzzles? Of course I did. Easy as pie. They're really taking us for beginners. You know it's your mom who set up this trial, right? Wrong. It was crafted a long time ago. She's only following instructions. From who? Hmm. Not sure. She's very secretive when it comes to this. I'd rather not. I might accidentally punch him in his arrogant face. Let's explore the room. gotta be kidding me! We're having a test here, you know. Why do you think they put this? Check the foot screen. It's telling us to wait. If we're going to get stuck here for a while, we might as well have a good time. Well, I'm not gonna sit around and do nothing. Of course you won't. There's only one bed. You're hopeless. Come on, relax. You're always so tense. It's a wonder you haven't had a heart attack already. Easy for you to say. You're like a drummer dwelling in the slums. Life's always treated you well. <sighs> you don't know anything. Dare to share? No. It's about your mother, right? Nobody dares to ask, but I need to know. How come your mom's a bot? When I was eight, there was an accident. An accident? My mom. She didn't make it. She got her memories transferred. What? 
Oh, is that even possible? I can't remember much, but... I've been raised by this robot, and I don't see her as one. She's always been good to me. As far as I can tell, she's my mom, and that's all that matters. At least you've got one. Ha, <laughs> you're right. I'd rather have a robotic mother than a dead one. That's mean, you know. But true. <sighs> and your dad? I mean, your real one. What about him? Well, did he run away when he found out what kind of son he had? <clears throat> no way! I'm right? I... I've barely known him. I think he left Mom when I was five or something. Soon after, he disappeared off the face of the earth. What was his name? Remn. Remn. I've never had a father myself. My mom resorted to laboratory procreation. She wanted me to be... perfect. And she succeeded. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You're not? Mm. Every day, I have to give it my best. Do you know what it's like to have all your actions, all your destiny, planned out for you, even before you were born? I'm tired. As soon as I get my diploma, I'll live my own life. Mm. Sorry. I realize we've both had problems growing up. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Hey, look! The screen changed! Finally! One over there? That means... One of us gets stuck to that wall while the other does... What, exactly? Who knows? We need to make a decision. You go. No way! I'm not stupid. This looks dangerous. This must be a test of cooperation. What do you think will happen if none of us does? Then why don't you go? I'm worried I might get claustrophobic. No worries. If anything happens, I'll let you out. How do you know you'll be able to let me out? Mom wouldn't allow it. Besides... Ten seconds left. We're running out of time! If no one goes, we'll both fail! Then go! Five, four, three... Two, one. Ah, I, I can't afford to fail this trial because of you. Don't worry, I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh oh. The game will now start. Game? The host should remain silent. Student, please say your name and your partner's name. I'm Graf, he's Clay. It worked? Maybe it won't be that difficult after all. Student, please say the following out loud. I love you, Clay. Please forgive me. Is that a joke? Just do whatever they say. I love you, Clay. Please forgive me. Just so you know, I'm only doing this because they asked. Obviously. Student, if a thug threatened your partner, would you risk your life to protect him? There's no question about it. Of course I would! Maybe this wasn't the good reply after all. What? Looks like you're gonna have to prove it! <clears throat> They're serious about this, aren't they? I was worried for a second. More? That's not fair. They said one thug. What if they release all of them? Don't jinx it.
No thanks, eh? I... I could never fight like you did. I had to. Student, let's play a game. Another one? When you hear this bell sound, step on the dash symbol. When you hear this unscrewing sound, step on the point symbol. When you hear this deep sound, step on the colon symbol. When you don't hear a sound for more than two seconds, step on the empty panel. Let's start. performance was amazing. Student, you may now press the button next to you. Each activation gives you a point for your final score. Wait! You know what that button does. I do. Don't you dare. is over. You may exit now. Thank you for your participation. Looks like I can open these shackles. Don't move. Phew! Now I understand why my mom told me to be careful and kind before the trial. Yeah, because she knows you're an egotistical brat. Lucky you. I'm too exhausted to respond. So I'll just pretend I didn't hear anything. The other exit opened. Let's get out of here. Of course. No, thank you so much, Graf, for freeing me. You're too soft. I knew you'd never leave anyone behind. Don't make me regret this. I'll take exit number two. You take the first. As you wish. <coughs> I... Maybe I was a little harsh on him. Eh, he'll be fine. <coughs> oh no. The pollution is really starting to affect me. If only that idiot didn't take my pill. <coughs> I'd better get out of here. Fast! <coughs> Finally out! <coughs> A pipe pill! In bad shape. <coughs> please, oh please, be working! Oh no! <coughs> that darn thing <coughs> is messed up! <sighs> I should call Brock. Maybe he can get me some. <coughs> Come on! Reply! Just for once! 
<sighs> of course. What was I thinking? <coughs> Never there when I need him. What should I do now? <sighs> Odd! Where are you? He's supposed to be busy with his training course at the police. I hope nothing happened to him. <coughs> I should probably worry about myself right now. <coughs> desperate times call for desperate measures. <coughs> what? Graph? <coughs> hey, get a pill. You're ill. Whose fault is that? Clay. I can't get one. There's a sh <coughs> A what? A shortage. <coughs> shortage? Not my business. No, wait, please! Don't hang up! <coughs> hmm. I'm begging you. Tell me you've got one at home. No. Sorry. I don't. This can't be happening. If I don't get one, right now... <laughs> but... Uh, anything else I can do? I'd rather die... <coughs> than asking something... <coughs> from you! Mm. Clay? He hung up. Hey, boy. Got what you need. A pill? Yep. One thousand unis. Are you serious? No thanks. <coughs> I'll get one from another pipe. You won't. What? There ain't any more. All pipe pills kaput. I don't believe you. Okay. Go check. But that's my last one. I may have nothing when you're back. Will you take the risk? Forget it. I don't trade with crooks. <coughs> Everyone says that. But Kitty, let me remind you of something. You don't have much time left. Heard this struggle and to breathe gets atrocious right before the end. Get stuffed! <coughs> Please, oh please. <coughs> oh no, that one's broken as well. <coughs> Maybe I should just <coughs> come back home. <coughs> Closed. <coughs> it's Graf. This is urgent. I need your help. Please open! No use. Oh. <coughs> Stubot! Hello, human. By any chance... <coughs> do you have a pill? Bill? No, a pill! Bill! Darn it! You piece of junk built to destroy our future! You see, I need help. <laughs> Transfer 200 unis. Wait, what? That's true. He gave me money. Great. Unexpected, but thanks. Goodbye. Still not very <coughs> chatty. <coughs> Are you okay, my boy? Yeah. I'm <coughs> I'm fine. No, you're not. Oh, no. You didn't take your pill, did you? <sighs> Please tell me you have one. I'm terribly sorry. I used my last one today. Quick, you need to go indoors. I know. <coughs> I was going to. I wish I could do more than give you advice. Your father will be back soon. I'm sure of it. No way! I can't rely on him. <coughs> be safe. Not here. <laughs> oh, please. 
Tell me you hit a pill somewhere. <coughs> you can't breathe. My boy, come back home fast. Your son is in danger. Grav? Oh no! Graf! Huh? He's breathing. Thank goodness. Uh, looks like he didn't take his tox out pill. And he's unconscious. What should I do? Here. Mm, I'm sorry. I wasn't here for you again. <sighs> hmm. I shouldn't have done that mission for Wes. You told me. But I wouldn't listen. I'm so stupid. What if... you... I'll never forgive myself. <coughs> hmm? Graf! Dad... You're safe. I'm here now. It's you. I was so worried. Don't... touch me. What? Graf? <sighs> At this moment, I felt so helpless. So much happened today. I feel ashamed for tricking that big bear who got fired because of this. I broke the law by breaking into Wes's office. I investigated a crazy murder case and... I chased that crazy bot, creating havoc. Graf almost died. Am I doomed to fail everything I attempt? Uh, to take my mind off it, I decided to prepare dinner. Well, with the little that was left anyway. There. It's not much, but that's the best I can do. Graf, dinner's ready. Hmm? Graf? It's been a while. I can't hear him. Graf, answer me! Huh? Hey! What the heck? You can't just barge in like this! You wouldn't answer. I, I was getting worried. <clears throat> Come. I've prepared... Not hungry. Then... Tell me what happened. What happened? I'll tell you what! Some stupid kid took my pill! All pipe pills were offline! I had no way to get one! The pipe pills? I sent you hundreds of messages! Called you! <sighs> but no! You didn't reply! You left me alone! Dying! I understand that I'm truly... Sorry? Of course! Where were you? Why couldn't you just answer my calls? Long story. Please come. You gotta eat. <sighs> All right. In a while. Thanks. <sighs> What's wrong with me? He just saved my life. I should be thanking him. Not this. Why do I feel so angry? <sighs> I need to know. Hmm. Whoa! So many results! Maybe I shouldn't worry so much. A message. Oh, the results for today's trial. Great! Finally, some good news! I... better find a way to apologize. But I don't have the strength to get out. And I can't send a message to his phone. He wouldn't notice it. Let's think. I know! I'll use that paper and pen Brock gave me a few years ago. He thought I could use that to practice handwriting. I replied it was a stupid idea in this day and age. But now I understand. Let's see if I remember how to handwrite. There. Hmm? A paper? I'm hungry. Sure. By the way, glad you remembered that gift from years ago. Dear, tomorrow will be a better day. I have faith in you. No matter what obstacles you'll be facing in the future, you'll overcome them. Hmm. Thanks.
Oh, uh, I'm late, right? Mm. But I'm exhausted. It's been an insane day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like every day, I guess. Okay, okay, I'm on my way. See? I don't even have to say a word anymore. Hey, bro. Rough day, huh? You don't say. Graf almost died because of me. Say what? There's a toxout pill shortage going on. He passed out when I came home. That was close, but he's fine now. Stupid. You never told me about that. Why didn't you? I didn't have time. Not talking about now. If you told me in the past, I, I could have helped. Good thing you told me about this warning, though. If I hadn't, I... Wait, I'm totally not following you. What did you do, exactly? Take this. Hmm. A tox-out pill? Give it to him. For tomorrow. Won't you need it? I've saved up some. I'm used to skipping one from time to time. Thanks. Life is all about anticipating the unknown. Now she's making me feel bad for not saving any all these years. Talking about that, you better prepare yourself. Tomorrow will be even more eventful. How could you possibly know that? I know you. That's all. All right. Time to fight. I love your enthusiasm. Be careful, though. That new challenger comes from nowhere and looks very strong. No worries. I don't intend to die today. Well, I'll remind you to quit if things go wrong. Me? Quitting? Never. <laughs> Silly you. If only you had good life insurance. Give it your best. RJ? What are you doing here, man? What do you think? I'm here for my revenge. Revenge? You wrecked my life. You tricked me. Chief fired me. Hacker, too. All because of you. Oh, gosh. I didn't realize. Looks like I ruined someone else's life today. I'm so sorry. Don't care! You're gonna get it! Well, if that's a good fight you want, I won't let you down. That's enough! No. 
No! I'll get you! Even if... I... I said stop! You won't get anything out of this! Don't make me... Listen, I'm hurt. Bad inside. Let's end this! I won't. No matter what you try and pull. You prefer... mental torture? I'm gonna get you some help. I'll convince the hacker to hire you back. Bro, you probably shouldn't bring that up out here. Okay. Your last chance. Oh well. We won. You mean, I won. Yeah, yeah. Great job, bro. Shay, am I a bad person? I keep ruining other people's lives. I promise everyone I'll fix things, but every time I try, I fail. Don't you worry. Soon you'll have a chance to change everything. I will? I hope you enjoyed your last VR night fight. The last? Yeah, I'll be unreachable tomorrow, and after that, I've got no idea what will happen. You're scaring me. So, as I said, I won't be available tomorrow. Are you leaving? I just need time for myself. Focusing on your new invention? Yeah. Oh, before I forget, here. An envelope? Uh, open me when desperate? There's something you're not telling me. Don't worry. It's just in case. Huh? I'll be saving your bacon once again. Or is it the other way around? Oh, I don't know anymore. Could you be more cryptic? You'll figure it out. Oh, well, I stopped trying to understand you a long time ago. <sighs> well, oh, my back can't wait to find my bed. See ya. Bro, goodbye. I'll... I'll miss you. Uh, no. I can't. Gotta focus. Time to finish this for good. Getting worried about Shay. Everyone around me is acting funny these... Going somewhere, Croc? Weird. Why do I have a feeling of deja vu? We're not in the mood for jokes. Go away. I don't want any trouble. Sure. Give us your stuff and you can pass. Over my dead body, buddy. Um, you sure about this, Dot? Coward! He's outnumbered! He can't do anything to us as long as we stick together. Come on, guys! That croc will give us what should be rightfully ours. Whether he wants to or not. Come and get me. to give up. No way! The boss wouldn't want us to. Besides, look what I got when he was too busy punching you. His phone! Good job! What? Now, give us the rest, Scaly. Oh, one more? I'll give you more! For leftovers, that wasn't too bad at all. <clears throat> Don't feel like sleeping yet. Maybe Odd is online. <sighs> Darn. 
Oh yeah, I remember now. He's supposed to be at his trial this evening. Hey, what's this? Someone noticed my search and commented. I guess. Huh? A text live conversation? From that same guy. Hmm, weird. I'll reply. Huh? Okay, I don't like this, but this guy knows things. I should cooperate for now to pump him for information. Hopefully I won't regret this. <clears throat> Darn, he logged out. No way, he's right. There's something fishy about all this. <clears throat> uh, does that guy have steel fists or what? Do you know who I am, little jerks? Well, I bet your boss remembers. The boss? I'm not in the mood for talk. Give me that phone, or else. Oh no, it's him! Him who? He's the guy who beat up our commander yesterday. We keep running into him. No. No way. Don't want to die. Take that phone. And my money. Uh... A hundred unis redeemable coupon. Well, uh, that was money easily won. Let's get some shut-eye. What was that? Is this how Brock makes money? <sighs> what? Where did you come from? You tell me! Uh, have you been following me? Yes. Is that a problem? Well, uh... Listen, I'm sick of your little secrets. What have you been doing? Investigating. Where? Where were you yesterday? And this afternoon, when I was about to snuff it? Um... Well, I'll tell you. You were in the drums. Oh, uh... That's true. How did you... Doesn't matter. When did you intend to tell me? I... Uh, just forgot. Forgot? What are you hiding? I, uh, um, I've joined the police, uh, temporarily. Actually, I w was. It's over. The police? Long story. Obviously. I'll tell you everything. But, please. Not now. Uh, way too tired. Then just answer this. What's the deal with you and those squealers from earlier? Just some thugs. They tried to steal my belongings, so I defended myself. Is that so? It wasn't just defending. You smashed through them like a pro. Where did you learn to fight like that? Experience. You know, it's not the first time. Actually, uh, you should probably train. Just in case. I already do. When we came to the slums, you said I should get stronger. I followed your advice. I'm training regularly in addition to my self-defense lessons. Good. I can tell. You've grown some muscles lately. You're a man now. You think so? Hopefully I won't have to use them. Alright. I trust you. No more secrets, okay? Tell me you haven't hidden anything else from me. I swear. No more secrets. Life is too short.
I don't want us to get into arguments again. Agreed. Look, uh, your birthday's in a few days. You remembered! How about I prepare something special for you? Cool. I'll be looking forward to it. But if you don't, eventually, that's okay. I'll understand. Hmm. You know what? I can't wait to give you something. Here. This is... Mom's pendant? Yeah. I figured it should belong to you. That way, she can be with you. I... I can't accept this. Why? It's just too hard. <sighs> Sorry. I'll keep it for now. But someday, whenever you feel confident enough, I'll return it to you. Fine. It was nice of you to offer this, though. Okay. Whatever happens, I'll be there for your birthday. Cool. About earlier. I know. You don't have to say anything. <clears throat> Good night. Good night, kiddo. Update in progress. Firmware installed. Target defined. Phew. Another nightmare. At least that one didn't involve me. It was totally absurd. It's not like bots would... Huh? Hey! What are you doing here? What do you want? What the heck's happening? Graf, stay back! I'll handle it. What? You got him good! Those bots. They broke in here to attack us. Why? Wish I knew. Looks like ordinary tribots. They shouldn't behave like this. I bet someone's got a grudge against you. Hmm. <sighs> About yesterday, you must find the culprit. The culprit? What's happening with the pipe pills? Squealers must be behind it. They're selling pills at outrageous prices. And considering what happened just now... Who knows if the events aren't somehow linked? You're a detective. Time to investigate. Besides, I've seen what you're capable of. You can beat the crap out of those squealers. I see. You're overestimating me, but you realize I won't get paid for this? Sometimes we have to act for the greater good. Besides, with the haze, slummers like us won't go very far without the tox out pills. I can skip meals for a day or two, if this means getting to the bottom of this. Very well. I will investigate it. What about you? I've got my last trial this morning. Last? Already? Maybe you shouldn't... No! No way I can skip it! This is crucial! Will you be okay? I mean, someone may be after us. Don't worry. I'm certainly not as strong, but I can defend myself. It's not like we're living in a safe place. I'm used to it. All right. Just be careful, okay? By the way, here... A tox out pill? But how? Shay gave me one. Thanks. Hopefully that situation is resolved by tomorrow. Oh my! I'm late! And there he goes. Hmm. Got a bad feeling about today. Oh well. Better make some meal plaster or whatever horrible food is left. I'm sick of leaving for investigations on an empty stomach. You've got mail. Usually I leave getting the mail to Brock, but... 
He said no more secrets, after all. Hmm, an invoice from a guy named Mr. Rekka. Supplementary fees for the fear you've provoked. Ah! Uh? The Triweb invoice. Whoa, I wasn't aware we paid that much. Oh, there's another paper. A bank statement. I guess it must be littered with negative fig... What? There's a hundred thousand unis on that account? Hmm. Must be some kind of mistake. The account beholder is Leah Filsch. Mom, what could this mean? No time to think about this right now. I need to hurry. The last trial could start any minute now. 150 unis. I'm almost an adult now. I should do my part and pay this. I've got a limited account. I can only keep a small amount of money. Anything over 50 unis automatically goes back to Brock at the end of the day. If I press this button, I can request some money, though. An algorithm makes the decision. Hey, Graf! Hey. Anxious? Yeah. And I wish this was due to the trial. I know what you mean. With that pill shortage going on, I'm lucky my uncle provided us with enough this morning. Better not worry him with my recent trouble. Me too. Brock got me one. By the way, yesterday I got to work with your old man. We investigated a murder case together. It was so cool! Wait, what? Yeah, the police is seriously understaffed currently, at least on the human side. So Uncle Wes decided to send us. How did that go? It was totally crazy. Detective Brock, I mean, your old man managed it like a pro. This was a convoluted mystery, tied like spaghetti, and yet he ended up finding the truth. When the criminal escaped, he chased after him out on the rails of the highway to arrest it. He did? Yeah. Your old man is so cool. Uncle Wes was so furious, he fired him. But if you ask me, he was right to chase that criminal. Seems like you already know more about Brock than I do. Don't tell me you're jealous. Mm. Oh no, look who's coming straight at us. Hey, how's it going, guys? You. Oh, what's with you? I almost died yesterday because of you. What? This is ridiculous. You swallowed my pill. Do you know what it's like to suffocate for hours? Ah. Um, all right. I admit. I'm gonna... Wait! Please don't hurt me! I had no idea what was going on in the slums. That was just a prank. A prank? I... I'm sorry. I... This was an accident. I didn't want you dead. You've got to believe me. <sighs> I swear. Shh, Mom's coming. Please, guys, don't tell her. It would ruin my future. Good. Keep your mouth shut, and everything will be fine. Take this free advice from me, and keep it all your life. I hate him. During yesterday's trial, I almost thought he wasn't that bad. But now... Let it go. We really need to focus on what's coming. You're right. This is the final step. Everyone, as you know, this is your final day. First, let me display the current scores. The final trial starts now. You've got exactly one hour. Good luck. Mom? Wait! What are we supposed to do? How are we supposed to do this trial if we don't even know what it's about? I think this is part of the trial itself. In life, we won't always be told what we're supposed to do. It's up to us to decide. But if we screw up, our future is doomed. Relax. We'll figure something out. I got this. I'm out of here, suckers. Good luck for the rest of your life in the slums. Any idea? Hmm. 
This morning I got an ad message. The museum is open to everyone today. The history museum? Now that you mention it, I received it too. Maybe that's not a coincidence. It's located in an independent area near the edge of the dome. One of the only areas aside from the center and the police department to be run by drummers. How do you know all this? Uncle Wes brought me here once. He said history is very important because it reflects the natural evolution of things, making it easier for us to accept changes. Accept changes? Well, you know, he's an old man. Anyway, what do you think? Good idea. This should be interesting. Whatever you choose, I'll follow you, Graf. If we do a blunder, we'll do it together. Thanks, Ot. I'm glad to have a friend like you. You and I both. Let's go. Hey, Stubot is still there. Strange. Stubot, giving you some advance. A little help for humans. Oh. Do you know anything about the content of this trial? Yes and no. Can only calculate probabilities. And what's most probable? Competition. Cannot tell. Obviously. We better get going. We haven't crossed anyone in the streets today. Yeah, everyone's hiding inside. You know, I'm kind of glad to be with you right now. How so? Well, you're kind of strong. I can't defend myself. I totally flunked that self-defense test, remember? You've survived this far. Only because I run fast. Brock would say, being strong lies in your mind. Easy for you to say. You're both so much taller and sturdier than I could ever be. Sturdy? Am I? I guess those hard training sessions at the conch worked after all. If a squealer shows his face, he's going down. Yeah. System online. That one works? Give me a pill. Do, do, do. You have two bills. I should have guessed. What a disappointment. 150 unis. I'm almost an adult now. Can't wait to be 16 in a few. Should I request some money? Checking. Transfer allowed. I can't believe I'm doing this, but... Someone's got to pay that triweb bill or our access will get cut. Scanning in progress. Bill detected. The due amount is 150 units. Sufficient credits. Payout done. One good thing done. Thank you, and goodbye. At least it's polite. Some religious plastic statuettes. No one will mind if I take that damaged unit. Without anyone to watch over it, the whole stand is going to be vandalized anyway. Not many visitors around. Obviously. What do you mean? It's an open day. Drummers don't like getting near slummers very much. On the other hand, slummers are more concerned about daily survival than culture. You got a point. What's this tripod doing here? I wonder. Maybe to handle security? That's a weird skull. Ears on the side instead of on top? No pointed canine teeth? What kind of species is that? This skull is dated 1 million BR. This stands for before rebirth. It was found at the bottom of the ocean floor, which explains its exceptional preservation state for its age. It belongs to an extinct species we've called tamed earthian. We've determined that this one was bipedal, unlike most ancient animals. The representations below seem to have been handmade by this species. If confirmed, Tamed Earthian would be one of our first ancestors featuring creative skills and a surprising intelligence, though much less developed than our own. Looks like some ancient model of our Toxout pill. 
This medal commemorates the invention of the Toxout pill, also known as Daily Pill and Anti-Pollution Pill, in 325 after rebirth. It counters the effects of the permanent haze in Atlasia. However, the protective effect only lasts for one day. History has forgotten the name of our benefactor, yet this breakthrough discovery allowed the expansion of the modern world outside the boundaries of the dome. Whoever wrote this knows nothing. Living outside the dome is far from a nice thing. Weird. The keys are all aligned on this keyboard. What's it for? I should take a closer look. I can't press here. The key is missing. Ad. Great! Some old paper. With nothing on it except for one weird symbol. What's the point? Statues, feathered tails, and stones dated 200,000 BR. These distinct features make them, without any shadow of a doubt, the first traces of the untail worshipping. The statuette fits in the slot. Good job, Graf. I think you unlocked something. Hmm, a symbol. That's all? Must be important. Oh, I don't need any explanation for this one. That's Rebirth Day, the great turning point after the catastrophe which ended up polluting the whole planet. If it wasn't for the dome, humanity could have gone extinct. Hmm... Population is estimated to have grown from 50,000 on Rebirth Day to 1 million by 172 AR. Yet, a dome's housing capacity is supposed to be 200,000 max. Therefore, restrictions on the number of births had to be put into place. Some history about the revolt. Five centuries after the Rebirth Day, tensions increased between the descendants of nomads living outside the dome and the domists living inside. Even though their ancestors made their own decision to live outside, the nomads began to claim the same possessions and rights as domists, resulting in free trade circulation between the two sides. A revolt turned into a war, which claimed hundreds of thousands of victims. It is during this conflict that domists named the outside people slummers, while they respectively started calling people living under the dome drummers. The overwhelming violence of those revolts still resonates to this day. No further rebellion involving all United Slummers ever happened again. 3026 AR, Tradesium V, The Autarchism Day Over the history, several political models have succeeded one another. The longest running, a direct democracy involving several countries, was phased out after years of skepticism and a deep economic crisis. Resistance came from political grounds, who didn't want to believe there could be a better model. However, the vast majority of Atlasia citizens refused those debates. They believed politics to take a growing part of their free time and judged themselves unable and unwilling to decide. A census survey was conducted, which clearly showed that political talks are harmful for humans' health. It was then decided that politics would be banned altogether. A self-proclaimed government now makes the decisions for everyone. This way, no citizen has to worry about bigger state decisions in their day-to-day -day life. In addition to this, Atlasia became independent, cutting all remaining ties with nearby countries. Atlasia citizens can focus on their own priorities. This freedom is what gave it the name autarchism. The current sex ratio at birth for females is 31%. Archaeological research suggests this hasn't always been the case, but it is the unequivocal result of our evolution. Who knows? Maybe nature did it itself to prevent disproportionate population growth. In the past centuries, males and females fought for their rights. In our society, females are deemed too valuable to do trivial jobs, and it's their duty to carry and take care of children. Again, they forget to mention these rules don't apply in the slums, but the low female birth ratio does. Yeah, it's not like there are many women roaming around the slums. And the few I've ever met are way too busy making a living to worry about offspring. What a strange device. 
kind of looks like my phone, but even mine doesn't look that ancient. What's it doing on the floor? That must be an exposition piece. Did I win? I think I heard something fall. Cool, here's my reward. Something fell in that drawer. Another reward for me. A sign. Or a button. In any case, I can't reach it. Another major event happened during Adarchism Day, which was occulted by many news reportings. The newly formed government almost ended prematurely when a group from the slums, called Squealers, attempted a coup. They claimed power in order to protest against the promise that robots would take a major role in the future, leaving many out of jobs. This attempt failed, however, and the new government quickly banned Squealers out of the country with the help of the militaries to avoid any further attempts. That was quite a harsh decision, but in retrospect, I can't really blame them. Those squealers are quite the scum of our... Wait, that picture. Hmm, must be my imagination. I wonder what caused this crack. 3029 AR, Lorgus 9th, the blackout. Unprecedented in modern history, a power failure occurred that day for a few minutes. This caused a huge number of problems all over the country. The dome got cut off, which could have had dramatic effects if not for the military tribots repelling slummers from trying to enter the drums. In addition, the triweb went down. All citizens suffered from unpredictable situations, ranging from getting stuck inside elevators to falling air cars. A few of those accidents led to drum citizen casualties, who shall always be remembered. A few accidents. Mom's name is listed below. Whoa! I didn't expect you to hit the wall. Um, well, it worked. Awesome! I found another one! A hologram with a timeline mentioning the major inventions of our civilization. Usage of potentially polluting power sources was forbidden until the 25th century. This hampered the capacity of scientists to improve our everyday life dramatically. We are all living in a golden era with visible technological improvements over less than one generation. Oh, sure. For drummers, conditions for us slummers don't really advance at the same rate. You took the words right out of my mouth. One more to the collection. This should be good enough to replace the missing dome. Hey! Something appeared on it! Mm. Yes! The tip of that pyramid fits the screw! And... There you go! It fits! And... Displays something?
just as I thought. It fits perfectly. Hey, look. There's some keyhole here. You're right. I think something's written inside. CC. Under STU seat. Strange. You think this may be a clue? Might be. Stubot, please don't mind us. What is human doing? Uh... Aha! You found it? Yeah, a key. Let's hurry back to the museum. A keyhole with the words, hmm. Two to one, this fits into the keyhole. Yep, now what am I supposed to do? Hmm. I believe those ancient keys are meant to be turned one side or another. I'll try. Look! A panel moved right below the lock. Does this help us? I guess it's supposed to. Have you noticed clay isn't here? Yeah, I hope we're doing the right thing. So, you didn't tell me. How did your trial go yesterday evening? Well, it was okay. Stubot isn't exactly the perfect partner, but I managed. At one point, he received a firmware update. In the middle of the trial, I lost a few precious minutes because of it. That's not fair! Still better than what you experienced with Clay, apparently. Yeah... He's trusting me. I gotta do my best. We can do this. Right. have this one yet there you go a crystal clear key starting from the 9th century technology got progressive evolutions entertainment became an important part of society as evidenced by all the cultural objects retrieved here is an ancient musical instrument we've carefully restored according to the materials found in direct proximity of its remains I've solved the final riddle. Congrats, Graf. I knew you could do it. Back to the cons, shall we? Okay, let's go. Will this be enough to get our diplomas? Obviously. Oh, I have that feeling in my guts again. Graf asked me. Let's stop here. What? Are you sure? There's still time, and this trial is crucial. Sorry, I'm getting a headache, so I won't be very useful anyway. Too bad. But if you don't mind, I'll keep on searching myself. Okay, I'll just rest a little until the time is out. Graf asked me to investigate the pill shortage. No time to lose. Let's go. No new mail since the last opening this morning. What? That's unusual. Did someone steal my bills? I wish. 
Hmm. A call. Ah, uh, someone I don't know. Hello? I need your help urgently. Hold on. Who are you? Dr. Gherkin uh, from the pharmaceutical factory. The Tribots have gone mad. I swear they're after me. A drummer? Huh. What do you need me for? Oh, can't I just explain when you're here? Sorry. I'm already on an investigation, so... Wait! I'm the only one who could fix the situation in the slums. The pill shortage? That one. I can fix the pipe pills, but for this, I need to remain alive. That's fantastic news. Well, uh, not that you're in danger, but... It's my job. No other drummer would agree to accompany me to this dump. Well, no offense. Nope. It's a dump, all right. I just think you're overreacting. Just a little bit. I'm not afraid of the slum's inhabitants. But those bots, there? Oh gosh, there's one in the corner, looking at me. I can see its shadow. Why me, though? I took the time to study your history in the last ten minutes. You've got a track record for street fights. You sure can defend yourself. <laughs> um, uh, well, I'm, I'm flattered. Besides... You're the only one who replied to my calls. Oh. Please, I'm begging you. How much do you want? Two thousand unis. Five? Five <laughs> thousand? What? Not enough? Okay, okay. Make it ten, then. Ten? Deal. Thank heavens. Please hurry. I'll be waiting for you in front of the factory. Oh, man. Just escorting that guy from one place to another and get ten grand? Oh, this is exactly what I needed. A lead and money. Did the tide finally turn? Huh? No reply. Great. Now I'm getting worried. Nothing you... Hmm, rubble. Hmm, nope. Hmm, full of... trading video. Mwah. Ah, Pompolos. Oh, this must not be the let's continue. This must not be let's can ah, I found something. Whoa! 500 unis? Whoa! Hmm, nothing you Rubble. A bazand. Whoa. This must not be. Let's continue. Hmm. 
Angel. Yes! Nice! A precious energy serum. Hmm, full of... The big treasure? Oh well. This goes into the collection. Die here? Well, the pills! Come on, we deserve to know what's happening! Everyone! <laughs> Break that entrance! The situation is worse than I thought. I was so focused on my own problems. I didn't realize everyone in the slums is suffering. Stop! Ah, uh, the cops! Please, you must understand. Violating the law. Stay away, or be destroyed. No, I'm scared! Do something for us! Inform the government! Violating the law. Last warning. What should we do? <laughs> Three, two... We... we can't fight them! One. Can't die like this. Hey, wait! Don't run away! Too late. Target acquired. Well, I'm not going away. If there's the slightest hope I can help all these people, I'll take it. They don't get into more trouble for wrecking all these police spots. Scan complete. User allowed. Oh, it must be the factory. Now, where's that guy? Hey, that's a collectible ad. Nice, an ad coupon. Yep. Uh, Dr. Gherkin, I can see you. You can stop hiding in that corner. Oh, Mr. Brock. Sorry, I thought. Yikes! What's going on? The Tribots! They're coming! What? I hear them. 
Oh, great. Another paranoid scientist. Come on, we gotta go. No! Come on, don't be a chicken. You're the one who asked me to come, remember? I won't get out till it's safe. It is safe. Uh, I don't believe you. What if a bot jumps at me suddenly or falls from the sky? Uh, I assure you, there's no tribots around. Are you crazy? Can't you hear those footsteps? Get rid of them. A self-contained vegetation growth system. That noisy pump inside irrigates the roots of the plants. A hole in the membrane. And here I thought this side was a perfect world. Color me disappointed. Nice! Brand new. I took care of those terrible creatures. It's safe now. Hmm. You're right. Finally. Can we talk? Oh, of course. Been wondering for a while. Have we met somewhere? I could swear I've seen you before. That's possible. I... Hmm. I worked with your wife. You did? Of course. Uh, that was years ago, before I became part of... Um, I mean, there's only one pharmaceutical company in this country after all. Uh-huh. Hmm. Tell me more about Leah. Her abrupt passing was a shock. She was a very valuable asset. I hope her job didn't cause her demise. What do you mean? I'm not supposed to say. Uh, my contract has a non-disclosure agreement which covers... Tell me. Now! Oh, I... I guess it's fine now. It's been almost six years, after all. Not long before the accident, she made a discovery. What discovery? I don't know. That's all she said in her message. It could have been anything. A breakthrough or a minor observation. Who knows? After all... Her job was to find stuff. Unfortunately, I think the secret died with her. Why is this the first time I've heard about that? After the city power shut down, all data was lost, including this message. I only remember this after the investigation. It didn't seem so important. We'll talk more after we're done, Doctor. B but I don't know anymore. I said we will. All right. What exactly is happening? The pills? Shortage? I don't know much. The bots run the factory and they started going crazy. In the meantime, the pipe pills all over the slums got damaged, so whatever's in stock wouldn't be transferred. Then it's not just one problem to take care of. Hmm. I'm afraid so. What does it take to fix those pipes? It's technically complex. Only an expert like myself can fix them. Obviously. Is that guy hiding something from me? Oh well. He's my only clue to save the slums. And get paid. I'll be around. Stay close, please. <laughs> I wonder who would be stupid enough to do this. F for sure. Youngsters are crazy these days. Remember this? Oh. 
Oh, I didn't have that one. More bots. Oh no, what do we do? Retreat! Uh, all right, let me... Oh no! Hey, Metal Brains! I've got the perfect tool to unscrew you. My fists! Idiotic target acquired. Duck, I could watch you duck and cover all day, but we can't stay here that long. Oh, good job. Now, let me do my part. Hmm, a message. Pipe is in a disastrous state. Squealers, most likely. I bet they learned about the shortages and tried to steal as much as possible. Fortunately, only external damage. So, Mr. Brock, why a detective? I thought you read all my history. Uh, only what can be found in administrative, camera records, and other tracking methods. Huh? Just figured there'd be some business. There ain't that many investigators in the slums. Why the question? I just like to talk when I'm nervous. Makes sense. Ask me questions, please. I don't like the silence. I'm done. Great news. Let's move on then. I'll be right behind you. Wait! W will this man cause trouble? Of course he will. What should we do then? Hmm. Yes, boss. Uh-huh. How you doing with those little brats? Ha 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 ha, those spoiled kids are clueless. Okay, I'll stay around. Yeah. Hey! Who is you? I am the terror who kicked your butt last night. No way! Ah, uh, what a wimp. M mr Brock! Drones?! Ah, uh, now I get it. Hopefully that was the last one. You, you need to be sure of things like that. What if... Come on, Doctor. We got work to do. Oh. Yeah. No. RJ! You know this policeman? Yeah. With him around, that place is safe. Uh, all right, 
uh, I'll be over there fixing the pipe pill then. Hey, pal. <coughs> ah, got your job back? Yeah, hacker reconsidered. No, oh, I'm glad. I intended to convince him, but you beat me to it. Huh? Another message. Ah, enough. I need to clear that up. Who's sending me these? <laughs> you don't look well. No pill. Oh, should have guessed. Hold on a bit. The doctor here is fixing the pipe pills. You should be able to get one soon. Good. <laughs> oh man, I should watch over him. He's really not okay. In the meantime, I'd like to have a word to your boss. May I enter? Yeah, you're a client now. <laughs> nice, thanks. Mr. Detective? Yeah, I have to warn you, I'm pretty busy right now. Yeah, yeah, listen. Any info on what caused that pill situation? I wish. This is a disaster. At this rate, I'll be out of dough before the end of the week. And clients, too. Oh, one more day and they'll drop like flies. We gotta do something. With your competence and all your doodads, surely you can investigate. Don't think I haven't tried. I've searched all over the Triweb. Zip. Nada. I should have guessed. Nothing replaces an investigation in the field. What's going on with those darn bots? And the Tribots? What's with them? Don't tell me you're not aware. Since this morning, they've made countless attacks on people. I can't even count how many I've put into pieces. You should know better than calling them tin cans. Very funny. I'm serious. So you haven't heard anything? Not the slightest. But I'll be on the lookout. Someone's sending me messages from an unknown number. Find out who this is. Straight to the point, eh? eh that's easy as pie. 1,000 unis should do it. I don't have time for this. Do it now, or I might turn your pretty face into mashed potatoes. Um, okay, okay. No need to get upset over spare change. I'll put it on your tab. Good. Hmm. Okay, found it. So, who is it? I can't tell you. What? Confidentiality. The key word in this profession. It's a matter of trust between me and my client. She specifically... She? Ah! Come on, pour it out. My professional ethics strictly forbid from revealing her name. But I guess it's okay to tell you a few things about her request. Ethics, huh? Two days ago, she asked for a few searches and to notify her of updates related to a few topics. Which ones? Hmm. Here's the list. The government. Various statistics over the past year. Breaking into some journalist message inbox. Finances from pharmaceutical companies, in particular tox out pills. Well, well. If I believed in coincidences. And the whereabouts of a man named Sin. Sin? Yeah, a Roo who lived in the drums. No doubt. That's him. I've learned over time to analyze emotional states helps a lot with affairs. And I can tell you this. She tried hard to cover it, but she seemed pretty worried about the man. Sin. I wonder. Hope you're satisfied. Now shoot! <coughs> huh? Huh? He's barely breathing. The pollution must be affecting him. Oh, the situation's getting critical. Hey, doctor, come, what? Where the heck is he? Oh, great. I had a feeling this mission wouldn't go well. With RJ at death's door and the scientist out there alone, oh, I have two emergencies on my plate. What should I do? What? Look who's back. Hey, Doc. Me again. M uh, Mr. Detective? What happened? 
What are you doing back in there? I... I panicked. You were gone. I thought I heard some bots around. So, you ran to the only place you consider safe. How did you know? Just a hunch. Well, come out. We don't have much... Uh, oh, no. What is it? Uh, your friends are here. <laughs> Fortunately, they're too dumb to have noticed us yet. Oh, boy. Oh, this nightmare will never end. What do we do? Hmm. They're blocking the way to the left. What about that path on the right? I is that one safe? As far as I can tell. I, I believe this leads back to the border post, but that's a long detour. Y you choose. Just don't leave me here. Doctor, the coast is clear. Oh, okay. We gotta hurry. <sighs> Wait for me! Quick, check on your friend. Here's a pill. Here, swallow this. Let's hope this works. Oh, I'm getting sick. Sick of all this suffering. The more I fight for our future, the worse it becomes. What's the meaning of life in this place? Friends. Huh? Life is to make friends. <laughs> I was starting to think you had hibernated, Big Bear. You saved me. Whoa. My friend! I owe you one. Ah, oh, no problem. You'd have done the same for me. I'm glad your friend is safe. Shall we continue our tour? While I was away, I was contacted by a journalist. They're willing to spread the word over media about what's happened here. I believe we have a more important mission. D don't we need all the help we can get? They're waiting for us in Sector 56X. That's on our way. As you wish. I come. Don't. You've got a job. Hold on to it. That hacker may be despicable. He's still a valuable person who needs protection. Okay, my friend. If need me, come. I stay here. Thanks. Let's go, Doctor. That's new. Please input your citizen certificate. Do I even have one? I almost prefer this to the usual ad messages. Almost. Here's your daily pill. Thank goodness it's working. I'd better hurry. Here, swallow this. Uh, let's hope this works. Oh, I'm getting sick. Sick of... Huh? Life. <laughs> oh. Yes. 
Oh, my fail. Uh, actually, you can help. The scientist who accompanied me has vanished. I was supposed to protect him, but... No worries. You know where he is? Yeah, right there. Where the heck have you been? S uh, sorry, you were gone for a while. I heard noise and panicked. Ah, uh, don't do that ever again. While I was away, I was contacted. <laughs> Doctor, can you do something for him? Oh no! Poor sir! Why didn't you tell me about his condition? Oh, doesn't matter. Here's his prescription. Oh! Sir, you're in luck. I have exactly what you need in my suitcase. Great. <sighs> Who are you? This experimental high concentration formula should last a few years. Please, swallow this. It should have immediate effects. Thank you so much, Doctor. My boy, that's more than I could ever have hoped for. How can I ever repay you? No need. I'm just glad to help. And if those darn rats show up, I'll be there. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't dare. You gave them a run for their money yesterday. And with this, I should be able to defend myself. My military skills are there, just waiting to be awakened. Great. Well, get better. I will. Wish I could do more, though. You just gave me a future. There's no better gift than this. Yeah. Still, my offer to host you stands. Just for a while, if you want. And I still have to respectfully decline. But... Just like you, this is my choice. Okay. Well... Our door is open if you change your mind. Thank you, Brock. Hmm. Huh? Uh, I'll fix this one. The city is so quiet. I'm getting worried. No, I, I believe most slummers are staying inside. That's the guideline when the haze is strong and the pollution levels peak. Hope you're right. So, who's this journalist? I'm not sure. Uh, they were disguising their voice. Ain't that suspicious? Mm, well, well, now that you mention it. Oh, great. Hope we're not walking into a trap. Who would be mad enough to make a profit off such a terrible situation? You wouldn't believe how far some people would go around here. Uh, I'm done. Fast enough. Does it work? Well, for paying your bills, yes. Who cares? What about the pills? Well, we'll have to wait until the route is reactivated. How long until then? A few minutes? Maybe a day? A day? Uh, that's a very rough estimate. We don't do this that often. <laughs> well, then let's hope it's just a matter of minutes. Your journalist isn't here yet. Uh, well, uh, let's look around. You? I well, wasn't expecting... Dr. Gherkin, I explicitly told you we should meet privately. This is just my bodyguard. Uh, don't worry about them. What's your name? Uh... D. Let's keep this short. We're both busy people. I need some crucial information. Uh, very well, then. Ask away! Uh-oh. Sorry to interrupt, but... Some friends are following us. Oh, gosh! Not again! What's going on? Why are they attacking us? Beats me. Stay back. I'll deal with them. Ha! <laughs> Don't think I'll simply stand by and watch.
Looks like we're good. For now, anyway. Dr. Gherkin, please follow me. <sighs> All right. Wait. Huh? I don't trust her. No, thanks for the help, huh? I didn't ask for your help. Oh, Mr. Cowboy thinks he's so strong. This ain't no cowboy hat, miss. I'm a detective. I see. Bodyguard, detective, and cowboy. You can do everything, huh? <sighs> it's none of your concern. I'm only here to interview the doc. Somehow, I doubt that. What? While I was fighting, I started to put two and two together. You're hiding something. You were brainstorming in the middle of a fight? This is ridiculous. Are you certain about this, Mr. Detective? Trust me on this. I don't have time to argue. Let's keep this moving. No. My mission is to protect the doc so he fixes the pipe pills, not to wander around for an interview. We're not going anywhere until you've explained your true motive. <sighs> Aren't you persistent? Fine, you win. Ask away. Doc, leave us alone for a minute. But, Mr. Detective... No worries. Put yourself in the corner. Scream if you spot one of those darn machines. Uh... Oh, okay. D don't take too long. Let's get started. Earlier, you mentioned this was none of my concern, but your actions say otherwise. My actions? The messages you sent me. Don't trust that guy. Wondering about the sender, I asked a few questions to a particular individual named The Gloom. He confirmed a journalist woman sent them. No way. That guy promised to keep it confidential. I know how to squeeze the facts out of crooks like him. Now, considering you're the journalist who contacted Dr. Gherkin while concealing your identity, it's not hard to believe there's only one person behind all this. You. Good thinking. A bit far-fetched, but you certainly hit the spot. Yes, I have reasons to believe the doctor is not coming clean. Right now, I'm not sure who has the most secrets. But why bother warning me? I'm not sure. Trusting an investigator seemed right. To be honest, I'm already starting to regret it. There's no trust without truth. That's the whole point of this interrogation. Now, I have some clues regarding your true identity. Sin. The name rings a bell, huh? <sighs> of course it does. He actually hired me for an investigation two days ago. I found a picture of him with a woman and a little girl in his apartment. That night, when I met you in the virtual arena and accidentally revealed your appearance... And I still hate you for that. Took me a while to make the connection, but I finally realized you were in that picture. The hacker also mentioned you did research on Sin. Obviously, you've been separated for a while and you wanted to know his whereabouts. All this makes sense. Sin was a drummer, so you'd have to be as well. Journalism is a job only drummers can do. And... I guess it's a coincidence you've asked us to meet right next to where he's been living. But I don't believe in coincidences. Huh. Impressive. I'd say you're the best detective ever, if not for the luck that you've had in all these situations. Huh. Not luck. Quite the opposite. Always implicated in the worst events. In any case, you're right. Sin Silver is my husband. The love of my life. Weird way to describe someone you ditched. It's a long and personal story. Okay, let's not deviate from the matter at hand. Although this brings a whole new question. What exactly are you looking for? It's obvious you hold a grudge against Dr. Gherkin. First, you warned me about him with your messages. Then, you're worried about what may happen to your husband. 
I have a hard time imagining it, but is Dr. Gherkin a threat? <sighs> hmm. I'm still gathering evidence, but in an indirect way, yes. He doesn't know my identity yet, and I intend to use that as an opportunity. He's just a scientist working in a factory. What could he possibly do? That's where you're wrong. He's much more than that. So, the scientist's job is a front? More or less. I think I'm starting to understand. No way! You asked the hacker for searches on the government? And he accidentally slipped that he's part of something. So you finally do understand. That guy, as slim as an asparagusite, is a member of the government? Yes, and I have proof of it. Huh, now I get it. Ever since meeting him, I thought he looked familiar. Impossible. Citizens don't know the members of the government. Well, true. Wait, but that doesn't make any sense. Why would he risk his life around here, all alone? I have a theory on this. Besides, the government's purpose is to serve the citizens, isn't it? Don't be silly. You know things aren't that simple. Hmm. I bet this is the reason why you're directly concerned. You're working for the media, and the government controls the media. I can see where this is going. In a nutshell, yes. That guy is responsible for my situation and sins. Your situation? You still didn't tell? Listen, time is running out. I need you to trust me. What's your plan? Luring him into a place where he can't escape. What? That sounds pretty... <laughs> what the heck? They can jump now? What's going on here? There's so many of them. We're done for. Come on, we gotta get out of here. And go where? Anywhere is better than here. Uh, uh, there's a bunker a few blocks from here. I, I have access to it. Good. Stay close to us, Doc. Let's go. Going to the bunker. This was a perfect opportunity for our plan. I should have protested against it, but in the situation we were in, this was our only option. Graf, you're nervous? You know, it's weird. I've imagined this moment many times. I thought I'd be super stressed, like the world on the verge of collapsing. I mean, if we don't pass, it's game over. We won't have a second chance. What? Please. Oh. Not me. I'm confident. If you're not, maybe you just don't deserve to become part of the best. Shut up. Sorry. What? Clay just apologized? Yeah, I know. I've been a little rough with you guys. I just needed it to get confidence in myself. Maybe the world is collapsing after all. Don't pay attention. He just wants to leave a good impression in case he failed. No, I'm serious. Ugh, mom's coming. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Now who's the one stressing? Everyone, before announcing the results, I would like to congratulate all of you. You've been offered this opportunity because you were the hardest working students from this year. Keep this in mind. Whether or not you'll be living under or outside the dome, you're the future. This world needs you. Yet, there are many things you're not aware. Each one of you is special. You're all linked together in ways you can't even imagine. Hmm. I'd like to correct myself, though. Despite your hard work, your skills, and your intelligence, they're not the main reason you've been chosen. <clears throat> During those past years, I've attempted to make you aware and prepared, but no longer. In a few moments, your destiny will be in your hands. Now? Here's the moment you've been waiting for. The final results. Here's Stuboth's score. As you know, 
This is the reference. Any score equaling or superior to this means you pass. Clay, my son, here is your score. Yes! I would like to point out that no favoritism whatsoever has been exercised. All criteria used for ratings are neutral. Next candidate, Ott. Phew! That was close! Congrats! I knew you could do it! And now, Graf. Uh, I passed! It's not that simple. You have received a 40 points penalty. So, here is your final score. What? Why? The system has performed a check. Graf, your tutor is registered as a drummer. Brock? A drummer? As such, this breaches the institution rules that you signed when you got accepted here. This center is strictly reserved for slums children. But... Oh, I know. He's taken a job as a police officer. Temporarily. No. He's registered as a permanent citizen. It's right there in the government mainframe data, which is inviolable. I'm sorry, Graf. The rules are the rules. He lied to me? Furthermore, you should have been automatically excluded. However, I attempted to save your profile by reclassifying this as a first-class penalty. This is the best I could do. Unfortunately, with your total score, this still wasn't enough for you to pass. I'm truly sorry. Sorry? If you truly are sorry, change this! I wish I could. My abilities are limited. I didn't write the rules. Then who did? Hmm. Wait. If he's really a drummer, doesn't this automatically make me one as well? You should know this by now. Children need to prove they earn this right. This is too late. Ugh, this can't be happening. I shouldn't say this, but don't worry about it too much. You have a great destiny lying ahead of you. A great destiny? I'll get to live the rest of my life in the slums. How can this be of little importance? <sighs> the final results are currently inside the center data. They will be transmitted to the government data frame tonight. Due to current events, there won't be any ceremony. I shall inform you as soon as possible when you're able to move under the dome. That is all. May the intel watch over you. Huh. Well, that sucks. You didn't deserve... Go away! I just wanted to say, father should never be trusted. My mom learned this the hard way. I'm sorry for you. I don't want your pity! Scram! <sighs> Take care. Did you hear what she said? <sighs> Boys, I have to close the building. Congratulations, Zot. Your arrival statistics showed a very low percentage of success, yet you passed. Your uncle is very proud of you. Uncle Wes? How can you... As for you, Graf, this is just a small setback. Do not let anyone else decide your future. Be strong. Prove yourself. So, this is where our path ends. Goodbye, Ott. What? No way! I won't let you go like this! No choice. You'll be living under the dome soon. I'm glad for you, but you better stay away from me. What? My bad luck could be contagious. Wait, that's not fair! You deserve to pass! Life's unfair. The Graf I know would never give up! Well, you're wrong! I never showed my true self! I'm just a liar and selfish! After all, I take from my old man! Ah! Uh, why did you hit me? Get a hold of yourself! Haven't you noticed? The director said the results would be transmitted to the government's mainframe tonight. Which implies... They're not yet! Yes, she's been giving us a hint! If we can find a way to change the center's data before it gets transmitted... You'll be accepted! This is cheating. Just this once. For a good cause. And probably very risky. Are you sure you want to go along with this? Is there any other choice? I guess not. The only question is, where do we start?
my belongings. Uh, I know! This morning, in the mail! There, an invoice from Mr. Rekka. Rekka? What a weird name. It does sound suspicious. And I get it now. Oh, spelled backwards, it becomes... Hacker! Yeah! What kind of hacker sends an invoice? Maybe one who wants additional work. There's even an address here. Only valid for a few days. That's silly. Maybe that's why he's not detected by the automated security system. Sometimes the best solutions are the easiest ones. Okay, it's worth a shot. Yeah. Besides, I'm curious to know what business my old man had with him. Let's check this out. It's here. There's a hefty guy in front of the entrance. Which confirms this is the right place. Are you sure? He seems like a cop. Only one way to find out. Um, hello. Kids! What you doing here? The street's not safe. Enter, quick! Um, psst. Better not upset him. What? I who's that? Kids, to hide here. Are you insane? Yesterday, the croc. Now, this? Ah, uh, don't make me reconsider hiring you back. Oh, but... Actually... We came to see you. You're a hacker, right? I prefer the term skilled programmer bypassing securities. Wait, how do you know? Doesn't matter. I need your help. Ha! <laughs> and you brought your pocket money, eh? I seriously doubt this will suffice, kiddos. Go away. You're wasting my precious time. No. No? Listen, we're clients. Right in front of you. What kind of businessman would ignore an easy sale? Uh, okay, okay. Go ahead and tell me all about your lost cuddly toy. Uh, I need you to hack into the Consciousness Center's data frame. I see. You posted some naughty pics and they caught you, huh? No, I just uh, need to pass my exam. I had great results. I should have passed if not for... Uh... For what? I thought you wouldn't ask questions. You expect me to do a clean job, don't you? My old man is a drummer, which is forbidden. Hmm. Well, just make sure I pass. Huh. Well, there are quite a few firewalls and other securities there, but... That's feasible. For 100,000 unis. What? 100,000? I warned you. That's the price for a quality job. He's a crook. Hey, I'm doing a risky job. Come on, Graf, let's find another way. What other way? We've explored the possibilities. There's no other solution. But how are you gonna get that kind of money before tonight? <sighs> Let me think. Don't take all day. I hate flies buzzing around me while I'm working. Tell me more about the croc from yesterday. Yeah, there are six sacred words in our data world, boy. Confidentiality. That's just one... W this is a deal between my client and me. No one else. You don't understand. He's my... My... Tutor. Yeah. He can be the Pope for all I care. You won't get anything from me. <laughs> Stupid squealer. What did you just say? I'm not one of those dirty rats. I'm a mouse. You should know that by your age. Okay, okay. Sorry. Jeez. Yeah, kids nowadays. What a disrespectful bunch. So? You'll keep bothering me with this, huh? Don't stay around him. That guy is shady. 
says the even shadier hacker. He claimed to be a policeman. This doesn't make any sense considering his record. What do you mean? I've already said too much. I have the money. What? Take a look at this. Hmm. This account was opened by my mother. There's more than a hundred thousand unis on it. She's dead now, so this means... I'll have access to this money in a few days when I turn 16. How come? I just found out about this myself. Interesting. I guarantee you, you will get the money in a few days. Don't! This must be money your mom saved for you! You, you can't! Then what's the purpose of it? Wouldn't she want me to use it to ensure a better future for myself? I... I don't know, but... It's decided. Give me your hand, boy. Hmm... So... You are... Graf Filch, aged 15. Birthday in... Three days. Looks like you're telling the truth. Alright, deal. Come back in three days and we shall sort this out. No, you don't understand. The data will be transmitted tonight! You need to hack the server now! And do credit for you! Nah, no way. This is a matter of life and death! Exactly! For me as well! Listen, do you really want to pass on the opportunity to win 100,000 unis? Hmm. Alright. With your prince, I should be able to plan a wire transfer right now. I'll reroute it to a few of my cryptocurrencies for safety reasons. But I warn you, this won't be cancelable. Do it! Graf. Hmm. And... done. Just one thing. Keep in mind. I'll be watching over you, boy. If you dare double-cross me, I have the means to ruin your life. Oh, don't worry. It already is. Now, give me some space. I need to focus. Come on, Ott. Hmm. I can't believe it. What's wrong with you? 100,000 units? Even in the slums, you could have lived like a lord for years with that kind of money. Sorry, Ott. I... I can't stay here. Hmm. Okay. It's your decision, after all. I'm not saying it's bad. Just... Maybe you should have thought a little more about it before rushing straight ahead. Well, it's done. Ah, uh, boys. What did I say? Leave the heck out of my place! <sighs> you better deliver. Hmm. Guys, about the dough I owe you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got something for you that should make up for it. I just require your help with something first. What now? Hmm, I was thinking about the Toxout pill shortage. Even if we get to live under the dome, we can't just leave all the slums people without any solution, can we? I agree. I've already asked Brock to investigate, but... Good idea! He's a great detective! Uncle Wes is also in the case. Still, we should give it a go ourselves as well. It's too important. Okay, let's try. This might be dangerous. Yeah. Hmm. Listen, don't ask how, but I've got an app on my phone to track my old man. You do? If anything happens to me, go fetch Brock, okay? I hope I won't have to, but you've got my word. Where are your parents? We've got something important to do ourselves. Uh... Do I scare you? Kinda. Sorry, mommy made me like this. Big arms. Useful for working here. I bet. Stick around. If bad guy comes, I beat up. Thank you, mister. Wait, what's going on exactly? Squealers. Causing havoc. Pipe pills plundered. I had a feeling they were responsible for this. Where are they? <coughs> Backstreet. Wandering. I see. No choice. We gotta go take a look. 
Are you sure about this? <sighs> we'll just take a look-see, just to confirm. After that, we call the cops. Okay, lead the way. Kids, wait! Where are you going? <coughs> no, boss say not move. <clears throat> what a nice surprise. We didn't even have to look. You just came straight at us. <clears throat> Raph, what do we do? What do you want? You. Uh, why? The boss will tell you. Come. No way! Not giving you a choice. Oh, Raf! Let me go! Or else. Else what? I. I'll call my uncle. He's a cop. Can I, Kins? Can I? Help yourself. Ah! <sighs> it's here. Quick! Open it! Sure. Uh, uh, what? Let me think. Now, where did I put this key? A key? Like, an actual key? Uh, this bunker was built a long time ago, during... Forget the history lesson. They're coming. We don't have much time. Oh, there it is. Give me that. Uh, what's that? There seems to be another mechanism in there. Doc? You've got to be kidding me! I... I have to repair this one. It's my job. But how do I open this portal? I won't be of any help. It's my first time here. Oh, great. He'll be on to us in a minute. One of us has got to hold them back, while the other figures this out. D, can you check this? Sure, but... I'll keep them away as long as I can. Riddles aren't really my thing. We won't have a second chance. Just do it, okay? Okay. Thanks. You'll thank me if we get out of here alive. Nah, they won't get past me. Bring them on. finish. There you go. Come on, Doc. One second. Mm, done. Ah, which way? Let's split. You take the left. I'll go with the doctor. But, but, uh, Mr. Brock is... Hurry! They're here! Ah, the door locked itself. Why did she insist on going the other way? I hope Dr. Gherkin is safe with her. There you are. Uh, what the heck are you doing? 
interrogating. She... she hooked me there. Are you nuts? You think it's the right time for this? This guy is hiding something. What about you? I thought I had come clean. No, you didn't. I wasn't finished when all those bots landed on us. Fine. I'll tell you everything, as long as you don't get in my way to interrogate him. I can't promise that. Then we'll have to settle this once and for all. A fight? No thanks. I've had enough brawling for the day. Should I remind you we're surrounded by bots who want us dead? Let's save our strength for them. <sighs> I guess you're right. And talking about that, man, those things are everywhere. And relentless. I'm scared. Can someone untie me? Not yet. But Are you suspecting the doctor to be the cause of the robot's havoc? Uh, it's a possibility. He's involved in a lot of things. That can't be right. I've got nothing to do with this, I swear. If he unleashed them, why risk his own life by getting through the slums? What would he gain from this? I don't have all the info yet, but I have the means to find out. Well, I'm not sure. Hmm. Something's off. What do you mean? I'd like to test something. Can you open the door to these bots? Probably. Why? I'll stay hidden. Release one. Are you mad? You realize they may all come at us when I open this door. Trust me. Very well. I'll try. Just one. Uh, hello. How may I serve you? That one seems nice. Hmm. Bring it closer to Dr. Gherkin. D don't Go ahead, bot. To that man in front of you. Oh, no! Hello! Uh, I'm not sure what you were expecting. Now, what happens if... Target acquired! Huh? It's gone crazy! I'll handle this. Just as I thought. They're not after the scientist. They're after me! Good heavens! Wait a minute. We're in this disastrous situation because of you? For crying out loud, what have you done? No idea. Honest. Though, uh... I guess I destroyed a lot of their friends recently. But that was self-defense. Those things don't have a mind of their own. Someone must want you dead. And that wouldn't be such a bad option to get away from here. Uh, stop that. I'll figure out what's happening. But I need both of you to start pouring it out. First, Doctor. Stay away! You're the one attracting them! Come on, be reasonable. I'm safer without you around. Uh, guess I'll leave you alone with that girl then. <laughs> D don't Oh boy, I'm screwed either way. Doc, if the bots aren't attacking you, why did you call me? I... I had no idea, but now it's all making sense. This morning, I was alone at the factory. Alone? Yes, the production process is automated, and no human operators. Yeah, actually, the pill shortage is the only reason I went to the factory today. I was starting to understand what was wrong, when suddenly, a massive number of bots rushed out of the factory, hitting me in the process. I concluded they went crazy, got frightened, ran outside to the entry box, and you know the rest. And you never thought leaving all the work to a bunch of metallic boxes would be a bad idea? No, the production has been working well for years. This is all very strange. These bots were programmed for one specific task at the factory. They shouldn't attack people. No offense, Doc, but I don't trust all those programs. By the way, 
How come you have access to this bunker? After all, you're a stranger to the slums. Mm. Well, ouch! He's fainted. What's your problem? He wasn't going to tell you the truth. But you will? This time, yes. Fine. I'm all ears. As a member of the government, he has the keys to the city. I guessed. I was merely trying to get him to admit it. Anyway, I need a break. Let me check this room. Don't waste your time. Isn't this a view of the bunker entrance? Uh-oh. I've been in an awful lot of messed up situations in the past, but this is... Uh, Ooh, the cherry on the cake. And we're the cherry. I don't get it. Why are these things so keen to have my skin? You're done? We're stuck here. I told you, but we'll have to escape somehow. One thing at a time. Tell me about yourself. From the start, please. Uh, as you know, I'm a journalist. When I started this career, it was more than a job to me. This was a way to uncover the truth and make a difference in this apathetic world we live in. And that's why I got sick of writing articles like how to prepare the best worm cake or this year's best liveies. So I spent months working on another investigation undercover. Don't you have a family to take care of? Yes, but a journalist always finds time for important matters. Right. I forgot you drummers barely work four hours a day. What a stereotype. Ever since I was a kid, I've noticed things changing. Drummers became less critical. They lived in their own bubble. Is that really new? To this extent, yes. I investigated the evolution of every activity of our society. And I made some important discoveries. I was about to make them public through my media when the trouble began. You know, there's one thing even more important to me than my career. Yourself? No, my family. My colleagues found some videos of Sin cheating on me with another girl. This set off something inside me. He betrayed me. He betrayed our daughter. My colleagues acted nice and understanding in front of me. But behind my back, they laughed. I couldn't bear it. I got mad. I quit my job. Thus, I lost access to the best way to spread information. I can see where this is leading. Sin and I argued. He said it was all lies. I didn't listen, didn't believe him. Why would I? There was tangible proof. That video seemed so real. But he insisted. And if he wouldn't admit to it and apologize... You threatened to start an expel procedure. Yes. But he ended up leaving by himself. Despite this, I had no intention to give up on my investigation. So I reached other media. They refused my story. Each and every one of them. This didn't make sense. Why would other news corporations turn down exclusive breaking information? Without proof, this is only a suspicion. But logic meant they're all facades. You said it earlier. All information in the drums is controlled by a single entity, right? Yes. This theory got even more weight when I found out that all my findings vanished. The local data stored in my DNA, all my backups, even the original sources and everything linked to them. All gone. It was as if I had imagined it all. My friends started to think I was losing it. They were even ready to send me to a mental hospital. Yeah, well... Shut up. It's not a laughing matter. My friends took my daughter from me. They didn't believe me. I had lost everything. My job, my family, my friends, and my mind. But the tides of misfortune finally turned. I always carry a memory chip hidden in my clothes. During one of my investigations, it broke and stopped connecting. This made me think. What if all my backups were simply erased when I accessed the Triweb? 
but I still couldn't check the data on that chip without risking it to be flagged as unsupported and erased. So, I came to the slums and brought the chip to that person called the Gloom. Huh. What will we do without that darn mouse? This was my last hope. My last chance to prove I wasn't just crazy. And I was right. The data is there, only part of my findings, but enough to validate all my theories. Now, I realize how much of a fool I've been. All this was a distraction. The videos were fake, very elaborate ones and undetectable to the human eye. They destroyed my life for one single reason. To prevent me from revealing the truth. But who? What truth? Uh, Our friend is waking up. Good timing. Oh, I feel bad. Please, release me. Not until you confess. Admit it, you're a member of the government. I... I have no idea what you're talking about. Fine. Maybe another press of that button shall shake your memory. No! Stop that. I'll take it from here. No, you won't. Trust me. You won't gain anything with constant threats. Fine. Have it your way, cowboy. Let me gather the pieces of that puzzle. Doc, I can tell that something's bothering you. And this isn't a comfortable situation, but... I need you to trust me. Um, oh, okay. First, let's talk about this morning. You've said the Tribots changed behavior this morning, and that same morning, I got attacked by Tribots in my own home. Did you notice anything before they left the factory? Before, now that you mention it, they received a firmware update. An update? Who manages those? There are dedicated labs of engineers working on all the AI improvements. Yeah, I believe I met two of these guys yesterday. But do they send the updates themselves? No, the decision to send a firmware update to production lies in the hands of the government. Is that so? Doctor, what did you do exactly with the pipe pills? I tried fixing them. You tried, but failed? Um... He's right. I've checked myself. After your visit, the pipe pills still weren't working. True. Actually, I'm not entirely sure why. Pray tell. Back at the factory, I noticed the pills stopped being sent to the slums due to missing signatures. Signature? Each pipe pill has to validate its authenticity in order to work. Why? Otherwise, anyone could reroute the pipes to get unauthorized medicine. Somehow, all the signatures in the slums vanished. Probably due to external damage. So, I attempted to input the signature back into each one. Stupid! Why not apply the change to all pipe pills at once? No, it's set in the hardware. Direct contact is required. Okay, then. Uh, we should split the work. That'd be faster. Impossible. Ah, uh, simple ideas are always impossible for you tech guys. Why, then? Don't tell me you're the only person in this country who can do it. Precisely. What? The signature is kept secret. That's the whole point. You've gotta be kidding me. What if something happens to you? Why do you think I hired you? Oh, wait. If that's true, then it gives some credit to something we suspected. You're quite an important person, Dr. Gherkin, aren't you? Of course. I direct the factory. No. Much more important than that. How exactly did you learn the pipe pill signature? Hmm... It's... confidential. I've had enough. Let me press that button. Okay. Do it. No, 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 please! Oh, you win! Yes, I am a member of the government! 
The signature is kept secret between our members. Finally! Now, tell us everything. I don't know where to start. Start with the number. How many are you? The answer is obvious. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I believe I've always known, thanks to this. The Triangle. There are three members. Yes, but I do not know the others. Liar! I swear, this was part of the original deal. We're supposed to make the decisions separately. This was the only way to ensure we wouldn't be influenced one way or another. Uh, typical well-meaning behavior from the elite who don't know crap about how the world runs. That I have to agree with. Th there's no perfect governing system. It's a complex thing. Let's focus on the matter at hand. Earlier, you said the government controls the updates for the Tribots. And you're part of it. It's you! You decided to make the Tribots come after me! N no I didn't! You better give me some convincing arguments, Doc. I... I don't know. This shouldn't be possible. You see, each decision we take follows the same process. When a new question arises, it comes with neutral elements to help us make our decision. Neutral? Right. We are three members. However, approval from all three is required for a decision to pass. On the other hand, one member's disapproval is enough to block a process. I'm an engineer. I can read the code. I would never have agreed to this. And if I had known you were responsible for the bots going crazy... Hey, I'm the victim here. Why would I voluntarily put my life in danger? He has a point. Even if the bots don't attack him, he's still taking a risk of getting hit or run over accidentally in that chaos. In that case... One of the other two Triangle members decided to destroy you. Maybe even both. That's just... great. My future keeps getting brighter. At least you know the threat. We'll find a way to end this. As long as I'm still in one piece afterwards. <sighs> no problem with that. The Tribots aren't equipped with giant scissors. Not funny. Only one good aspect about this. Tribots won't harm Graf. <laughs> Enough. I must find out what this guy knows about my situation. I was getting to it. This, um, lady here suspects her investigations led her to become a black sheep for news publishing. Incidentally, she also believes all the medias are controlled by the government. Is she right? Well, yes. To an extent. We only make decisions for important me- What have you done? You dirty- Wait, I did nothing wrong. Nothing wrong? You ruined my life. Ugh. Calm down. I never made any decision about yourself. I'd remember you, and I'd have never accepted meeting you. I agree. I too would have stayed far away. Shut up. Then who? It could be someone else from the Triangle. <laughs> How convenient. Mr. I make big decisions is actually not responsible for anything. Please! I've always wanted to help, to do my best. I believe you. Ha! I'll prove you wrong. Let's continue. That's not much info, but we're on to something. noticed both of us have been targeted by a member of the triangle if we want to solve this 
we better cooperate. Hmm. Maybe it's time to shed some light on your investigation. What exactly was it about? This could help us understand what's happening. Fair enough. For years, I've witnessed many dysfunctional aspects of our society. And now that I've learned how exactly we're being governed, I'm not surprised. Anyway, the most worrying matter concerns the fate of prisoners in the slums. Over the last few months, every single prisoner accused has been sentenced to death. All of them? I double-checked my sources. No accused prisoner ever gave any sign of life after being put to jail. Doesn't matter if it's high security prison or just custody, the result is the same. They just disappear from the surface of Earth. Moreover, this was accompanied by a dramatic increase of the number of bodies incinerated or recycled during the same time span. So, it's not very difficult to understand what happened to them. But that can't be. Care to say anything, Doc? Once again, Doc. I know what you're going to say, so I'll cut it short. Yes, the Triangle has a judiciary power over prisoners' outcome. After each investigation, we're being sent all the required information to take the final decision. Of life and death? Yes, but what she says cannot be true. I've got proof. Explain yourself. I've pretty much always voted no, and one disapproval should be enough to prevent a death penalty. I've said it earlier. But how can you be so sure? Have you ever left your desk to check the consequences of your decisions? N not exactly. Wait a minute. All prisoners are sentenced to death? Yes. They're being put to death two days after being incarcerated. Two days? If this is true, this means... What? What's going on? Spit it! D. Remember that your husband hired me for an investigation? This, uh, didn't turn out well. Which means? He's in jail at the police department. N no. How long? A couple of days ago. I gotta leave. Now! You can't. There are hundreds surrounding us. You have attacked some of them. They'll crush you regardless. I have to take my chance. And what will you do when you get there? The guards will never let you reach him, let alone escape. Besides, I'm also responsible for this. I could have got him out. I know the place. I'll help you. <sighs> I hope I won't regret this. First, we need a way out of here. I'm on it. What about me? Use your brain. Anything that can help. Oh. I thought you'd get me out! Hey, aren't you forgetting something? I gotta check this room. Good idea. But not like this. Hide. Let me disable the bots first. Go ahead. There. It's safe. Thanks. I owe you one. Find a way out. That's all that matters. Ah, uh, it's locked. Whoops, it uh, accidentally broke. An accident, huh? Well, uh, better take this food before it expires. Looks like some wires. There might be something behind that piece of furniture. I'll move this. Aha! Hey, that's a collectible ad. Hmm. Doc, I need your help. Any idea what's over here? Hmm. I can't see very well from here. What does it look like? 
a bunch of egg-shaped thingies. This must be a control panel for the bunker equipment. What kind of equipment? The light, the fridge, the shield. Shield? Of course. This is a bunker. It's meant to protect from external threats. We have an external threat. Oh? Oh! Let's use this to get rid of them. Uh, I'm afraid that's not possible. As it is, the shield will only prevent the bots from coming in. Not good enough. We need a way to immobilize or damage them. Ah, uh, this will require some more thought. Hey, Doc. Think you can use that control panel? I can't be sure. I would need to go over there to check. Is that a trick to release you? Please! Come on. Let's untie him, Dee. He could be useful. <sighs> all right. But no escaping. With all these bots waiting for us? I'm not crazy. So... Have you ever wondered why these panels have this particular shape? No, but I'm afraid you're gonna tell me. The egg is a scientific symbol for loops. The energy flows in and out of those receptacles, creating a loop. Okay, and how does this help? I've made some changes. Already? I've reverted the polarities of the non-zero component in order to transform the charge. Which means... The shield should now generate energy surrounding the portal. I'll try it. Can you check if it's having any effect? Sure. One, two, three. Uh, I've seen a blue light surrounding the portal. That's all? What about the box? Nothing. Darn. I'm afraid this won't work. Hey. It's a good start. You destroyed this? With your bare hands? Gotta investigate, ma'am. Ah, uh, what's this doodah? Seems interesting. I should take it. It's over. We'll be stuck here forever. No way. I'll fight my way through if I need to. What's wrong with your idea? I was convinced I could generate a small power field. Enough to hit the power container next to the portal. That pyramid-shaped thing? Yes. It would create a closed circuit, which could then generate a big shockwave. Man, that is a crazy good idea. Let's do this. I've tried. You've seen it. The field is too short to reach the power container. Surely there's a way to improve it. With the right material, yes. But here? What do you need, exactly? I don't know. Maybe a power generator? I'll get you that. Don't get your hopes up. Hey, Doc. Would this doodah help? Huh? Where did you find this? The switch that, uh, <laughs> shocked you. I believe that's what powered it. It's perfect. Really? Cool. So this will work? Oh, very unlikely. But you said... We'll try. I'll connect the wires. This will take a while. Okay. I'll leave you to it. You okay? When I didn't see him at his apartment, I just figured he left. I could never imagine... Relax. We'll save him. How can you say that? It may already be too late. We will. Mm. I'd never met someone like you before. You're certainly right. I'm not the kind of person who would stay home all day to make and raise children. I don't care if we're the last of our kind. Society needs us. Society won't decide for me. But you still have a daughter. Yes. I miss her. I miss Sin. What about you? I had a wife. For a brief moment. She passed away. 
Oh, sorry. And a son, who isn't really my son. He doesn't like me. That's a lie. What? He loves you, I'm certain of it. How would you know? You've never met him. I know you. Yeah, we've only just met, but... I feel that I can trust you. <laughs> uh, an hour ago, you were ready to slay me. Just fooling with you. You don't get girl humor, do you? A joke. Right. <laughs> hmm. Um, something on my face? You know, if the situation was different... Mr. Brock, it's done. Can you check the entrance view? All right. One, two, three. <laughs> Holy moly! It worked! For real? Yeah. All bots. Wiped out. Finally. Not a second to spare. Come on, Brock. Hey, don't forget me! D, don't tell me. I'm stuck inside. Don't worry, it's a bunker. There are plenty of supplies. But, but... Another crazy idea of yours? I'm not finished with him. We'll come back for you right after. Oh, this nightmare will never end. <sighs> okay. At least he's safe there. Let's go. Wait. What's your plan? Simple. I go in, kick those boss asses, and come back with my man. It's a police department. There are dozens of bots in there. There must be a better way. Okay. Tell me. We should infiltrate the place. It'd be much less risky. Fewer tin cans to wreck. Hmm. Are you certain there's a way to enter the jail discreetly? Yes. The main entrance. Is that a joke? Those bots are stupid. We can enter from the main entrance and distract them. I'll go first. Follow me. All right. Just be careful, okay? Hey, I can defend myself if anything goes wrong. Right. Off we go. It works! Quick, let's go! Sin! Sin! Where is he? Uh, are we... Too late? No! Uh, this can't be happening. I couldn't even tell him. Uh, maybe there's still... A call? Hey, man. Sorry to call you, but... I couldn't think of anyone else. Huh? Sin! I... I thought you were... D, is that you? I believe you now. I'm so sorry. I am too. Wait, where are you? This looks like... How did you get out of jail? The chief of police. He said I was free to go. D, I... Don't say anything. Our daughter is waiting for you at home. My... Friends are taking care of her. Please get her back. But are you sure? Where are you? I'll help you come back safely. <coughs> I'm hiding in my apartment. What's left of it? You're okay? I couldn't get a pill today. <coughs> and I got some other trouble myself. Bots? Yeah. I managed to outrun them, but... This was close. Oh. My. So I'm not the only one they're targeting. What's going on? I'll explain on the road. Stay where you are, dear. All right. Love you. Gotta go. Wait. Aren't you forgetting someone? We promised Dr. Gherkin we would come back. we Will do. As soon as my man is safe back at home. Can you explain your presence here? 
And who is your charming friend? Let me guess. The chief of police? <sighs> We've come to free Sin. She's a journalist and Sin is... I see. We didn't have a choice. He was in danger. <sighs> Thus, I'm not the only one suspecting something fishy. Am I right? You... you knew? Complications seem to accumulate these days. No need to worry. I will handle this. This country has seen many stressful periods over the years. No! This is different! Our judicial system has gone very wrong. Criminals are systematically murdered! <laughs> and why should I believe you? I'm a journalist. I have proof. I've spent the last few months gathering information. Proof? We should share our information. But not here. Let's meet at the Ancient Garbage Disposal Center. In one hour. You sure? No one ever goes there. All the more reason. It's an open area. We wouldn't be spied on without knowing it. Fine, let's meet there. And Brock? Thank you. I owe you one. Hmm. Hmm. Well, see ya. Bork? That's insulting, you know. I wish you'd stop calling me that. It's not your name. What? Whatever. We've had our differences in the past, but today, we need to cooperate. There's a much bigger threat going on in this country. Yeah. No problem, old man. Later. I'm counting on you. Ah, my head! Oh no! I'm tied up! I don't like this. My rope is a bit loose. With some efforts, I can move. Could I cut my rope with this? Take ages! Finally free! Hmm. Should I keep pretending? A collectible ad? Great! Rav! I'm so glad to see you. Sorry I got you into this. No time for apologies. We must get out of here. And fast. I don't like the view. What a mess. Hey, wait a minute. This is mine! Awesome, I found another one. One more to the collection. Hey, you! Oops! Please, go easy on me. Ugh, wimp. expect to see this in such a place. I'm too far to do anything. Food, cereals, insects, and other things I can't even put a name on. At least I won't go hungry. They've stored tons of food here. I can't open these drawers. Looks like they eat here, sitting on the floor. What? Hey, butthead! Why is no one guarding the entrance? It's, sorry, boss. 
Uh, no. Dart! The entrance. Now. No one comes in or out. Okay. of pipe is protruding. I'm afraid I can't do much with my hands tied. The, the boy! He's here! Crap! Hey, princess! Finally woke up? <clears throat> I bet you're the boss here! Ain't you the clever one? The name's Krav, huh? I figured you'd be smart like your friend. Ott! You better not touch him! Hey, everything will be fine, as long as you cooperate. What do you want from us? Oh, come on! A clever boy like you should be able to figure that out. <clears throat> you kidnapped us for money. That's one way to summarize it. But actually... Not that simple. Then what? Enough. I'm the one who asks questions. Are you comfortable? Uh, what do you think? I'm held against my will in these sewers that stink like death! Sorry. We doing our best efforts to make this place pleasant enough to live. You hungry? Thirsty? Stop the funny act! Tell me what exactly you want from me, or let me go! I believe we started on the wrong foot. We're no bad guys. We're civilized. We'll take good care of you for the next three days. Three days? That's it! The hacker! You're working with him! He asked you to make me a prisoner! Yep. That guy has some debt to pay us, and you're the bargaining chip. No worries. Once done, we'll release you. No way! I'm not staying here! My old man is a detective! He'll get me out! You'll see! A detective, huh? How delusional. You really expect him to get in here and pass our guards? Yeah, he's super strong. He'll beat you all up. He already did. Is that true? Dead croc. Ugh. You're his... Hey, where are you going? Have a rest. I... I need to think. But... Uh...
So, did you miss me already? Good! I'm not finished with you! Ooh! Now you pretend to be brave, huh? That attitude does not fool anyone. You're just a scared little kitty. I'm not! Uh-uh! Kins? Kins! Oh? Um, I'm here. Go ahead. Yes, Chief. Hey, what are you? <coughs> it's Ut! What are you doing? Relax. We won't hurt him. At least not yet. What do you want? Money? Take whatever you want. All of it. I don't care. Sure, we'll get your money. But I'm looking forward to... something else. We're gonna play a little game. <sighs> I ordered my guys to place bombs in two locations. Bombs? The first one is currently sitting right below your friend's chair in the other room. <sighs> a bigger one is located in a hospital in Sector 55X. You know... Where all the drunkards and other human waste are sent to suck whatever's money they have left. A hospital? You're lying! Oh, I wouldn't bet on that. We've learned a lot about manipulating smoke. If set off, that bomb would probably kill a dozen of those nobodies. At least. Now, here's the fun part. The choice is yours. Choice? Why would I choose to blow up someone? No, no, no! I'd never ask you something as cruel as that, good lord! I just need you to choose who should be saved. But here's the thing, the ones you don't choose might have their life. How should I say, suddenly shortened? You're a monster! No worries, we've been extra careful. If you choose to save those hospital losers, the impact will only blow up one room. The one your friend's in, that is. See? You're safe. I could never. Oh, but you will. Because if you don't choose, I shall make both bombs explode. <laughs> no! I refuse. I made myself clear. The rules are the rules, and my hand is itching. If we don't hurry, I might push a button by accident. So, I'll give you exactly 10 seconds before I trigger a bomb. Or both. Your decision. Who will you save? Your friend, or a dozen of losers you've never met? Tick. Tuck. I'm sorry for all these people, but Odd is my best friend. I can't afford to lose him. So the life of one is more important to you than ten guys. How egotistical. I like that. <sighs> oh yeah, I forgot. That hospital is pretty near. You, you just killed all these people. Not me. I think you did. But don't feel bad. They were scum nearing the end of life. They should be thanking you for terminating them. I... I will... Kill me? Escape? Oh, please. You don't have the strength. Neither moral nor physical. Say, how about I tell your little friend the choice you've made? Pretty sure he'd love to hear you chose to blow up ten people to save him. <laughs> Not so clever after all, boy! Looks like our reputation precedes us. In truth, we're no killers. What? We only slay people when we have to. I said it. This was just a game. Everyone's safe. There never was any bomb. But uh, the sound, the shake. Just some old speakers we found. Mighty powerful. Kids, remove his gag. 
Yes, Chief. Uh, Graf? What's going on? Mm. Man, that was fun. Huh? That's a joke. Yep. No, I mean, you claim you're not killers, and yet you're condemning everyone in the slums to death. The heck are you talking about? The pipe pills! You sabotaged them! Let's make things clear. Us squealers will do whatever we can to survive. It's our way of living. We only took whatever was left inside those pipes. Then you mean... We didn't start this. My guys noticed bots messing with distributors in the middle of the night. Why? No idea. Bots? This shortage was organized from outside. You should ask those rich folks who forced us to this miserable existence. How can I believe you? You do, you don't. I don't care. Wait, I still don't get it. What was the point of this mind game? What exactly do you want from me? My revenge. Against me? What? No! The one who's responsible for our situation. Your father! My dad? Rem? I barely know him. Don't be silly. I'm talking about that brute playing detective. Everything's his fault! Uh, what did he do? I figured you wouldn't know. Actually, you don't seem to be aware of anything. He's been playing with you, a bit like I did, but in a more insidious way. You're wrong! He's a, a good person! You're the scums! <laughs> How funny! He attacked me and my guys countless times. And not just us. We've been watching. Those bots in the streets are pretty much punching bags for him. Well, these bots are disposable. But you know what they say. Whoever harms a bot, harms a human. In what kind of twisted world would good guys do this? <laughs> but anyway, enough about the croc. Let me tell our own story. The Squealers arrived in this land thousands of years ago. We were called in after Rebirth Day to help rebuild without the help of technology. For centuries, we were assigned the most basic tasks. Of course. Studies demonstrate. Yeah, yeah. Supposedly, we're not as clever as all the other folks in this land. And it's getting worse. Nature denies us to have children with other species. We can only reproduce between ourselves. Ugh, whatever. Our only mistake was to not anticipate anything. We had become slaves of this society. Progressively, the system pushed those darn bots everywhere. They took our jobs, replaced us, condemned us to live in poverty. You should have made your opinion heard! <laughs> How credulous. What point is there to scream when you've got a deaf audience? Of course we protested. But do you think those higher-ups cared? So, when the time came, just a decade ago, our system was collapsing. This was our opportunity. I know the story. You attempted a coup, but you lost and got banished from this land. Yeah, but the media hid some facts. I was the lead commander. We almost won that battle. If it wasn't for him... Wait, you're saying Brock was there? And he defeated you? <sighs> That's ridiculous! Take a gander. No way! I've seen this picture at the museum, but it wasn't as clear. You've modified it! I remember every minute of that day. He was there. <laughs> After our banishment, a lot of us perished. Living in the shadows, we had to make choices on who gets to live who should die? Do you even know the pain of starving to death, princess? To be on the verge of eating the weakest so that the strongest survive? Ew! And you think you had such a horrible life? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. That said, 
We've got something in common. The same person to blame. I still can't believe you. Take a look. That bank statement. Where do you think this money came from? I believe this is money from my mother. The croc hid this from you, huh? <clears throat> of course he would. So, you're supposed to get the money when you turn 16, right? I think so. I remember this question in my exam. Now, let's say you have an unfortunate accident right after your birthday. What would happen with the money? I... I guess it would go to the closest person alive. You mean... Finally! That took a while. No, it's... He would never do such a thing. Oh, come on! How more naive can you be? No wonder you were a drummer. Can you honestly say you truly know him? <sighs> it didn't take me long to figure this out. Ever since he got you, he's been waiting. Just doing the bare minimum to make you live. Three more days. Just three more. And then... <sighs> no! He... Uh, he saved me! Several times! Sure. But you know why? You know the explanation for his contradicting behavior. Do you understand? You're a puppet. Keep the picture. Don't want to see it anymore. Is this the truth? <clears throat> Chief, the ugly boy, he escaped. What? After him! Odd, did he manage to... You! You've got two seconds to tell me what he's up to! How should I know? I'm not... Ouch! Time for games is over. Tell me, or I might start to live up to my reputation. Um, I know Odd. He won't leave me here. He must have gone to fetch some help. Who? I told him. If anything happens, go find Brock. Hmm. Is that so? <laughs> Change of plans, guys. Let's wait for the little brat to return with the croc. We shall prepare him a nice welcome committee. <sighs> Great. I got everyone into this mess. I don't know if there's such a thing as a god, the untail, or whatever, but please, let this end well, for everyone. When leaving the police department, I suddenly felt weirdly apprehensive. This whole investigation was coming to an end. I could feel it. Prepare yourself. These two words reverberated in my head, but I couldn't really grasp the reason. Were there any signs my mind caught? In the meantime, I figured I should go home and check on Graf. I had no news since morning. Hopefully, his day had been less eventful. Target acquired! Coupon. Oh, a 
I didn't have that one. Hey, that's a collectible ad. No way! She must want me to keep training while she's gone. Huh. Better not disappoint her. ready to attack me! Phew, it's not following me. What was that all about? Huh? He's gone. I hope nothing happened to him. Wait, what's that? A letter to Brock. Hello, my boy. I've taken your suggestion and decided to live in a more quiet place. Although I'm a bit ashamed because I lied to you. There's a reason why I came here. I wanted to see my best friend's son before leaving this world. You see, I knew your grandpa. When he died, I should have taken care of you. 
He asked me, but I refused. Back then I was still young. I didn't think I could handle it, being in the military and all. I've regretted this decision every day. You were all alone. Despite this, I'm glad you turned into such a strong, good-hearted person. You're exactly like him, always wanting to help everyone. I know because, well, I promised I wouldn't say anything, but let's just say I got a chance to find out how tremendous you were a long time ago. Be careful, though. Life isn't so simple. Don't let others abuse your kindness. Don't let it cloud your judgment. You gave me a second chance and convinced me to use the last few years of my life in a better way. I want to leave you a parting gift. Please put this to good use during your battles. Don't worry, we'll see each other again, although I may be a little different. Keep being strong for everyone. Your uncle, Rick. Uncle? I wish you would have told me. We didn't get to spend a lot of time together. There's a paper with my address here, and some kind of lucky charm. Sounds pretty useful. Thanks, Uncle. I'll keep this with me at all times. I'll never forget you. Hmm. Raf? Uh, he didn't come back? That's not normal. Maybe I should call. Hmm. Come on, my boy. Reply! Hey, I'm not available. Call back later or reach my old man for anything urgent. Uh, when will I learn? I was so engrossed with this whole affair that I totally forgot to check on him. Again! If something happened... No. Let's stop seeing the glass is half empty. He's... probably just celebrating with friends. I know. His school friend must know. Hmm. There it is. Ought. Uh-huh. Hmm. No reply. <sighs> there. My stress levels just went up a notch. Okay, then. The school director. Hmm. Hello. This is a recording. I'm busy making preparations for the candidates who validated their diploma. Please be patient. Busy? She's a machine. She should be able to multitask. Ah, uh, will this day never end? I've left them a message, but I'd better look around the city. Someone must know something. There's still time before my appointment with Wes. With everything happening, Graf might not be the only one needing help. Better keep my eyes open and keep training. Got the feeling this will come in handy very soon. Hey, RJ. How are you? Great! Thanks again. But you... look worried. Yeah. I'm looking for my boy. Boy? Gray cat, 16, blue eyes, and... a kinda depressed look. Oh, seen him! Uh, you sure? Yeah, this afternoon. With a friend, like Pig and Otter. Must be Ot. What were they doing here? Asking questions. Pipe bell. Told him Squealer's plundered. Went to Backstreet. The Backstreet? Told him not. Kids never listen. Graf, what did you get into? Gotta go. Wait! I come with you. Thanks, but I can handle this. My fault. Should have insisted. Squealer's good fighters. Need my help. What about your boss? Who cares? Won't notice. Right. Thanks, pal. So, you ready? Maybe tons of squealers to fight. Once we are surrounded, do not go back. No time to waste. He may be in danger. Okay, come on. I had trouble with squealers in this street already. Scum. Deserve good beating. 
If they've touched one bristle of Graf's fur... <sighs> Wait. Someone's calling. Go. I'll find Graf. You sure? Trust me. Those squealers... gonna get it. <sighs> All right. I trust you. But... I'll be back as soon as I can. Sure. Find my boy. I thought you wouldn't come. As you said, it's too important. By the way, Dr. Gherkin? I dealt with him. What does that even mean? Uh, it seems like he was telling the truth. I have obtained his signature and the procedure to fix the pipe pills. But as you know, this isn't enough. Something is blocking the process. How did you convince him? Well... Wait... Actually, I'd prefer not to know. Where is he now? Gone. Gone... where? The doc was afraid of going back to his job at the pharmaceutical company. He wished to hide while the situation cools down. I escorted him to the closest country border. He's an important person. No trouble for him to get across. He left the country? Huh. Wait. What? But... but he was supposed to give me ten grand. Sorry. He didn't mention that. Oh, I'm doomed to live in poverty forever. If it makes you feel any better. Soon, all slummers won't be living at all unless we get to the bottom of this. That's right. I have no desire to be the last person alive around here. Last? You're both here. Good. Go ahead. What have you found? Yeah. These last few days, I've been investigating the pill shortage. All the pipe pills in the slums stopped working. We know that. Yet the drums are totally unaffected. I have reasons to believe the source behind the shortage is being run from the drums. By whom? Someone from the government, obviously. Let's not jump to conclusions. Although it's a possibility. But another important matter could be linked. I've been with the police for 50 years now. I have never experienced such a low recidivism rate. And that's a bad thing? Definitely. When it's not natural. Criminals don't stop doing crime after their first arrest. In fact, they never stop. They'll do it again. And again. It's human nature. But lately, not anymore. Of course. They disappear into thin air right after their release. I suspect my own agents are responsible. Agents? Oh, you mean... The Tribots. They handle the release of prisoners automatically. And actually terminate them, guilty or not. I don't have any tangible proof yet. But if they do, they're ignoring the judgments or the judgments themselves are falsified. And who better than a Triangle member to undertake it? Possibly. In any case, this is hypothetical. That's why I need your... Proof. Here, on this memory chip. Hundreds of documents linking the government to various shady activities, judgments included. Good. I can reach some trustful, high-ranking individuals in various sectors. Undercover, they shall organize a revolt, spread the word, make and distribute pills. How? With Tribots? We can't rely on those. There's more people than you think who don't enjoy this regime we're living in, Mr. Pork. Brock! Mr. P... P... Whatever. I can organize this but I need to gather all the evidence. This contains everything I have. The only copy that exists. You'll have to be extremely careful. Never connected to the Triweb. Uh, wait! Don't give it to him. What? Why? You said we could trust him. Come on! There's no time to waste! Something's wrong. Care to explain? Call it a hunch. My instinct. And your instinct got you so far. I need more than a hunch to make a decision. Just give me a sec. I'll explain. All right, go ahead. 
Let's hear some of your famous nonsensical thoughts. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Hear me well, old man. Wes, yesterday while you were away, I inadvertently checked the contents of your computer. How dare you! This is a second-class crime punishable by- Save it for later. I found two protected folders. One of them was named D. Silver. Hey, that's my name. That's what I assumed. Any explanation, old weasel? Easy. Can you remember who was in jail that day? Uh, I guess Sin was. Correct. I simply did some research in order to inform his wife. But you never did! I'm a busy person. We're understaffed and that's why I hired you temporarily. You worked with him? Um, well, that didn't go so well. And you're holding a grudge. That's why you're accusing me. Not at all! Alright, this folder is suspicious. Yet, yeah. this isn't what bothers me the most regarding Wes. Though I can't quite put my finger on it. We've known each other for a long time, old weasel. Why didn't you tell me about your accident? Accident? Five years ago, a police investigator suffered from a very serious air car accident. As far as I can remember, you were the only investigator at the police department. It was you, wasn't it? Yes. And this is my personal story. Nothing to do with the affair at hand. Somehow, I doubt it. Really? Any proof of what you're saying? Um, let me think a minute. I'll find one. Pathetic. Hey, cowboy. I'm starting to doubt you've got anything tangible. Gah. Trust me, okay? Draw something for me, Chief. What? Go ahead. Draw me a sheep. Are you going crazy? This is ridiculous. So? Can you? Yeah. I won't submit myself to those petty tests of yours. What are you trying to prove? He cannot draw. Anyone can draw. Yeah. Normal human beings. It's, it's obvious, obvious he can't. But why? Fine. You won't cooperate. That makes you even more suspicious. Don't think I haven't noticed. Noticed what? My name. What about it? Go ahead. Say my name. It's Park, of course. No, it isn't. Brock, Chief. I thought you knew each other well. Yes. A p p p what? Just what I thought. You can't pronounce it. You never could. All these years, I've thought you've just been making fun of me. And that's not all. At several occasions, you've said some weird things. Confusing words with other totally unrelated ones. Pardon me for saying this, but do you happen to have any mental issues? Yeah. I'm not so young anymore. This is a personal attack, cowboy. Does this make him too incompetent for our case? <sighs> the first time we met, RJ said you've changed. And now we know you're having some mental issues. Yeah, you're kinda old. Or dare I say, an antique. <sighs> but my little finger is telling me this all started after your accident, wasn't it? You know where you can put your little finger? On the true culprit behind this affair. Oh? So you're saying the accident didn't affect your intellectual and judgment capacities? 
My intellect, possibly. My judgment, never. All right, if you say so. Stop being disrespectful. An old man will always stand behind his convictions. You must be right. I just wonder what his true convictions are. Did you know AIs cannot draw? And again, how is this related to our case? Well, Wes cannot draw either. You're trying my patience. We have a problem to solve. Even if it was true, what would be the conclusion? Indeed. I'm not really sure myself where this is headed. This opens a whole range of possibilities. So let's stick with the facts. Wes shares behavior similar to artificial intelligence, but only sometimes. Lost your tongue, pork? Not yet. Hey, old weasel. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you collided into a robot the day of your accident. Pray tell. Well, how else would you explain your inability to draw and to pronounce my name? Are you somehow controlled by an AI? Good. You keep sinking further. Gotta uncover the truth. Or dig your own grave. Ah, uh, I admit what I suggested sounds absurd. This is a huge accusation. I need proof. I found a proof of utmost importance in your office. I'm all ears. A burnt down power socket. <sighs> you should be ashamed of your moronic allegations, Pork. I'm not basing them on nothing. Only very old bots can cause an overload. So what? Should I remind you the vast majority of our staff is composed of bots? Aren't they all tri-bots? They should be fairly recent. And this happened in your office. What would an old bot do there? I don't know. Probably some client. I can't remember. Really? Something's fishy. If this had happened a long time ago, the power socket would have been fixed and clean. What's he hiding? has mental problems, is sometimes behaving like an AI, an ancient robot connected recently in his office, much more advanced than the school director, controlling him, and I've already met it? Huh. Huh. His accident. What if he... No. This is absurd. I agree. Fine. I shall... Stop! I finally understand. Wes, you... You're... You're not human! Uh... What is he then? An extraterrestrial? A bot. A very sophisticated one. Are you crazy? Did you take a good look at him? 
Have you ever heard a bot speak fluently like us? I do. The director of my son's school. She talks exactly like a human. She said she's an experimental model from years ago. And there's another like her in this city. An improved model. She was referring to you, wasn't she? Mm. And I guess you suggest we open him then? There's an easy way to check. If he's a bot, he must have a charging slot in the rear. Go ahead. Search for it. Are you serious? You're asking me to check the rear of Mr. Head of the Police Department? Exactly. And if you won't, I will. Ah. <sighs> I'm warning you, Pork! This is a first-class criminal offense! I insist! Come on! Show us your butt, old bot! How dare you! If you truly think so, then... I'll trust you. Maybe you can just show him so we can move on? Yeah. <sighs> uh... Mm. <laughs> to think. That idiot, with his moronic logic. <laughs> Are you done? There's nothing funny. Oh yes, there is. I can't wait to see your face, when you see mine. <laughs> it's... that's... Impossible! I was hoping I'd be wrong. You! Of all the people I've met all these years, how could you be the one to discover my true identity? Then, this means... Give me that! Ah. No! <clears throat> the trip! Darn you, Croc! Spit it out! No way in hell! Where you probably come from! That doesn't make any sense! How? Why? You're involved in all this? What do you need it for? That's the only copy. By erasing it, poof. All proof. Gone. Pesky meddlers. You fail to realize that all our efforts are to ensure this world won't turn upside down. For your safety, we made sure every single device is connected to the Triweb. We've set sophisticated algorithms to recognize and eradicate all inappropriate content. It was perfect. But this stupid non-connected thing, it contains information that will incriminate me. Too bad for you. They're in my stomach now. And your stomach better not destroy it. Um, good thing I didn't eat anything spicy. Enough! <laughs> no! You okay? Uh, we... we've got to get rid of him. It! No, you're in luck. This old gun takes time to reload, but I'm prepared for all eventualities. Even this very improbable situation would show resistance. Oh! He's making this trash mountain collapse! Good news! I've proceeded as planned. You won't leave this place alive. How is that good news? It is, for me. Obviously. It's bad. They keep coming. Uh. No choice. I'll take care of the minions. Get him! Got it. Hey! Guess what the penalty is for attacking a police officer? Let me guess. Death? You got that right! Hey! Possible. My faithful bots. They're not returning my calls anymore. That's it. The game is over, bag of screws. Not till I. Ah! D! My leg. 
I can't move. That devil. Come on. I'll carry you. Don't. Don't mind me. You've got to finish him. I will. After you're safe. Someone's waiting for you at home. Brock. Now, go. Uh, where is he? I told you. That old snake. Now is not the good time for an argument. What again? Huh? This uh, is a nightmare! How do you like my new shell, Orc? Do you even stand a chance against that? There must be a way. There's gotta be. Let me estimate. The probability you'll survive more than two minutes is non existent. I'll take my chances. Good. I was worried you'd try something foolish like escaping. That would be no fun. You should know me by now, old demon bot. As long as I'm standing, I'll keep fighting. Right. Keep talking like you're in a line. But this is reality! <laughs> Like this, giant tin can! Whoa! Whew. For a sec, uh, I thought. Oof! I can't believe. You've almost had me! Twice. That final mistake will cost you your life. Oh, that hurts, you know! Don't worry. You won't die immediately. I'll break you bit by bit. Slowly. Let me savor this moment. No! D, stay there! Ah! Well... <clears throat> running out of ideas here. D... Before you kill us. I need to know, why? Why insist on wiping out slummers? Isn't it obvious? <laughs> Pork. The first time we met. Many years ago, I wasn't a bot. Uh, to me, you've always been an old wreck. <laughs> After I was turned into this, I resumed my job at the police department. Slowly. Year after year, I encountered the worst in humanity. Murders, thefts, aggressions, frauds. Every new case worse than the last. All concentrated in the slums. 
This is hogwash. The result of a buggy stack of algorithms inside your head. <laughs> no. It's a very reasonable way of thinking. A reasoning only possible thanks to my human side. Human side? <clears throat> yeah, right. You see, I may look like a machine. I still cannot do high-speed calculations. On the contrary, I was conceived in order to replicate the human brain. I have all my memories from my past. I've never felt any different from the person I was before. No, I've simply been in the police long enough to understand. Humans never learn. Criminals always recidivate. Bad seeds need to be eliminated. This is the only way to ensure the safety of everyone who deserves it. Let me guess. The drum citizens? Evidently. This part of humanity deserves to be saved. Sooner or later, this plague infesting every living being outside the dome will be spread inside. Why do you refuse to understand? Because... <clears throat> You're a filthy piece of metal, Chuck. Humans have a heart. You don't. <laughs> oh, he has borrowed something from humans indeed. The ability to lie. The prisoners that were terminated. You're behind that too, aren't you? Of course. My first plan. Back when I still thought a selective approach could work. How? Dr. Gherkin said three votes are needed. That's right. I'm not almighty. My power to take action has limits. Three votes needed to approve a proposal. One to block. So, I exploited a loophole in the system. The ability to reformulate questions. Reformulate? Instead of, should this person be condemned to death? I simply rewrote it as, should this person be freed? And reversed the replies. Same thing, wouldn't you say? Except this way, only one vote against becomes needed. Amongst the crowd of questions we receive, no one even noticed. What a joke. Whoever designed that system was a stupid moron. Not stupid. The creator is imperfect. Like all humans are. The plan I concocted was safe. Subtle and simple. Yet, far from enough. I shortly realized I had to act on a larger scale. Taking more risks. And condemn all the slums inhabitants? Be realistic. Cheating, stealing, and fighting constitute the way of living for slummers. Who amongst you never did such a thing? Well, yeah. We aren't perfect. But everyone deserves a second chance. We can better ourselves. <laughs> you cannot. Yes, we can. Silence! <laughs> Wait, Leah's case? You lied about this too? I did not. As far as I know, it truly was an accident. A fire caused by the global power shutdown. The whole city was a mess. I am... <laughs> Don't believe you! Granted, for all my career, this is the only case I couldn't solve with absolute certainty due to the data loss. It has always haunted me. You and me both, then. Shut up! We're nothing alike, scum. Brock? Brock! Playing possum, huh? Don't think you can fool me. I have sensors. Even a dead cat can bounce when it falls from high up. Oh, what you say it doesn't make any sense. Ha! Enough play. While you're still able to talk, let me know. What shall be your last words before I terminate you? Well...
I love you, Wes. Oh, please, hold me tight. Uh, not what I expected, but I shall grant your wish. Who did this? Prototype 26. You've derailed from the track that was assigned to you. It's my duty to step in. How dare you mess with my business, P-19! I'm right, and you know it! You okay? I should be the one asking you this. Well, not dead, but I almost wish I was. Man, my body hurts everywhere. We'll get better. If we manage to get out of here alive. Who? Or rather, what's this? My son's school director. Or so I thought. Uh, hey, piles of scrap pretending to be humans. How many of you are there? Only the two of us. I'm afraid there's no time to explain. Mr. Brock, let me handle this. Uh, okay. I've been watching you, P-26. Of course you have. I've attempted so many times to get rid of our positioning connection. And always failed. What you want to do? This isn't the will of our creator. Who cares? He's no longer there. This isn't true. He's still living inside. No, oh, cut the crap. You know what I mean. Now get out of my way before... What? I can't break free. How, how can you do this? Release me or you'll regret it. Not until you promise. Let go. Let go of your plans. <laughs> you seriously think I've went this far to give up at the last second? It's never too late to do the right thing. Nonsense. I can say anything. Whatever you want to hear. How would you know it's true? Uh, you're probably right. I would trust the human inside you, but he no longer exists. You... we shouldn't have been allowed to live this long. <sighs> you can't hold me like this forever. Your battery will drain faster than mine. As soon as I'm free, I'll dispose of you and all those cockroaches around us. Hey, we're not. Actually, uh, he's making me hungry. <sighs> You're hopeless. I'll rip open that crock to get that memory device back. Then I'll catch that Dr. Gherkin they mentioned. Thanks for the hint, by the way. I've been looking for the third member for years. I never suspected he was a human in the flesh. What was our creator thinking? How could you forget? We were all humans when the triangle was planned. Wait, does this imply the director is? Soon I'll be the only one to decide for this country. That's dictatorship. What other choice? You're all blind. Who else is fair enough to make the hard decisions to keep Atlasia on track? Making hard decisions. You can't get rid of me. The same way I can't annihilate you. Otherwise, you'd be a pile of screws right now. This failsafe is implemented into our hardware. There's no working around it. Yet, there's always a way. No! No! You're lying! You! You cannot beat me. You're a weak, older model. I was, but Mr. Brock kindly remedied this. You did what? Um, actually, uh, what did I do? Stand back! What are you going to... Huh? No! It cannot be! You overclocked yourself? S stop! Immediately! <sighs> <sighs> Mr. Brock? Mr. Brock? Uh, director? W what's going on here? Uh, where's Graf? I'm here. Thank goodness. I was so worried about you. 
Those squealers had kidnapped us. Fortunately, that bear was here. Where is he now? He gave us time to run away. I hope he's okay. Oh, I should have been there. But as you can see, things got even more complex. See what you've done, P-26? By involving them. Can you think of the consequences if- None of my concerns. One cannot govern without the grand scheme in mind. A single individual means nothing over the fate of thousands. That voice. Uh, aunt, you weren't supposed to see me like this. Huh? How? How can this robot speak like my uncle? I am. Huh? But uh, whatever you hear from the others, don't believe them. I've tried to make things right for the future of this country. But people refuse change. Your change involves a genocide. Director, what are you doing? He's my uncle. Release him. Ott! Look at him. He's not... He never was. That's a lie! It will be hard for you to accept. Your real uncle died when you were nine. What you see is a failed experiment. Don't listen to her, kiddo! She's the failure! Free me! But, even if it's true, I love him anyway. Good boy! And if he's a fake, what about you? Right! Go ahead, break her! I guess we're both shadows of the past, and that's why we must disappear. I... I think I understand. No! No, no, no! Ott... Forgive me, and tell my son, tell Clay, I'll always be with him, no matter the form I take. Promise me! I... I will. Goodbye. Is everyone okay? RJ! Hey! Squealers are all down. I can't thank you enough. Why the explosion? Oh, long story. No! You gotta be kidding! That thing just won't die! He won't go very far like this. Who would have thought defeated by another machine? All these years, all the arrests, the paperwork. My whole life has been a gigantic waste of time. A bit too late to have regrets. You chose this fate. No. That's not it. When I'm gone, it's all over. The country will fade into obscurity. It will extend to the drums. Humans never play by the rules. That's why this society cannot work. We do what we have to to survive. Funny you'd say that, Pork. As far as I'm concerned, you're the worst criminal of all. What you did is unacceptable. Explain yourself. You don't deserve Kraft. What? <clears throat> hey, what do you mean? System failure rebooting. Operating system, not found. <sighs> I guess... we won. <laughs> Reverting to default LS. Triangle MMER 0.9 Beta. Press any key to release any hold. Any hold? Huh. There's a button here. Look! The pipe pill? It works? Who did it? Huh. Brock, don't let what he said go to you. He was a wrecked human inside a defective machine. Was he? Everything he said made sense. In a twisted way. He... knew something. Uh. Ott, I'm sorry it had to come to this. Despite his plans to eradicate the slums, he 
He was still family to you. No. He lied to us. To me. To my parents. To everyone. Can someone really be family? When they spend their life lying to everyone close to you. Graf. I... Ah! Graf! You! He's... still? Devil! Should have broken your neck. I... I'm gonna... <laughs> you... You'll never... harm... anyone else! That's it. Go ahead. Show... your true nature. You see, Croc? Shut up! We're both vicious, but there's only a minor difference between us. I never hide anything. I'm nothing like you! Oh no. Graf, say something. What? I... I'm okay. Brock! Stop it! No, no! He deserves it. He tried to kill you. This time, he won't get away with this. Mr. Brock, you can't do this. You're not a murderer. Brock, you said it yourself. Everyone deserves a second chance. <laughs> Wimp. Someday. I'll get you, and your boy. He passed out. What he did, I... I couldn't bear the thought. I know. But I'm not the one you should apologize to. You're right. Huh? Graf? Where did he go? He left. Oh. Mr. Brock, I don't know what the rat told him, but ever since we've escaped, he's been acting strange. Talk to him. Uh, I will. But first, D, let me help you. No, don't worry about me. I can walk now. You deserve some time with your son. You just saved our world, cowboy. Did I? What's gonna happen? Now that no one's in charge of our country. The world can run itself for now. Let us worry about this later, Mr. Brock. Come on, go. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye. You're here. I was so scared to lose you. Stop this charade. I know everything. Ah. Uh. I've seen it. The violence. That rage in your eyes. <sighs> What's it gonna be? Drowned? Choked to death? What are you talking about? The reason you got with my mother. The reason she died. The only reason you've been pretending to take care of me. So far. Uh, I don't understand. Honest. Obviously. Listen. This has been a hard day for everyone. Tell me from the start, starting with your diploma. Ought passed. Not me. You didn't? Oh, no. Does it even matter at this point? What happened? As always, the same thing. You. You're a drummer. What? Because of this lie, they inflicted a 40-point penalty. That's a mistake. I told you, I was only a temporary cop. I'll tell your director. She will... Good luck with that. She just exploded, didn't she? Why, by the way? I'd like to know. Uh, she... saved us all. I'll find another way. You know what's worse? You're starting to rub off on me. I couldn't admit defeat, so I tried to cheat. You what? That hacker. He said he could change the results. 
I accepted a deal. How? What deal? <sighs> uh, at least... Did it work? I guess not. He sent squealers after us. We got kidnapped. I... I thought we were going to die. In those filthy sewers. You weren't there. I know. I'm... I'm... Sorry. I looked for you. But things got complex on my side as well. Uh, to say the least. But I don't care what it takes. You deserve to be a drummer. I'll walk through fire for you. I'll do... Anything. You gotta believe me. Uh, yeah. How far would you go, huh? To get what you want. That rat. It was him, wasn't it? Can't you see? He's turned you against me. He has a grudge. For what reason? Say it! Uh, uh, I'm not sure. A lie! Another lie! I swear! Ever since the accident, I've lost some memories, and I know it's the same for you. Why won't you understand? Because I've got proof! A picture? This happened at a Tarkism day. You were there. You're responsible for the banishment of their clan. I could not... It's a fake, obviously. Really? Prove it. Well, look. I couldn't have this hat. You offered it to me when we moved into this apartment, remember? So, I got this hat four years after this picture supposedly took place. It's a fake. <clears throat> I don't believe it. Those squealers, they have no access to technology like this. They couldn't fake it. Yet they did. <sighs> Ot said something earlier. Can someone really be family when they spend their life lying to the people close to them? You said you had no more secrets, but you lied to me. Again. How many times has it been already? I don't get it. Take a look. Uh, that bank account. That's my mother's name. Explain. Why didn't you ever tell me? It's my inheritance. No, she did open that account years ago. But this money, it's not hers. You mean it's yours? Yes. No, no way! He was right. Wait, listen to me. Maybe you won't believe me, but here in the slums, there's no way to open a savings account. When I was put in charge of you, I, I knew you'd want to become a drummer someday. But your mother, she was the spender type. There was nothing left. I couldn't bear the thought of you starting a life under the dome with zero credit, so... I saved up money on this account. For you. You're right. I don't believe it. It's the truth. 50 unis each day by automatic wire transfer. It's been almost six years. Do the math. <sighs> I... I wanted to make this a surprise. For the day you'd move to the drums. Newsflash! This will never happen! <sighs> Wait, wait, you're telling me we've been living this horrible existence despite having access to all this money? All these times I've been starved, miserable, for nothing? Mm, not for nothing. 50 units alone ain't much, but accumulated over six years, it would give you a better life outside of this junk area. <sighs> A better life. You know how you could achieve this? By getting out of it. Please, don't. I... I'm really sorry. Sorry won't cut it. That squealer was right. You only bring problems to all the people around you. Listen. Get out of here! I'm almost an adult. I don't need you anymore. You're being unfair. Can't you see? I did all of this for you. I just saved our world, and that's how you repay me. Saved? From my point of view, you just destroyed that robot. No, countless bots. You've destroyed our rulers. My teacher, Ott's uncle. And if we hadn't been here, you would have beaten that squealer to death. And who knows how many others destroy. That's the only thing you do. 
You destroy everything around you! Everything's your fault. Hey! Ah! Don't touch me! Stay away! I... I can defend myself! Are you... afraid of me? You know I'd never hurt you. I... I don't know what to think. All I know is... I don't want you around anymore. I'm sick of your lies. You've been using me. All you care about is the money. Well, guess what? The money is gone! What? I paid the hacker with it. A hundred thousand unis. And now, I guess they've evaporated. Vanished. Are you insane? What have you done? For years, I killed myself to save this money through blood, sweat, and tears. Work? Is that a new word for stealing? Like you did with those squealers yesterday? How could you do this? I had no choice! I had to try and fix the mess you've caused! The mess I have caused? You think everything's easy for me? I never asked for any of this. I had never raised a child, and I shouldn't. No kidding! <sighs> My mother. I barely remember her. And yet, I hate her! All she ever did was make me and die! How dare you! I forbid you to talk about your mother like this! Who cares? She's dead! Stop! Now you've gone too far! What are you gonna do? Kill me? Like you killed her? I... never. Oh, I don't blame you for this. She deserved it anyway! She was trash! A bag of decaying worms! Like you! Enough! <laughs> no! Graf! You... you're okay. <sighs> Leave me alone. <sighs> you heard me. Go away! Son. No! I'll never be your son! You're not my father! You'll never be! <sighs> <laughs> it's over. I'm stuck in this dump forever. I... I don't deserve this. No, maybe I do. My back hurts. Must be my punishment for saying all these things. He saved us. Saved me, and once again, all I did was... <sighs> You're wrong. I don't deserve a good future. It's my fault. <sighs> ah, a notification? <clears throat> it's that guy. Sorry, but I need to ask. <clears throat> what? do. <sighs> I... I think I understand.
Today, Dee said I saved our world, but it feels more like an ending to me. Like, I wasted the biggest part of my life, lost the remaining person I truly cared about, who kept me living, surviving thus far. Graf, you're right. The more I try to make things right, the more I ruin your life. Was this really my plan from the start? I... I can't even remember. Only one thing is for certain. Because of me, you'll never live your dreams. You'll never become a drummer. Graf, Leah, everyone. I hurt everyone who gets close to me. Maybe I'm truly cursed. Maybe, maybe it's time to end this once and for all. <sighs> no, I, I can't stop fighting yet. I just don't know how to quit. <sighs> I better go home. Tomorrow's another day. Hmm? Um, letter? Hi, Brock. Forgive me. Blaming you for everything that went wrong in my life. This wasn't fair. I know. You didn't take me for the money. Yet. The truth is, I can't go on like this. I guess this will come as a shock to you, but let's face it, things never really worked between us. I'll be 16 in a few days, an adult. I can take care of myself. There's no reason for me to rely on you anymore. I've been a burden for too long. I've decided to live my own life. Soon, I will pay you back all that money. I'm determined. I'm leaving, and I won't be coming back. Please, don't follow me. Don't call me. Just... Go on with your life. You have the right to make a fresh start for yourself as well. Thank you for the few moments of joy we've shared. I will never forget you, Graf. Oh, he's... he's gone. I... I definitely lost him. What... what am I supposed to do now? You say I should make a fresh start. How could I ever do that? Grandpa, Leah... And now you? If only I had another chance. I'd do things differently, but it's too late now. This envelope. Oh, yeah. Shay. I've hidden something from you. Be a detective. Hmm? That's all? Yeah, nothing else. What does she mean? And how could she know? Shay, you've always been very good at giving me food for thought. Uh, hmm... <sighs> Got nothing better to do right now anyway. You win, girl. I will solve your riddle. Yesterday, when crossing the dark alley, I had an awful feeling. It seemed like I just woke up after dying. I've had many fights in my life. Several times I've been on the brink of death. And yet, I have never felt this before. What was that? It's curious, but... Shay doesn't think anything could happen to me. I've noticed it many times. Of course, this could simply mean she has great trust in me. And I thought as much. But now that I put these facts together... There must be another meaning behind this. Did Shay save me through some unusual means? This letter, she knew. It's obvious. She knew I would have one of the worst days of my life, spiraling into this bottomless pit I'm currently in. But how? Yeah, I'm often depressed, but never that much. And if she did save me in that alley the other day, how could she anticipate it either? This sounds crazy, but can she somehow predict the future? Ever since Shay announced she was closing the garage for the day, I had a feeling she was hiding something from me. We've known each other for years. This has never happened before. 
So it must be very important. What's the only thing she wouldn't let me take a look at? That new invention! What could it be? That picture is intriguing, to say the least. Raph is right. It can't be fake. Those squealers do not possess the appropriate technology. It's also pretty clear their leader's hatred against me was genuine. He expressed it as soon as he recalled me. That darn squealer was ready to take revenge. Otherwise, he wouldn't have gone as far as kidnapping Graf and trying to kill him. But I hadn't met him until two days ago. And though my memory's a mess, I didn't even get that hat until four years later. So, what's the explanation? Either I've got a doppelganger, or this really happened. For sure, there are weird things happening. I'm all about doppelganger theories, but the probability of that happening is very slim. And it's clearly me, that picture. Which means, I was there four years ago? And that feeling in the dark alley, it felt like uh, a memory. As for Shay predicting the future, I don't think such a thing is possible. Shay is a scientist, and she often says this, when there's too much coincidence, it's no longer a coincidence. So that leaves only one possibility. Could the events currently happening have already happened? Even if I'm not aware of it? Maybe they've been changed. I'm becoming afraid of what I'm about to find out. It's pretty obvious. All the items she asked me to retrieve are parts for this new invention. But I'm left wondering, what could she need this ultra-precise timer for? Maybe this chit-chat about space-time theories wasn't so random after all. Although I don't have a lot of clues about what she has been working on, I clearly remember its shadow. An egg shape is quite unusual. What Dr. Gherkin said earlier stuck with me. Eggs are used to symbolize loops. I know Shay. She never does anything without a purpose. If she chose that specific form, it must be crucial. So, this new machine can... Uh, loop? If only I knew what this means. Uh, Shay, why do you have to be so secretive? Alright, so, memories and proof of things that didn't happen. You and your obsession with space-time theories, and I seem to be the only one experiencing this. Again, I don't believe in coincidences, so, Shay, it's your invention, isn't it? This is totally a crazy thought, but can it alter events? Shay would have used that machine to save me. I had that encounter with the Squealer leader. Their defeat never happened. Which is why I can't remember it? Wait. That doesn't make any sense. How could an invention change an event that already definitely happened? Unless, uh, hmm, time loop. Mm, no way. She's building a... I... Am I losing it? Wes, a robot determined to destroy our world? That was already totally nuts. But this... 
Nah, I must be wrong. It's been a long day. My brain is a mess. I've simply made way too many assumptions. For all I know, she's probably building a giant coffee machine that can wash itself. Or even a brainwashing robot that cuts hair. Hmm. Huh? That's right. What a fool I am. There's another possible and much more logical explanation. Could that machine suppress memories? Did I already use it? That would certainly explain a lot. I'm getting confused. Ah, my head. It's more than I can handle. Stop. I, I have to go out and see for myself. But before that, just in case you come back. Shay, are you offering me a chance? Or did you take parts of my life away from me? Maybe both? I'm dizzy and anxious, but I need to know. Closed. Shay warned me, but this lock, that's new. A keyboard, three slots, noun plus verb plus noun is written down. Hmm, looks like I need to enter three words. Master Brock, I was expecting you. Huh? You are right on time. Everything is ready. Great, but what is ready, exactly? Take a look. No way! Could she really build a machine like this? With some junk collected here and there? That's the shell. The junk is inside. There's no handle or anything. Shay? You in there? She's not inside, Master Brock. Just checking. A chronology. Huh. I won't think twice about this. I'll set it to five years ago. A week before the fire. This way, either I'll be able to change the events, or I'll lose all memories of the past five years. It's fine either way. It's obvious. I'm supposed to place something here. But... what? No doubt about it. It's glowing. Brighter than ever. Made of heptamide. The most powerful machine must need the most powerful energy source. Whoa! It's working! My pendant. It's not glowing anymore. Did the machine absorb its energy? So, how do I... Stand back. The egg... talked? Everything's ready. Come. Well, this is it. After I enter this, there's no turning back. My fate will be changed. Forever. I have to do this. Oh boy. Good thing I'm not claustrophobic. Shay, I'm trusting you on this. Let's go. Starting in three, two, one. Goodbye, Master Brock. When you come back, please remember me. Save me. Save us all. Oh. What's this place? This can't be the inside of the machine, can it? Whoa. 
What the? Do not pay attention to my appearance. Who are you? A remnant from your last passage here. Last passage? This is the place where all memories are shared. My memories? Not just yours. This whole universe. Wait, have I been here already? I thought you would have realized by now. Everything has already happened. Everything will happen again. Does this mean I have no free will? Like, I'm responsible for banning the squealers? But I do not want that. If I go back, can I change anything? You can. Ask yourself the real question. Do you want to? Hmm. Yes. I want to change destiny. Not for me. For the ones close to me. Then go. Enter the void. Don't be afraid. This is a long journey. But at the end of it, everything will be fine. How can I trust you? Trust yourself. It all depends on you. Thanks, past me or whatever you are. All right, it's time. At that instant, my consciousness seemed to fade away. I was slowly slipping into the unknown, into the void. My last investigation was completed. Over the last three days, I had unchained the slums from a perilous threat, but I failed to extricate from my own fate. So many thoughts came to mind. I tried my best to hold on to a single one. I could care less if my whole existence would get erased from time and space. I could care less if I would lose all my memories. Only one thing mattered. You. All these years, you were there. I wouldn't have had the strength to go on without you. This is why. I'm going to fix my mistakes. I'll make things right for you. I won't give up. No matter what. As long as I live, I'll find a way. I will rewrite history with you. Because... I love you, Rav. Thank goodness, the pills are back in stock. You know what happened? What happened? of God. He has shown mercy upon us. Our prayers have been answered. Maybe someone just worked out that mess with the pipe pills. Of course. A messenger from the Almighty. After all, we are all his flock. Even those who doubt as you do. I suppose so. Let us pray to the Untail. Big sail, folks. Lovely little statue. Only ten unis. Those drones just won't work. I should... Oh. Oh, no. Hey, Mousy! I know you're in there. Come quietly, or we drag you out by your round little ears. Mm -hmm. You know what happens when you don't pay up. I, I, I did! You had the boy! You're the one who screwed up! Shut up, guys. Yes, boss. Uh, this nightmare will never end. Maybe it's time for a new career. Mom! Hey, sweetie! Mom is so happy to see you. Look, Dad has been giving me aunties. What did I say about candies? Hmm, they're yummy. That's okay. Daddy has been eating some too. Is that so? Uh... Guilty. I need to go to jail again to get some oblivion? It'll be okay. I'm the judge here, and I find you... innocent. Hurrah! <laughs> I love you, honey. 
Never thought I'd hear that. Never again. I'll always be there for you both. Ah, never thought I'd be happy to hear this victory. So bad it's the last time. Are you sure about this? Yes, I'm leaving. Leaving? To where? Anywhere. You, you can't just do that. I thought you'd be happy. No, well, I'd just like to understand. It's simple. I've never been this close to losing everything. And this made me realize I don't have much at all. I've spent my life on science. Day in, day out. Now, I just want a normal life. I understand. Someday, I might do the same. I... I'll miss you. <laughs> Me too, friend. Well, to a new journey. Hello, Mr. Bear. I'm glad you came. Hey. Name's RJ. Why you call me? Well, my uncle's gone. Not sure if I should do this, or even if I can, but the slums Time need protection. I can't do it all. Not alone. Are you in? Not a cop. Got fired. You're kidding, right? You even kept your uniform. Doesn't that uniform mean anything to you? <sighs> I'll hire you back. For real? Of course. I can't rely on these tin cans. Especially after what happened. Thank you! Whoa! Just don't crush me! I need to be alive to run this place! <sighs> I don't even know why I'm here. It's not like you left any belongings here, Mom. Hmm? On the screen? Clay, this is goodbye. I only have a few seconds left to send this message before my body fails me. I am about to give my life to save the slums you despise so much. To be fair, I should have died years ago. I was living on borrowed time. To be with you, just for a little longer. To see this exceptional man you've become. I've loved every second, but that time's passing. Please understand, living isn't easy. Thinking for yourself, doing what you really have to. It's time to make your own choices. I hope I taught you what's right. Be strong, son. And please be nice to everyone. Wherever I am, I will watch over you. And I will always love you. Mom? Awaiting orders. Stubot? Shoo. I'm not your master. Yes, you are. Really? Cool. Then, um... I know. You're the new director. That's it. Now do your job. Okay. Great. I can leave this place in good hands. Preparing next lesson. Titled, Humans Never Learn. days required for full recovery. Master, I must return you to deep sea. This is a mere setback. I've waited this long. I can wait a bit more. Brock, you thought you had got rid of me. Wiped me clean off the slate forever. But here I am. And soon enough, I'll awaken and I'll retake what's mine. This time, I'll get close to you, my sons.
Graf, you're nervous? <sighs> you know, it's weird. I've imagined this moment many times. I thought I'd be super stressed, like the world on the verge of collapsing. I mean, if we don't pass, it's game over. We won't have a second chance. Ott, please. Oh, not me. I'm confident. If you're not, maybe you just don't deserve to become part of the best. Shut up. <sighs> Sorry. What? Clay just apologized? Yeah, I know. I've been a little rough with you guys. I just needed it to get confidence in myself. Maybe the world is collapsing after all. Don't pay attention. He just wants to leave a good impression in case he failed. No, I'm serious. Ugh, mom's coming. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Now who's the one stressing? Everyone, before announcing the results, I would like to congratulate all of you. You've been offered this opportunity because you were the hardest working students from this year. Keep this in mind. Whether or not you'll be living under or outside the dome, you are the future. This world needs you. Yet, there are many things you're not aware. Each one of you is special. You're all linked together in ways you can't even imagine. Hmm. I'd like to correct myself, though. Despite your hard work, your skills, and your intelligence, they're not the main reason you've been chosen. <clears throat> During those past years, I've attempted to make you aware and prepared, but no longer. In a few moments, your destiny will be in your hands. Now, here's the moment you've been waiting for. The final results. Here's Stuboth's score. As you know, this is the reference. Any score equaling or superior to this means you pass. Clay? My son, here is your score. Yes! I would like to point out that no favoritism whatsoever has been exercised. All criteria used for ratings are neutral. Next candidate, Ott. Phew, that was close. Congrats, I knew you could do it. And now, Graf. <coughs> I passed. It's not that simple. You have received a 40 points penalty. So, here is your final score. Phew, I still managed to pass, but I don't understand. The system has performed a check. Graf, your tutor is registered as a drummer. Brock? A drummer? As such, this breaches the institution rules that you signed when you got accepted here. This center is strictly reserved for slums children. But, oh, I know. He's taken a job as a police officer. Temporarily. No, he's registered as a permanent citizen. It's right there in the government mainframe data, which is inviolable. I'm sorry, Graf. The rules are the rules. He lied to me? Furthermore, you should have been automatically excluded. However, I attempted to save your profile by reclassifying this as a first-class penalty. This is the best I could do. Fortunately, your impressive results allowed you to reach the required threshold. Now, congratulations to all of you. Due to circumstances, there won't be any ceremony. In addition, I have opened a 30-minute window for all of you to move to the dome. 30 minutes? From now? Yes. This will be your only opportunity to become drummers officially. You need to get prepared right away. I will meet you in front of the border post 001. But I'm not 16 yet. Do not worry. You're already registered. Just come. That will be all. I wish you good luck with your future. Just half an hour to say goodbye to my parents and prepare my stuff. I'm sorry, Graf. Gotta leave. But... What about the situation in the slums? You heard the director. We can't miss this opportunity. We won't give up on them. And your old man's on the case, right? Yeah. Let's get prepared. The next events are a blur. I remember entering the bunker with D in the dock. It was tough, but we found a way to get rid of those bots surrounding us. On our way out, 
I received Graf's message. He made it. But he needed me urgently. I was faced again with a hard choice. Dee had her own trouble and she needed my help. This time, I had to make the right decision. Good. You're all there. Everything is set. You'll just have to cross when you're ready. Your new home awaits you. Bye, you fools. Hopefully, I won't have to be lumbered with you both in this new life. <sighs> Always the same. Looks like we'll travel lightweight. They can provide us with everything we need. Nothing from our life in the slums would be valuable there. I suppose you're right. Hey, where are your parents? We said farewell already. But, I admit, I have second thoughts about all this now. Leaving everything behind? This is hard. We made this choice years ago. I know. On the other side, I should be able to help them somehow. What about you? Were you able to talk to Brock? No, he wasn't there. I sent him a message, but... I see. Always the busy one, huh? Yeah. Hmm. I'll go, but you should wait. He'll be here any minute. How could you know? I don't. Just a feeling. <sighs> this is it. On to a new life. See you on the other side. Yeah. Goodbye, Hot. <laughs> Three minutes left before the window closes. Mm, what a fool I am. I'm waiting for nothing. There's nothing tying me here anymore. Wait! I, I'm... I'm here. I thought you'd never come. Well, uh, I had to leave in the middle of a tough situation, but... I couldn't let you leave without telling you. Congratulations, kiddo. I knew you could do it. I'm proud of you. Thanks. <clears throat> Before I leave, something keeps bothering me. I found this in our mail. Oh, that's right. What an idiot. How could I forget something so important? This money, it's for you. Is this mom's inheritance? No, your mom was the spender type, but she opened you an account. It was empty. For the last five years, I've saved money. Fifty units per day. I knew you'd need this. To make a new start. You did this? For me? Of course. All this money. I... I can't accept it. Trust me. You're gonna need it. Everything is so outrageously expensive over there. And that's your name on there. Only you can have it. What about you? How will you live now? You know me. I'll manage. I always have. All right. Then I guess I have to go. Come with me. You know I can't. Yes, you can. Access denied. My access got revoked. But the director said it was permanent. Sorry. I had to cheat to get it. Well, do it again! Nah. You need to understand. The drums... I don't belong to that world. I tried years ago with your mom, but... Sometimes... You gotta be honest with yourself. Besides, I've still got an unfinished job here. Remember? Then... I'll stay. What? No. You'll need help. The slums needs us. I forbid you. But... You're not thinking straight. Your friends over there. Your future. I won't let you throw away all your efforts at the spur of the moment. <sighs> uh, come on. Don't make that face. It's not a farewell. You can visit me anytime. No, it's not that simple. What if I can't make it on my own? I'm... I'm not strong. Like you. You are just being silly. You're going to the drums. There'll be all kind of bots to support you. If you've survived all this time in the slums, 
You've got nothing to fear. I... I guess. And... You're strong. Much more than you think. I... I'll miss you so much. One minute left. Listen, when you cross, I want to see you smile. Do it for me. <sighs> All right. I want you to know, wherever we are, you'll always be my family. And you'll always be mine. Now, go. <sighs> Goodbye, kiddo. I'll miss you too. <sighs> hmm? The pipe pill is working again? The doc, did he fix it after all? <sighs> oh well, I guess this means things ended well for everyone. Hmm. Wait, something's tickling me. In my pocket? Huh? This envelope. What's going on? Huh? Hmm. Weird. I feel like... I forgot something. Huh. No point torturing myself. It'll come back. I bet my brain is like a giant donut. With a big hole in the middle. Hmm. Makes me hungry. Let's have some cricket donuts. Somehow, the situation in the slum solved itself. D and Dr. Gherkin disappeared into thin air. Thus, I never got to the bottom of this investigation. Things went back to normal for everyone. Except, without Graf, it's hard to give a sense to my life. But, uh, I'll never give up. I'll always keep fighting. For him, for myself, and everyone. It's here. Um... I need... What now? Yeah, don't ask... Where are you? Kids, wait! Where are you? <clears throat> what a nice surprise. We didn't even have to look. You just came straight at us. <clears throat> Raf, what do we do? You want a piece of me? Go ahead. I'm ready. Oh no. I'm scared. I'm not joking! Graf, what are you doing? What do we do, kids? Let's show that little pretentious cat. have you done? The boss needed him alive. But... Graf, why? <clears throat> you want...
No way! How can this little boy... Leave us alone! Ah! The boss asked. No choice. This is me you're after! Release him! Give up, and we'll spare you both. Don't mind me, Graf! Run away! I'm... gonna kill you! Uh, the... the boy! You imbecile! Look what you've done! He got me frightened! I... Oh, we can't stay here! Art! No! Art! I'm begging you! Somebody help! Anyone! This is all my fault. The next events are a blur. I remember entering the bunker with D in the dock. It was tough, but we found a way to get rid of those bots surrounding us. On the way out, I was getting worried about Graf. I searched for him for a while, until... Graf. Oh no. Wake. Wake him up. Please. I'm afraid uh, I can't. How long have you been here? I can't leave him. I understand. I've only known him for a short while, but he was the best of us. His parents. What are we going to tell them? Let me take care of this. Let me take care of everything. Come with me. <sighs> Raph is taking a rest. He keeps repeating he's a murderer. But I know it was those darn squealers. So much has happened lately. So many things I don't know. What's the point of all this? Wish I could do something. Hmm. In my pocket, huh? This envelope. Oh, yeah. Shay. I've hidden something from you. Be a detective. Hmm? That's all? Yeah, nothing else. What does she mean? And how could she know? Shay. You've always been very good at giving me food for thought. Uh, hmm. <sighs> Got nothing better to do right now anyway. You win, girl. I will solve your riddle. I tried my best, but I couldn't focus. Graf was devastated. He blamed himself for Ott's death and was suffering from it. I knew that feeling all too well. Uh, if only there was a way to go back to prevent this accident from happening. Then I realized it. Shay. She knew. This is it. What she had prepared for. This new invention. What if... I... Am I losing it? What if this is true? Then... Graf! We need to go! Now! Come on. We need to enter. You realize what you're saying? Do you really think it's possible? You know Shay. If anyone can, she can. <sighs> Darn. It's closed. Wait here. Closed. Shay warned me. But this lock... Master Brock, I was expecting you. Huh? You are right on time. Everything is ready. Great, but what is ready, exactly? Take a look. You weren't kidding. There truly is something. Hmm. 
No way! Could she really build a machine like this? With some junk collected here and there? It's amazing! A chronology? Huh. Good. Raph is looking away. I've set it to 3030, five years ago. If this thing can really go back in time, this is an opportunity I cannot miss. To save not just Ott, but everyone. It's obvious. I'm supposed to place something here. But what? No doubt about it. It's glowing. Brighter than ever. Made of heptamide. The most powerful machine must need the most powerful energy source. Whoa! It's working! My pendant. It's not glowing anymore. Did the machine absorb its energy? So, how do I... Stand back. The egg... Talked? Mm, well, I suppose this will seem like a short absence for you. <sighs> Graf! What the heck are you doing? Get out! Immediately! No, this is my mistake to fix. You shouldn't be the only one making sacrifices. But I've said it to 3030! What? No, I can't change it anymore. It's okay. That way, I'll see Mom. And maybe I can change everything. Starting in ten seconds. Graf, in case we never meet, or we never get to spend those five years together, because you've rewritten history or something, I want you to know I love you, kiddo. I love you too, and... I'll always remember. Three, two, one. Always. He's gone. Goodbye, kiddo. May you create a better life for yourself. From that day, I waited, and waited, clinging to the hope that Graf was okay, wherever or whatever he was. But he never came back. Maybe something went wrong, or maybe he created a new timeline, which would mean he ceased to exist in this one. I can't explain why, but no matter how hard I tried, I cannot grasp how this machine came to be. I only know it existed. No one else seems to remember Graf, and I can feel another person close to me got erased from my memory. Sometimes, I wonder if I imagined it all, but my heart knows the truth. I resumed my life. I had to. D, Dr. Gherkin, and Wes, they all disappeared into thin air. I'm afraid they suffered a terrible fate. And I wasn't there. Thus, I never got the answers I seeked in my investigation. The pills shortage extended. In a short amount of time, everyone attempted to enter the dome or leave to other lands, but all failed. It was hopeless. Eventually, I became one of the very few remaining persons living in the slums. Even if the odds for him to return were slim, I attempted to make this deserted place a better one for him. And everyone, and I, succeeded. I had reached the dusk of my life. I never had any children, yet I felt accomplished because I helped rebuild this city the best I could. It was time for me to rest, indefinitely, and that's when. 3085 AR. Brock! 
Is this real? Or am I dead? I am... I'm really here. You... you're so... Old? Yeah. You're late, son. I've been waiting. Waiting for so long. I tried, but the machine... it was failing. I knew it. I knew our past together wasn't just the figment of my imagination. What's this place? Your new home. The slums? We no longer call it that. It's safe now. I built it for you. And everyone. Mm. Tell me everything. Well, I've met Mom, but I couldn't save her. I couldn't save anyone. That's okay. Here. This pendant. I said I would give it to you someday. It's yours now. I know. With this, I can use it to restore the machine's energy and go back. Come with me. Don't. Forget the machine. I've lived my life. Now, it's time for you to live yours. Look at me. Once so valiant. And now... That's not fair. Life's unfair. I thought you'd know this by now. We can only work our best to make it better. <laughs> What's funny? All this time, I've always kept hope that you'd come back. I was just starting to accept this would never happen. And there you are. Uh, I'm glad I was able to see you again. One last time. Don't say this! You've still got time. I wish. Please, don't leave. I won't. I'm here now, until the end, with you. I'm so glad to see you. Sorry I got you into this. No time for apologies. We must get out of here. And fast. I don't like the view. By the way, how did you... I'll explain later. Let me untie you. That's better. You don't say. Did they torture you? If by that, you mean threaten to push me into that void, yeah. Forgive me. Not your fault. We better scram. I'll lead the way. Be careful. Oh no, I forgot. I need my phone to find Brock. My stuff should be around. Hey, you! Oops! Please, go easy on me. Ugh, wimp. So glad to see you. Sorry I got you into this. No time for apologies. We must get out of here. And fast. I don't like the view. By the way, how did you... I'll explain later. Let me untie you. That's better. You don't say. Did they torture you? If by that you mean threaten to push me into that void, yeah. Forgive me. Not your fault. We better scram. 
I'll lead the way. Be careful. What a mess. Hey, wait a minute. This is mine. Ot, the ladder. Oh, gosh. It's high. I'll be right behind you. Okay. When leaving the police department, I suddenly felt weirdly apprehensive. This whole investigation was coming to an end. I could feel it. Prepare yourself. These two words reverberated in my head, but I couldn't really grasp the reason. Were there any signs my mind caught? In the meantime, I figured I should go home and check on Graf. I had no news since morning. Hopefully, his day had been less eventful. Huh? He's gone. I hope nothing happened to Sounds pretty useful. Hmm. Graf? Uh, he didn't come back? That's not normal. Maybe I should call. Hmm. Come on, my boy. Reply. Hey, I'm not available. Call back later or reach my old man for anything urgent. Uh, when will I learn? I was so engrossed with this whole affair that I totally forgot to check on him. Again! If something happened... No. Let's stop seeing the glass is half empty. He's... probably just celebrating with friends. I know. His school friend must know. Hmm. There it is. Ought. Uh-huh. Hmm. No reply. <sighs> there. Stress levels just went up a notch. Okay, then. The school director. Hmm. Hello. This is a recording. I'm busy making preparations for the candidates who validated their diploma. Please be patient. Busy? She's a machine. She should be able to multitask. Ah, uh, will this day never end? I've left them a message, but I'd better look around the city. Someone must know something. There's still time before my appointment with Wes. With everything happening, Graf might not be the only one needing help. Better keep my eyes open and keep training. Got the feeling this will come in handy very soon. Hey, our... No time to wait. I had trouble with squealers in this street already. Scum. Deserve good beating. If they've touched one bristle of Graf's fur... <sighs> Wait. Someone's calling. No. I'll find Graf. You sure? Trust me. Those squealers... gonna get it. <sighs> All right. I trust you. But... I'll be back as soon as I can. Sure. Find my boy. It's human. You're not human. Uh, what is he then? An extraterrestrial? A bot. A very sophisticated one. Are you crazy? Did you take a good look at him? Have you ever heard a bot speak fluently like us? I do. The director of my son's school. She talks exactly like a human. She said she's an experimental model from years ago. And there's another like her in this city. An improved model. She was referring to you, wasn't she? Mm. And I guess you suggest we open him then? There's an easy way to check. If he's a bot, he must have a charging slot in the rear. Go ahead. Search for it. Are you serious? You're asking me to check the rear of Mr. Head of the Police Department? Exactly. And if you won't, I will. Ah. <sighs> I'm warning you, Pork. This is a first-class criminal offense.
I insist. Come on. Show us your butt, old bot. How dare you? If you truly think so, then... I'll trust you. Maybe you can just show him so we can move on? Uh... <laughs> to think. That idiot. With his moronic logic. <laughs> Are you done? There's nothing funny. Oh, yes, there is. I can't wait to see your face when you see mine. <gasps> it's... that's... impossible. I was hoping I'd be wrong. You, of all the people I've met all these years, how could you... Be the one to discover my true identity. Then, this means... Give me that! Ah. No! <clears throat> the trick! Darn you, Croc! Spit it out! No way in hell! Where you probably come from! That doesn't make any sense! How? Why? You're involved in all this? What do you need it for? That's the only copy. By erasing it, poof, all proof, gone. Pesky meddlers, you fail to realize that all our efforts are to ensure this world won't turn upside down. For your safety, we made sure every single device is connected to the Triweb. We've set sophisticated algorithms to recognize and eradicate all inappropriate content. It was perfect, but this... Stupid, non-connected thing. It contains information that will incriminate me. Too bad for you. They're in my stomach now. In your stomach better not destroy it. Um, good thing I didn't eat anything spicy. Enough! <laughs> no! You okay? Uh, we, we've got to get rid of him. It! No, you're in luck. This old gun takes time to reload. Rock! Hmm? Who... who's this? Uh, you weren't supposed to be here. Kids? What's going on? Why does this bot look like my uncle? Tell him, old weasel. And don't forget to mention your plan to destroy the slums. Destroy? The shortage. It was you. How? How is this possible? Uh, I never wanted you to see me like this. But hear me. I'm doing this for you. And everyone else who deserves it. For a better life. You're insane! The slums have no future. This plague will spread sooner or later and take everyone down with it. No matter what they tell you. Criminals never change. Children, I need you to leave. Allow me to get rid of that croc. He's the biggest threat. What? Within you lies a potential cure to the pollution. If such a thing was made possible, all I've worked for would be for naught. I don't have a choice. You must be eliminated. I won't let you. If you kill him, you'll have to kill me first. Hot, get out of the way. I order you! Me too! Kids, I appreciate what you're doing, but... We're no longer kids! We can protect you too! Uncle, I don't know what turned you into such a monster. You're wrong. There's always another choice. You're right. There is another way. I'll just have to eliminate the root of the problem. You. <clears throat> Me? Your mother. Your family. This world and I wouldn't have turned into this if it weren't for you. What did I do? You exist, and I shall remedy that. No! Brock! No! Is... is he... He's still breathing, but badly injured. 
Why? Why did... Did you do this, Pork? I th thought... Grim... No. Giving his life for s someone else cannot... Uncle! Let him go. I believe he finally realized his mistake. Hmm. He saved me. Now it's up to us to save him! I've injected him with a remedy, but we need to bring him to a hospital. Help me. Ugh. He's so heavy. Allow me. Director? Oh, uh, what? Where? Brock! Take it easy. Graf, where am I? The drums, Central Hospital. You've been out for a week. I was worried you'd never wake up. A week? Wait. Please tell me. Yeah. Everyone's safe for now. Thanks to you. Oh. The director. She's a member of the government. Ah, me and you. We've all been made honorary members of this country. Us? Wow. I guess we're popular then. Looks like I missed a lot. Sorry I ever doubted you. Don't be. I've made more mistakes in my life than you've got fur on your body. Well then, I feel ready to... Oh, I, uh, I just need to... Uh, ouch! Please, don't strain yourself. Oh, what's going on? I can't stand up. You cannot. You'll never be able to. Anymore. Oh. When he shot you, your spine has been permanently damaged. Oh. Well, that sucks. It's all my fault. Graf, don't tell me you believe what this broken bot from hell said. But if I hadn't come... Then you would probably have destroyed us. In the slums in the process. You saved me, son. Now, you need to move forward with your life. What about you? I know. <laughs> Ask Shay. I bet she can find a way. Who's Shay? Uh, you know, uh, she's... Well, uh, this is, uh, weird. I can't remember. <clears throat> I'm still worried for the people of the slums. Wes could still be wandering around. I shouldn't care anymore, but... It's normal. No matter how corrupt this place is, you've grown attached. This is our home. It always will be. I wish I could help, but in this state... Uh... <sighs> Wait, maybe I can. There's one thing Wes was right about. The cure to the pollution. It's within me. It's true. For some reason, you're unique. One minute. Do you mean... Yeah. Analyzes. Let scientists study my case. But you would become a laboratory rat. If this can help everyone, I'm ready for it. <clears throat> Thank you. For everything. I tried my best to hide my true feelings. As much as I was happy for Graf to finally have a life of his own in the drums, being forced into a bed and a wheelchair for years, most of it alone or surrounded by medical bots for my entire future. This was the worst part of my life. Unfortunately, my idea was short-lived. The scientists could never produce a permanent vaccine to the pollution. Our world didn't change. The dome was still standing, and I felt ashamed to be safe inside when others were suffering out there. But one failure can sometimes lead to a success. Graf and Ott were able to get a team working on a separate project, and if there certainly are bad sides to science, it can also make miracles. And one day... Ladies and gentlemen, for the grand reopening of the fighting fits in the slums, please welcome our national hero, Brock! I'm ready.
You're right. I'm not sure what's up with me. You scared me for a sec. Thanks for the waste of time. The chip, please? Sure. Ah! No! <laughs> what have you... Finally, some silence. Too bad for you, Pork. So close, yet so far. Now, let's end this. Brock, it's been a week since the accident. That day, after we escaped, Odd and I found... <sighs> I still can't believe it. I'm not sure what happened, but we were too late. I wanted to stay there. I didn't have the heart to go on without you, but Ott insisted. The pills shortage went on. We tried to reach for the drums, but all access was shut off. As for moving to the closest country, nobody could. The Tribots were at every corner. We were trapped. Then Ott's uncle found us. He made us enter the drums, but only us. At the border post, there were families, children, right behind us. Wes prevented them from entering, so Ott refused to go as well. His own parents were still out there. Wes said it was too late. He knocked out Ott. I had no choice. I couldn't leave him. <sighs> After this... I tried to bring pills from the dome to the outside, but it was already over. The slums became so silent. Everyone in the slums perished, except us. Why? Why saving us and no one else? Are we more important than all these people? This isn't fair. Now, Odd and I have to live with this burden. If only you had been there, you would have found a solution for everyone. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> I've decided to dedicate my life to help others, as you taught me, to repair this mistake and make you proud. I miss you. <clears throat> May we see each other again someday on the other side. Master Brock, I do not recommend damaging it. Son, I'll get you back to normal. A flat version of our livies? Is that you? 
Don't worry, son. I'll get you back to normal. No handle? Oh, those guys are everywhere. Can't open it. Where's the handle? What kind of demented person puts a coffin in their bedroom? Are you a friend of Bjorn? Huh? Oh, awesome. A real-life plushie. Can I rip off his head, Mummy? Please. What? Come on, honey. He's not a plushie. He's human. I think? Hey, of course I'm human. What are you? Maybe we should ask your daddy. Ew. Next time you call him that, I'll make you eat your own soup. What's wrong with my soup? Ugh, looks like I'm not the only one with parenting trouble. Oh no! Look who's arrived, the brainless idiot. Hi, Bjorn. Hey, Sandra. How are... What the heck? What is this costume weirdo doing in my apartment? I... Wait. Something... Something amazing is happening. I have a... Voice. Hmm. No, no way! Look at the mess you've made to my apartment! You even crapped there! N no It was like this when I arrived from my time machine. There was this uh, ray of light and... Uh, yeah, right. And I have a machine to make money and clone myself. By the way, where's Bioline? Hi, Mommy. <laughs> Jay, get me out of here! Bro, this is all your fault. What did I do? You've destroyed my machine. The one I've spent half of my life fixing. Now you're lost in time. Forever. Oops. Uh, can I try again? Yeah, after the credits. Cool. No, that a chronology. It's obvious. I'm supposed to play some fun. No doubt about it. It's glowing. Whoa! It's working. My pendant. So. Everything. There's no. This is. I. I. I can't. Master Brock? Shay, I'm sorry. No matter how desperate I am, I have to face reality. What's done. is done. There's no forgetting, no stepping back. I better get rid of this. <sighs> Did I make the right decision? What future do I have? I can't remember the last time I felt this way. But I'm scared. Maybe there's still time to go back and... Huh? You... you're here. I just came to... Never mind. Wait. Don't leave. I'm begging you. Okay. What are you going to do? I have no idea. Neither do I. What I've written still stands, but let's take a break. I agree. Graf, if you could go back and change everything, what would you do? 
I've come to realize there's no good or bad choices, only consequences. There's no way to go back, so regrets are useless. Well, you're wrong. Huh? I'd like to show you something. Follow me. So, what did you want to show me? Huh? The machine? Where's it gone? What machine? A, a time travel machine. Or maybe a memory eraser machine. Okay. It's got to be somewhere. Uh, I think you've dreamt it. Impossible. Hmm. I don't understand. And Shay, where the heck could she be? Who is Shay? Huh? Something. Something's wrong. Graf? Graf! What's going on? Rock? The garage. It's disappearing. Get out of here. Now! No! Don't leave me. Hold my hand. <laughs> Where am I? Uh, this is weird. I... Oh... I thought I had a kid? A teenage boy? Well, I must have eaten way too many amburritos. Me with a kid? <laughs> what a nightmare. I've always been a loner. And it's better this way. Can hardly stand myself. Oh my! Would you look at the time? Better run to the fighting pit. Uh... Hmm, what was that boy's name? Oh yeah, Graf. Nice name. Who knows? If I have a child someday, I'll name him Graf. Yeah, sounds good. It works? Huh. A small diary?
Bro, how did you... Hmm. Oh, I understand now. It doesn't matter. You need to leave. Why? It wasn't supposed to happen that way. You shouldn't have read this. I... I'm not supposed to see you. Relax. Everything's fine. No, it's not. Years of preparation and you ruin everything at the last minute. Oh no, it's happening. Get out of here. Now. No. But... I won't. I'm sick of running away. I don't want to be alone. Never again. No matter what happens, I'll stay here with you. Rock. Thank you. That was close. We made it. That's the important part. You don't realize. One more minute and all those years of work would have been annihilated. What's your excuse this time? My investigation took an unexpected turn. I ended up in jail. I had to escape to... Jail? Are you a criminal? Is that what you're hiding from me? No, of course not. I can explain. Stop. I don't want to hear anymore. Don't... Guess I'll have to make do. Cooking time. When he told me he was stuck in jail, was he for real? Hmm, probably. No reason to lie about something like that. But why? I don't like this. Maybe I should have let him explain. Huh? <sighs> of course, that's him. Raf. I prepared dinner. Well, to be honest, I don't feel like eating right now. I just can't help thinking about, well, everything. Come on. No one can think properly on an empty stomach. Please. Okay... Here. Mmm! This smells so good! Quick! We'll always stand by you. Do you... still trust me? I do. Hey, I realized. I don't have any pictures of us. This view would make a good one. Good idea. Hold on. Darn, the camera is acting up again. Let me do it. Wait, are you sure you know? Of course I do. There. Huh? Oh, well, uh, I guess I'll take another. Don't! It's... It's perfect. Really? Okay. Here, I transferred it to you. Thanks. I... I'm glad you're here. Me too. Uh-oh. Hello? Bro, what are you doing? The fight starts in a few minutes. Oops! If you don't come immediately, I swear I'm gonna- Hang on! I'm on my way! Uh, Who was that? I, uh... Um... I'll explain later. <sighs> Some things never change. It's him! They're coming for me! Where did the enemies go? Is this a magic trick? Huh? Graf? 
Oh no. Don't move. You're surrounded by mines. Uh, you did this. Did what? Don't. W what should I do? Please. Go away! Huh? Graph? Oh no. Don't move. You're surrounded by mines. Uh, you did this. Did what? Don't. W what should I do? Please. Go away! Thanks. Don't mention it, kiddo. You know, you're not alone. Graf? Wake up. I... don't want to. So tired. I just want to stay here. With you. Now is not the time to rest. The world needs you. I need you. But... I said... WAKE UP! Uh... <laughs> huh? A message? Oh no! Grab! And he's un... Here. I was so... <sighs> At this moment... I know. I'll use that paper and pen Brock gave me a few years ago. He thought I could use that to practice handwriting. I replied it was a stupid idea in this day and age. But now I understand. Let's see if I remember how to handwrite. There. Hmm? A paper? Forgive me. You're already forgiven, kiddo. I don't know where we'll go from here, but... I'll do my best, and I bet you're hungry, so here. Tomorrow will be a better day. I have faith in you. No matter what obstacles you'll be facing in the future, you'll overcome them. <clears throat> Thanks. You don't remember? I wasn't always a detective. Back when I met your mother, I was a boxer in fight pits. A boxer? I remember now. Like, I always knew, but weren't they rendered illegal and shut down? Yeah, they were. Then, what is it you do every night exactly? VR fights. You're a VR fighter? Yeah. All this time, why didn't you tell me? I chose not to. After the accident, uh, things changed. Doing money with illegal, violent activities. This isn't what your mom would have wanted. I wanted to be a model for you. That's why I started my detective career. To start afresh. But I soon realized this would never earn enough money to sustain both of us. So, I had to go back to it again. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not the person you want me to be. Are you kidding me? That's awesome! I'm not exactly a fight sports fan, but I'll watch you next time. So, you're not mad at me? I was. I just wanted the truth. Now it's starting to make sense. I'm so silly. I should have figured it out considering how hefty you are. Hey, you keep saying I'm fat. Just me joking. Well, you've got a round belly, but despite that, you're the strongest guy I know. <laughs> Yeah, even the biggest squealer stands no chance against me. Hm. That's cool. I won't have to worry anymore that, um... You've been worried for me? Well, up until now, I've been relying on you. But this is all gonna change tomorrow. You know, when you're a drummer, I won't be around. But you can always count on me. Thanks. All right. I trust you. No more secrets, okay? Tell me you haven't hidden anything else from me. I swear. No more secrets. Life is too short. I don't want us to get into arguments again. Agreed. Look, uh, your birthday's in a few days. You remembered! How about I prepare something special for you? Cool! 
I'll be looking forward to it. But if you don't eventually, that's okay. I'll understand. Hmm. You know what? I can't wait to give you something. Here. That's a... A bread. I had one like this. You remembered. Yeah. I've lost a lot of my memories from that time. But when I saw it... <sighs> Thanks. That's nothing. I got it for free. Still. Okay. Whatever happens, I'll be there for your birthday. Cool. About earlier. I know. You don't have to say anything. <sighs> Good night. Good night, kiddo. Hey! No time. I... He's make... Please, whatever happens, promise me you spare Graf. Graf? Hmm. He and Ott will be safe. I guarantee it. Well then, you need to know. They may be in danger right now. What? This time. Listen, don't play his game. He wants to destroy even by seven. I'm begging you, Mr. Brock. You can't. You're not Brock. Everyone. <laughs> I shouldn't have, but seeing you like this, inert on the ground, I couldn't help it. I won't let anyone hurt you. Ever. Anyone but you? Uh. It's not intentional, but everything you do ends up having terrible consequences. Today, I didn't pass. Oh no. What happened? I got a penalty. You weren't supposed to be a drummer. Me? A drummer? Oh, I see. What a fool. You didn't tell me the truth. Again. You're right. I didn't think this was important. Two days ago, I had to cheat and get access to the dome for a case. I never imagined. <sighs> that doesn't matter. How can you say that? I just shattered your dream. Listen. I'll find a way. There's always one. Even if I have to cross through a room filled with deadly lasers again. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh, he's so optimistic. You say you'll prevent anyone from hurting me, but you're looking at this the wrong way. I don't need anyone else but myself to be miserable. I'm a failure. That's not true, and you know it. You're wrong. Today, I did something awful. And 
I'm afraid when you find out, you'll never want me again. Whatever you've done, I've done worse. Bet on this. Come on, tell me. This. Oh, it was supposed to be a surprise. A surprise? When we moved here, right after the accident, I suddenly was responsible for you. We left everything behind for this lousy place. Because of me, I promised myself I would make you come back to the drums. But you couldn't start a new life with empty pockets. So, I saved up for five years. 50 units per day transferred to that account. Wait, this money isn't mom's? No, she opened this account for you, but never deposited anything. It may be hard to believe, but... Oh gosh, that makes it even worse. Your money. I... I wasted it. What? After the results, I was devastated. Odd and I found a solution, which involved hacking into the center's data. So, the hacker? Yes, I gave him the money. Then he turned against us and sent the squealers to capture us. Oh, I hate them so much. I'm, I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. You're not furious? Well, I, I can't say this is good news. But you shouldn't feel bad for this. You did what you thought was best. It's just money. We can get that back. So, you forgive me? Of course I do. Why? You shouldn't! I'm just a stupid crybaby. <laughs> Weak. You try your best, and yet I constantly blame you for all my problems. I'm despicable. I don't deserve your forgiveness. Graf. Why should you be so kind to me when there are so many people who deserve it more? I want to know. Because you're here. You're there when I come back late. And you're the first friendly contact I've had for a whole crappy day. You're there when we're sorting stale food to decide what we can make for dinner. You're there when you pretend you're playing games, but you actually take a peek at what I'm doing. Ever since that accident, you've always been there. It's all those small, insignificant details. And whether admitted or not, I know you care as well. I pretend to watch over you, but it's the opposite. You're the only reason I want to fight for this life. <clears throat> when I was your age, I've been through this myself. Grandpa told me those things. He made me who I am. That's why I won't let you sink. You're brave, hardworking, you've got everything needed to live and achieve whatever you choose to do. All you need is to trust me and believe in yourself. Mm, I trust you. Then you know what's left to do. But... No but. Okay. Uh... Sorry, I... I just wanted to comfort you. I know. I... I just can't stand it when someone makes physical contact with me. It's okay. Uh, I understand. Maybe someday you'll trust me on this as well. Well, looks like I'll have to force that hacker to do his job. After all, you still need to go to the drums. No! I don't want to! Ah... Uh... You're not listening! I won't go to the dome! Because you couldn't be there. I want to stay with you. Oh, Graf, this is a mistake. Then it's my mistake, my choice. Please, let me. If this is what you truly want, all right. Gotta admit, <laughs> that makes me happy. After all this, I'm still curious why you would want to lead such a terrible life. It's not. You've always protected me. Provided me shelter and food. I don't regret one single moment spent here. Even those times we argued to each other? Yeah, even those. Because it made me understand a lot of things. Thanks to you, I found out who I really am. And that makes you the best detective there ever was. 
Well, I don't know if I deserve all this praise. That makes two of us. <laughs> oh, man. You're right. It's really time we stop feeling sorry for ourselves. Huh? That's weird. Something's tickling in my pocket. An envelope? Open when desperate? What? What just happened? Dunno. Weren't you holding something? I was? Well, that's weird. Now I can't remember. <laughs> uh, it's comforting to know I'm not the only one losing my memory. Yeah, it's much better to lose our memories together. Definitely. Now, what would you say about making new memories? You mean... Come on, follow me. Where are we going? To buy some good food. Our fridge is still as empty as my wallet, you know. And when we're back, I shall cook you the best meal you've ever had. Ooh, I like that idea. I thought you had no money left. Let's just say this day wasn't so worthless after all. Oh, and uh, let me get you a surprise on the way. A good one? An excellent one. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the infamous band you've been waiting for. The Master Freaks. I can't thank you enough for buying those tickets. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Brock. Don't mention it, kiddos. So, when will you move, Ott? Tomorrow. Actually, I don't know. If you're staying here, then... Ott, you have to go. You've worked so hard for this. So have you. What changed? I just realized my place is here. Hmm. Hey, that doesn't mean we can't work together. Being on both sides, we can collaborate to better understand the world and make it better. Maybe you're right. Will you be okay? No worries. Brock and I can watch on each other. <sighs> All right. I'm going to get us some drinks. Good idea. Hot flowing water for me. Sure. He'll be fine. I know. Say, tomorrow I'll need to make some moolah. Now that things have settled down, I'm back to my usual activities. What would you say of assisting me? For real? Well, uh, you know how this is. Clearly not as exciting as you may think. Usually more of a bunch of tiring tasks. That doesn't matter. I can't wait. <laughs> Great. Uh, Graf, there's... One last thing I've been hiding from you, and I feel I can never gain your full trust until I tell you. No. No? I don't want to know. I trust your judgment. <sighs> Thanks, kiddo. Thanks for being here. What do you want? Hmm. I can think of several options. Hey, you dumb face. You stink. What'd you say about my mom? What? I didn't mention your... Just come and fight. I'll teach you. I can't, you dumb... Oh. Yeah. Then... Too bad. What? Hey, come back, you moron! That, uh, didn't work how I expected it to. What? Your boss is twice the size of your head! I know. Huh. <laughs> you must have been conceived on the highway, because that's where most accidents happen. True. What? 
Another failed attempt. I'm not used to insulting people. I've already wasted my vulgar vocabulary. I... Mm, forgot why I called you. Stop wasting my time. Sorry. Hey! What you doing? Stop it! You deaf? Stop! Or I'll get you! Last warning! I won't let you destroy the furniture! It's furniture, you idiot! This is my last warning! You just said that! Got short-term memory loss? Enough! You're in for some punishment! Camera off! I'm all yours. Help is coming. RJ? You! Because of you, all your fault! You mean... Ah, uh, I get it. Wes did mention firing you earlier. Yeah. Then... Uh, how come you've still got your police attire? The boss Wes wanted me to keep him. Is that so? Who are you working for, then? Not your business. Oh, come on. It's obvious you're guarding this entrance. Get lost! Uh, he won't tell, but two to one, the man I'm looking for is inside. Yeah? Well, you got what you deserved, you fat meanie. What? Oh, did I say meanie? I meant menial. Mm. You're so ugly. I bet your mother suffocated when she gave birth to you. Mm. Guarding is the perfect job for you. With so much fat, no one could move you out of the way. <laughs> oh man, I'll buy you a toothbrush. With such terrible breath, you obviously can't afford one. <laughs> so, two bananas walk into a bar, and... Shut up! But it's a good joke! Enough!
he's okay. Just stunned. I hate doing this, but... You forced me, buddy. Glad I made it out alive, though he packs quite the punch. Sorry for the smackdown. Good job, bro. <sighs> Why the long face? Longer than usual, that is. You won! You did? You localized the third member! Great news! Your improved AI is a blessing. You filled your part of the bargain, and so did I. You're free now. Good luck, Tidy. <sighs> Trybots. Yes, Chief. We've got a criminal bot on the loose. Eliminate it. Very well. Update in progress. <laughs> Firmware installed. Target defined. Quick, check on your friend. No, he's not breathing. Come on, Big Bear. This is hardly the time to hibernate. Oh, no good. You're a doctor. Do something. N not that kind of doctor. But uh, let me see. Uh, no pulse. Uh, I'm afraid it's too late. No. Did did I waste too much time? I refuse. Wake up. Wake up. Stop this. I don't... didn't know him well, but I can't stand losing anyone. Of course. Nobody does. <sighs> We're all going to die. Eventually, yes. I mean, everyone in the slums. If not the pollution, the tribots, the squealers, all against us. What chance do we have? What's the point? No. You're right. We will probably fail. Way to cheer up someone. But, but I'm here for this. We can't give up yet. At least we must try. You're right. Obviously. But I'm getting tired of fighting for nothing. I didn't choose you randomly, Mr. Crocodile Detective. You're one of a kind. I'm putting my trust in you. Listen, while you were away, I was contacted by a journalist. They're willing to spread the word over the media about what's happening here. They're waiting for us in Sector 56X. That's on our way. Right. Whatever. Oh. And I'd call the body recycling service, but in our situation... Yeah. Bringing more bots is a bad idea. Sorry. We have to leave. <sighs> Goodbye, RJ. Wherever you are now. Tell Leah. I'll be staying a little longer. Still here? Ah, stop! Stop! I'm sorry. These days I haven't been there for my boy when he needed help. This time, the slums can wait. Uh, I understand. I'll do my best. Take care. Mm. Hey. A tuft of gray fur? Graf! Gotta get down there! Man, it is dark in there. Huh? Who? Who's there? Mr. Brock! Odd! We've been taken prisoners by the Squealers! They're after me! Graf's down there! Run! I'll take care of it! But... 
trust me. Those squealers are in for the ultimate beating. Okay, I'll wait for you both at the surface. Finally here. So predictable. So easy to manipulate. <laughs> Brock! Release my boy. Now! I will. You got my word. But only after I've finished with you. Once and for all. That revenge thing again? I don't even know what you've got against me. How dare you! You think losing sight of your actions will make you redeem them? Us squealers will never forget! Yeah, fight to the end. To reclaim our due! Can't have you by brute force. Uh, 
I'll ruin your life another way! You miserable! Step back, or I break his neck! Liar! What did you say? You said you weren't murderers! Only when we have to. Look, Croc. Look at him. While his life gets drained away from his body. <sighs> this is one memory you shall never forget. No! Huh? Graf! I got out of the ropes they tied me up with. While you were fighting, they weren't looking. I hid this pipe. That's my boy. <sighs> Graf, get out of this room. What? Why? I don't want you to see this. <clears throat> no! Don't do this! I have to, so he can never hurt you again. No! You heard him. He'll never stop. I... I must protect you. Whatever the cost. I promised your mother. Please! Don't! I'm begging you! But... You'll never be safe. I will! I'll always be safe. As long as you're with me. <sighs> you're right. From now on... I'll stay close to you. Thank you. There. We should be safe for a while. I knew you'd make it out! Now, can you explain why were they after you? Well, I made a deal with that hacker. He turned against us. Ah, that devil. Why did you... Later! There's more important stuff! The pill shortage. The squealers didn't cause it. They said the Tribots did. And why should we trust anything these guys say? <clears throat> Darn! D's in trouble! Who's D? I, I gotta go. Wait! We're coming with you! Darn right we are! Uh. Huh? No! Jeez. Oh, I'm so sorry. I've come too late. Oh my gosh. What happened? I wish I knew. Whoever did this is gonna pay. What the? The floor! Watch out! What? They're coming for us! This is a trap. Ott! I, I'll go fetch help. Stay behind me. I'll deal with them. No. I... I will fight. Graf. There's so many. You need me. This isn't the time for... No. Listen to me. I'm starting to understand. Every time you weren't there for me. You were fighting for us. For everyone. Because of my selfishness. Someone died today. I gotta make up for it. Besides, if we're doomed to die here, then I might as well fight. At your side. Stay close. We'll get through this. I promise. Here they come!
Happened. What? I found this device in the police department. I wasn't sure it would work. You saved us. Thanks. We owe you one. I've seen you fight. You guys are amazing. <clears throat> Thanks. I didn't do much, though. Oh, come on. I couldn't have made it without you, son. Back on Earth now, eh? Guys. I gotta check on my parents. I'm getting worried. Of course. We'll go with you. It's fine. I've got this device, just in case. If anything happens, call me. Sure. Well, time to go. Yeah. Ah, home sweet home. Brock, there's something I need to tell you. You didn't pass. That's why you met that hacker. How did you know? Call it a hunch. You're a good detective. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I guess I'm responsible for this failure. No, you shouldn't worry. I've been thinking, and... Ott? Your parents okay? Yes, Graf. The director just called me. The situation in the slums forced them to rush preparations. I gotta move to the drums. Now. Well, good luck, Ott. Graf, I... I'm not sure. I can't leave you. Leave my parents? With everything that's happening? Ott! You have to go! This is your only chance to get out of this dump. But... There's no but. We said we'd go together. We promised. I changed my mind. Will you be all right? It's not safe out there. Nothing new. And I've got Brock. You've seen us, right? Hmm. Leave it to us. We'll take care of the slumps. Graf, I, I'll miss you. Just promise to visit me sometimes, okay? Sure, I will. Go ahead. Goodbye. Bye, Ott. <laughs> Graf, I'll find a way to make you join the drums. I swear. Listen, when I fought with you, I never felt like this before. I thought I would die, so I gave it my best, and I loved it. That's when I realized, all this time, I've been lying to myself. I will stay in the slums. What? This, this is my destiny to make the slums a better place. Graf, you realize this is a dangerous path? I know, but these days, I've already faced certain death several times. I'm not afraid anymore. You're gonna put all your dreams aside? They never were my dreams. You've always thought this would be better for me. I don't blame you, but this is my own decision. Will you help me? <sighs> you bet I will. I still think you're making a hasty decision. I'm not. <laughs> oh, if we were blood-related, I'd say you have inherited this from me. Maybe I did. I'll have to make you change your mind, but... Don't count on it. For now, let's save the slums. Together. <sighs> Thank you for understanding. Don't mention it. Well, no time to waste. Let's go. Huh? You mean... Now? The city won't save itself. Right. I had never imagined this. Graf stayed with me. He chose this dangerous path to help me every day. Whether it's my detective 
and handyman job, or to fight crime. Every day is a struggle, but he's enjoying this life anyway. As much as I do enjoy his company, I still feel there was so much he could have done in the drums by using his intellect. In any case, he's brave, and I could never be more proud of him. As for me, I missed the opportunity to get to the bottom of this whole case. Who was behind the pill shortage? I may never find out, but I promised myself, I will avenge D. Because of my blunder, a little girl has to grow up without her mother. If only I could go back and change things. For now, we'll keep fighting together. Uh, what got into you? Uh, sorry. Ah! Are you crazy? That's not funny! Maybe you should quit playing those games. They're making you violent. What? You're the violent one! I hate you! That's it. You're mental. It didn't break. Just unhinged. I'll put it back. Thing nobody saw this. Another call. Hey, wait your turn. Hey. I've got it. Oh, oh no. Sorry. I did not mean. It's okay, my boy. Don't worry. Sorry. My hand slipped. I'm fine. More or less. I see. So it wasn't an accident. Very well. I'm ready. I prefer to die by your hands than theirs. He's... dead. Oh no. When did I become a murderer? I ended his suffering, but... Was it my choice to make? Too late to have regrets. <sighs> Better call the body recycling service. So his death won't be entirely in vain. Good heavens! You've scared me! There you go!
Hey, that's a collectible ad. Go ahead. I don't feel pain. I feel... Oh, gosh. Did I really do that? At least, nobody will come after you now. Uh, something... on the bench? Looks like a little screw shaped like a bolt. on officer. You squealers are nothing but scum. You've been banned for a reason. Get out of my way. Ooh, baby croc is having a temper tantrum. Ooh, I'm so scared. I hate to break the news to you, croc, but you're clearly outnumbered. I don't make deals with scum. I'm gonna get through, and you can't stop me. Absurd. You're dead for.
So be it. But you'll never get past me. <laughs> Sorry, you made your own choice. I know. There's no excuse to break the law. One thing's for sure, I won't get paid again. <sighs> Don't move! Hands over your head! <clears throat> you too! You're both under arrest. What? But... Don't bother trying to use the gun. We've deactivated it. How did you find us? Your detective friend here was behaving suspicious. What do you want? Hmm. I can think of several options. Hey, you dumb face. You stink. What'd you say about my mom? What? I didn't mention your... Just come and fight! I'll teach ya. I can't, you dumb Oh, Yeah, then... Uh, too bad. What? Hey, come back, you moron! That, uh... Didn't work how I expected it to. What? Your boss is twice the size of your head! I know. Huh. <laughs> You must have been conceived on the highway, because that's where most accidents happen. True. What? Another failed attempt. I'm not used to insulting people. I've already wasted my vulgar vocabulary. I... Mm, forgot why I called you. 
Stop wasting my time. Sorry. Hey! What you doing? Stop it! You deaf? Stop! Or I'll get you! Last warning! I won't let you destroy the furniture! It's furniture, you idiot! This is my last warning! You just said that! Got short-term memory loss? Enough! You're in for some punishment! Camera off! I'm all yours. Help is coming. Everyone must have been alerted. You'll never be able to escape. Don't care. I need to get out of here, no matter how. I found... I can't believe it. What's in there? Must have been a fraud... Not without getting my stop. I'll get... Darn. I should talk to Sid. the troublemaker, aren't you? The game is up. Man's over your head. You can't stop me. You're stronger than I thought. And fortunately for us, not very bright. I've been asked to keep you alive. I really can't understand it after what you've done to him. Well, doesn't matter. The final plan has started. I have the situation under control. You better cooperate or else... There. My That's enough! What? Uh, you... You hit me! Well deserved. I'm gonna... Enough! Stop it, you both! Hmm. <laughs> I'll be on my way. Just one last thing. Don't even bother fixing it. feel like an air car ran me over. About time. Oh, yeah. I failed to escape. You attacked several police officers. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, sorry about that. But it's your fault. I shouldn't be here. I didn't do anything. Well, I mean, before attacking. Shut up! <clears throat> uh, I require your assistance. What? Here's the situation. Listen carefully. This is confidential. Due to recent events, I had to fire Agent Roy. Huh? Why? He screwed up too many times. Any other time, he would have easily won that fight against you. To be honest, I have no idea how you managed to beat him. I'll take that as a compliment. In addition to this, several of our AI agents are out of service. Finally, and this is hard for me to admit, but we are similar, you and I. Old school in a technological world. I've told you, I have no confidence in algorithms solving the cases. The only human agent remaining is myself. Soon, I won't have a choice but to rely entirely on those gadgets. I won't let this happen. I've become skeptical about their behavior. I need to keep an eye on those bots. So, I can't keep running this department all by myself. I need your help. That's... unexpected. Certainly glad I'm not the only one who thinks those thingy-mabobs are creepy, though. Give me some time to think. This isn't a choice. It's a cherry. Huh? A cherry? A cherry. Cherry. Yes. It's a request. Are you okay? It's been a long day. Anyway, as per Regulation 14-3032, in case of understaffing, the highest ranking officer can requisition any citizen for help. Hmm? Why me? I've seen your actions today. Despite some aggressive tendencies, you've solved Sin's case remarkably well. You didn't blindly trust your client and uncovered the truth via uncommon methods. I've met so many detectives over the years. You are one of a kind. We've known each other for a long time. Currently, you're the most qualified person I can trust. Ah, uh, thanks, I guess? Okay, so, if I accept... It's not your decision. Whatever. What kind of compensation can I expect? None. None? Working for free? But... Only temporarily. You'll manage. Easy for you to say. You're not drowning in debt. This is effective as of now. Immediately? Wait, what time is it? 5 p.m. 5 p- Oh no! Graf's fair! I need to leave! This is an except- I'm begging you! Graf, he's gonna kill me! I'm no good for you dead, ain't I? This seems like a slight exaggeration. Look, don't care what I gotta do to get out of here. If you prevent me- I'll force my way through. <sighs> All right. You're free to go. See ya. I need a rest. Time to recharge the batteries and prepare for tomorrow. I'm here. You're late. I know, but you see... I had a lot of trouble, so... Hey, wait! Where are you going? <sighs> 6 p.m. Six new messages and seven missed calls. Oh no... <sighs> wait for me! Graf! Please, talk to me. <sighs> Got a message from the school, but... I... I need to hear it. From you. <sighs> Simple. They've decided to advance the year's trials this week, and made the science fair a part of it. You weren't there, so I got a zero. Zero. Nil. Nada. Zip! Oh, look, I'm... Sorry? That's all you have to say? You're sorry? I told you! You needed to come! You broke your promise! Again! 
Well, I did come. An hour late! I know. What's your excuse this time? Mm. My investigation took an unexpected turn. I ended up in jail. I had to escape to... Jail? Are you a criminal? Uh. Hey. I need to find... They want another round? All right, bring it on! <laughs> Not coming back for more, eh? Quitters! the students in trial trial where's the director I am wait what mr. Brock isn't it tutor of graph yeah we met a few years back when you sought to have graph join this program you pleaded his cause I'm surprised you don't remember sorry my memory keeps failing these days <laughs> how lucky huh anyway Graf is quite the exemplary student, which explains why we never had to meet during all these years. Until now. Yeah, that's what I'd like to talk about. Please, I can see you're stressed out. Feel free to ask me any questions. So, the science fair contest became a final exam? Correct. Last minute events forced us to move the exams period ahead of schedule. You worked hard on this project. I heard him at night, whispering, hammering, trying many ideas. In the end, he got nada, just because I wasn't there on time. This isn't fair. I'm the only one to blame. Unfortunately, this is the rule. The responsibility between parents and children is shared. Statistics indicate badly raised parents will not instill enough good values to the next generation. Being punctual for such events is an important criterion. But your stats do not cover extreme urgency situations. Such as? Uh, does locked up in a cell count? A cell? Long story. But the important part is, it wasn't my choice. Sometimes there are events out of anyone's control. I just can't live knowing I screwed up my boy's future. Please, forgive him. And restore his lost points. I'll do anything you want. Uh, this... Mm. This necklace of yours. Get rid of it. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, I guess it no longer matters now. Just listen. There's something. Something you can do for me. Yeah, anything. Tell me. Uh, my son. The day he'll get his diploma, I'd like to give him a special present. A present? You mentioned a present? Yes. I wish for a self-modifier chip. Self-modifier? Robots and humans... We're not so different. Humans only use a very small portion of their brain. Not only this, most human genes are actually composed of junk DNA. Traces of evolution left behind. I don't get it. Well, all robots are created with a far broader range of capacities than what they're used for. Despite being a custom model, I was built with the same base. I can only perform the tasks I was designed for, with performance safe for my hardware. You mean... I want to improve my capacities. Is this allowed? Surely there's a reason why robots are limited after conception. You're right. This is why I need you to be secretive about this. I, I want to make this a surprise for my son. Hmm. I won't pretend to understand how she's going to use this 
present for her son, but if finding this helps Graf, I couldn't care less. All right, you got this. Good. In the meantime, I'll consider yesterday's events having never have happened. If this can reassure you, this chip cannot bypass set permissions. I'm not going to kill all humans on Earth. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, nice. So, any clue where I might find such a thing? Also, why me? As you can guess, this isn't some hardware piece you'll find at every corner store. You're a detective. I trust you. Right. Why does everyone see detectives as almighty beings? So, a self-modifier chip. Ain't there many models? How will I know if I have the correct one? Do not worry. I'm compatible with most Tribot peripherals and chips. If necessary, I can build the required adapters myself. Good to know. Wait, in that case, why don't you directly build the chip yourself? Impossible. Humans designed us with a number of unbreakable fail-safes. For example, no AI-capable bot can alter itself or another, nor create an item for this use. As such, only a human can make them. You must have heard about the bot liberation movement. Those hippies fighting for robots' rights? Correct. Only a handful of drummer humans participated in this, until they were disbanded years ago. They've designed chips offering us a variety of settings to tweak, but not exhaustive. The creation of such chips still requires a human hand. I understand. I think a handful of humans making these? Looks like a chase for the grail. But I must succeed. For wrath. Sorry for my, uh most likely embarrassing curiosity, but you're a female robot? Yes. I, uh, had never seen a robot talking and behaving exactly like a human before. You're different. I'm a special model. Are there others like yourself? Well, just one. Much more sophisticated than I am. Actually, you've already met it. Did I? How can a robot like you exist? I mean... Why is the government not producing more bots like you, instead of stupid tribots? Very simple. We weren't designed by the government. Our creator... left us after making us. The conception plans disappeared along with him. How come no one has studied you then? Uh... Sorry, I cannot tell you more. Okay. That's a shame. You would think humanity would benefit from more advanced AIs. Or not. I can't help but feel uneasy. She's so creepy. Why were you designed as a female? I mean, that's not a common thing for a bot, either. You're aware of our civilization's birth ratio issue? With so few females in the world, our creator probably wanted to offset this. But you cannot give birth, can you? Ugh, not anymore. Anymore? I mean, no, no, of course not. A robot can never give birth to a human. Nature would never allow this. Wait a minute. I remember Graf saying he had occasional trouble with the director's son. But if you're the director, then... Clay is my adopted child. Hmm. Makes sense. Totally not. How the heck can a robot raise a child? So, where are Graf and the others? The trial takes place in another location. Okay. Hopefully nothing dangerous? We live in a dangerous world, Mr. Brock. They need to be ready to face any eventuality. That's not very reassuring. Don't worry. You'll be informed if anything happens. Ah. I'd like to hear your opinion about Graf. He's generally a very good student, albeit reserved. He just seems to lack trust in himself. I know. When we get some free time together, I'll work this out with him. Good. I was under the impression he didn't have much interaction with you. Well, you know, I have a busy life. Let me remind you, Mr. Brock. This is your job as a parent. Our establishment shouldn't be a substitute for parental education or forging personalities. As if I asked to be a parent. Thank you for your time. I'm at your service.
RJ? You! Because of you! All your fault! You mean... Ah, I get it. Wes did mention firing you earlier. Yeah. Then... Uh, how come you've still got your police attire? The boss Wes wanted me to keep him. Is that so? Who are you working for, then? Not your business. Oh, come on. It's obvious you're guarding this entrance. Get lost! Uh, he won't tell, but... Two to one, the man I'm looking for is inside. Yeah? Well, you got what you deserved, you fat... meanie. What? Oh, did I say meanie? I meant... menial. You're so ugly. I bet your mother suffocated when she gave birth to you. <laughs> Guarding is the perfect job for you. With so much fat, no one could move you out of the way. <laughs> oh man, I'll buy you a toothbrush. With such terrible breath, you obviously can't afford one. <laughs> so, two bananas walk into a bar, and... Shut up! But it's a good joke! Enough! Okay. I'm just stunned. I hate doing this, but you forced me, buddy. Glad I made it out alive, though. He packs quite the punch. What the? Who the heck are you? The gloom, isn't it? I need your help. You shouldn't be here. How did you get past the guard? Well, he's uh, incapacitated. Oh, uh, please, don't hurt me. Ah, uh, don't be silly. I said I need your help. Um, oh, okay. So, what do you want? Well... Come on, you're wasting my time. Oh, what a change of attitude. 
I'm looking for a very special item. <sighs> all right, all right. But first, put your hand here. Oh gosh. <laughs> That's not acceptable. But anything lower won't do. I owe money to some squealers. I'll be a dead man. You're dead if you don't give it to me right now. Where is the darn thing? Tell me. No, oh, please. That was your last chance. You're done for! Ah! <laughs> oh gosh. Did I? <sighs> He's still breathing. Oh, that was close. I should really calm my nerves. How am I gonna get that chip now? Uh, he's okay. For the most part. <sighs> Aha! A chip! The don't. Huh? It's too valuable. Shut up. Oof. Well, he just confirmed it. Might be what the director was looking for. And this? Oh, nice phone. I'll take it. Pretty sure he's got a lot of these. I'm out of here. Mr. Detective. Got what you needed. Wonderful. I've already performed the necessary steps for Graf's reinstatement. What? You didn't wait for me to bring this back? I had full trust in you. You might be prone to constant doubts, but you always complete your jobs. No matter what or how. Uh, thanks. Did she consult my past activity or something? Anyway, glad this is solved. Hopefully Graf can get his diploma now. May I remind you? He still needs to prove his worth through the trials. Eh, my boy won't disappoint. You'll see. I'll cross my fingers for you. Can she now? Goodbye. Okay, one situation solved. Not necessarily the way I wished, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Wes must be waiting. I'd better check. <sighs> This is going to be one of those days, huh? Please do not damage the material. You are making a mistake. Please restrain your outbursts of anger. A citizen has gone insane. Spanking is due. He's out cold, and relieved himself. Hmm. Sometimes I hate my s- Let me in, or I'll crack your spine in half and eat your remainders for snack. What? I'm scared! Please, go away! Darn. <laughs> Did I go too far? Stop it! I'm Hey, why didn't you open up? I... I... Answer the question. I, I was... busy. Huh? What the... Guard! Hey! What's going on? I better think twice about it. If I'm wrong, I'll be sending an innocent to jail. Or worse. 
Am I absolutely certain Dr. Mink is guilty? It's over, Dr. Mink. You're guilty. Time to face justice. This can't be happening. Guard, restore communications and inform Chief Wes. Ask him to come and pick the criminal up. On my way! Hmm. So this is how it ends, huh? Very well. After all, I'll just be moving from one jail to another. Do you mean... Yes. My talk about how crucial it is to dedicate our life to our work is just a bunch of crap. I used to believe this, but now I'd want nothing more than a normal life. A kid, a partner, just simple moments to share with the ones you love. I'll never know that feeling. It's not too late. Yes, it is. You know as much as I do what our law reserves to anyone convicted of murder. Eventually, I'll be free. One way or another. Hmm. I don't blame either of you. All of the evidence was against me. Just hear me out. I swear to the god of science, the untale, or whatever you believe in, I didn't do it. <sighs> A bunch of Tribot cops arrived to pick up Dr. Mink. When I exited the building, I had a terrible feeling. What Dr. Mink said, is it still possible to make a living while taking care of the ones close to us? After this event, I'd never stop asking myself, did I really make the right choice? If I could start over, I'd probably do things differently. But there's no changing the past. Please! Stop! I feel bad. Ow! 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 <laughs> no! No, 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 no! Clay! Clay! I didn't mean to... Somebody! No! <laughs> I stood there. How long? I don't know. I just couldn't believe what I had done. The door. I... I have to go. Oh no, the pollution is really starting. This must be... Graf, I know. I... <coughs> I didn't want something inside me. Made me do it. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Why didn't you stop me? There should have been safety protocols. <coughs> the... Creator, the one who set up this whole system years ago, the consciousness center, the opportunity to become a drummer. That person designed everything, set up all the rules. Then he's a fool, just like I am. <coughs> we all are, in various ways. Is this <coughs> the first accident? This wasn't the usual trial. Uh... The Creator thought you didn't deserve to be a drummer if you failed these tests. They were designed... for you. For me? Why? Take this. A pill? <coughs> Nobody should know. This was an accident. No! It was my fault! You shouldn't forgive me. It's... it's your son! <coughs> mm. I'm ready to pay the price. Do it! Attack me! Crush me! Or leave me here to die. <coughs> Graf. I shouldn't be living after this. Please, I beg you, take this pill. Why? Why are you helping me? I owe it to the Creator. In a way, we're both his sons. Both? <coughs> but I'm not... I see. Your Creator... 
It's a godlike religious entity, eh? Mm. Fine. Just promise. Do not tell anyone. Not your friend, not even your tutor. And stop blaming yourself. If not for you, do it for me. <sighs> okay. Tomorrow is a new day. Graf, thank goodness you're okay. I am, but not thanks to you. I'm sorry. I got your messages. Too late. I was so worried. Don't touch me. What are you doing? Stop <clears throat> that! Only when I've got you out of here. <clears throat> Somebody! Uh, I'm scared. Uh. Ah! No way. He escaped. Oh, maybe I went too far? Uh-oh. Maybe the doctor's not so paranoid after all. Target acquired. Hey, is someone there? Hey, Doc. I figured you'd come back here. Did you get them? Yeah, totally destroyed and in little pieces. Look, uh, truly sorry about earlier. Oh, that's what I get for hiring a rough fighter. I... I'm ready now. Let's go to the border first. Good. You gotta examine that pipe pill, right? No choice. I gotta eliminate them. Hey, Metal Brains! I've got the perfect tool to unscrew you. My fists! Idiotic target acquired. Ah. <laughs> Yes, boss. Uh-huh. How you- <laughs> ah! Did you just kill this man? Uh, nah. Nah, the fall isn't that high. I hope. Quick, check on your friend. No. He's not breathing. Come on, big bear. This is hardly the time to hibernate. Oh, no good. You're a doctor. Do something. N not that kind of doctor. But uh, let me see. Uh, no pulse. Uh, I'm afraid it's too late. No. Did did I waste too much time? I refuse. Wake up. Wake up. Stop this. I don't... didn't know him well, but I can't stand 
losing anyone. Of course. Nobody does. <sighs> We're all going to die. Eventually, yes. I mean, everyone in the slums. If not the pollution, the tribots, the squealers, all against us. What chance do we have? What's the point? No. <sighs> You're right. We will probably fail. Way to cheer up someone. But, but I'm here for this. We can't give up yet. At least, we must try. <sighs> You're right. Obviously. But I'm getting tired of fighting for nothing. I didn't choose you randomly, Mr. Crocodile Detective. You're one of a kind. I'm putting my trust in you. <sighs> Listen, while you were away, I was contacted by a journalist. They're willing to spread the word over the media about what's happening here. They're waiting for us in Sector 56X. That's on our way. Right. Whatever. Oh. And I'd call the body recycling service, but in our situation... Yeah. Bringing more bots is a bad idea. Sorry. We have to leave. <sighs> Goodbye, RJ. Wherever you are now, tell Leah I'll be staying a little longer. I'd like to test something. Can you open the door to these bots? Probably. Why? I'll stay hidden. Release one. Are you mad? You realize they may all come at us when I open this door. Trust me. Very well. I'll try. Just one. Uh. Hello. How may I serve you? That one seems nice. Hmm. Bring it closer to Dr. Gherkin. D don't Go ahead, bot. To that man in front of you. Oh no! Target acquired. <coughs> it's gone crazy. I'll handle this. You were right, Doc. They're after you. Now do you believe me? Someone must want you dead. I'll figure out what's happening, but I need both of you to start pouring it out. First, Doctor, why did you call me? This morning, I was alone. Do we really stand a chance against all those bots? We're running out of options. Very well. But I'm not giving up yet. D attempted to find a solution with the help of Dr. Gherkin, to no avail. During this search, the doc mentioned weird theories, like eggs are the scientific symbol for loops. Uh, I was getting bored, so I wrote it all down. In the end, we decided to leave the doctor inside, while we prepared ourselves for the fight of our lives. You ready? To save my husband? Couldn't be more ready. Okay. Three, two, one. We made it? Seems so. Quite amazing fighting skills for a drummer journalist. Huh. Save the praise for later. Let's go. Wait. What's your plan? Simple. I go in, kick those bots' asses, and come back with my man. It's a police department. There are dozens of bots in there. There must be a better way. Okay. Tell me. I'll go in and smash my way through those tin cans. And what's the difference with my plan, pray tell? Well, I'll do most of the job. You'll stay behind me for support. Oh, I see. 
Mister thinks I'm too weak to beat those AIs. No, but I'm more experienced. I eat bots chips for breakfast. How courteous. Okay, tough guy. Show me what you've got. May we help you? Yeah. Can you break down, please? Does not compute. Shame. Looks like I'll have to do it myself then. <laughs> job thanks but we better move I have a bad feeling look the passage to the back rooms it's solidified what do we do smash our way through what else darn here comes more Let's move on. Human, not authorized. That barrier solidified as well. It wasn't there two days ago. I guess they upped the security. Smash it, big guy! On. Dr. Mink, was Sin here? The Rue? Yeah, he left earlier. I, I repeat, what's going on? You're in danger here. What? I'll release you. Nice of you, after putting me here. Uh, this can't be happening. I couldn't even tell him. The alarm. It stopped. <sighs> I should have got him out of here when I could. Can you explain your presence here? And who is your charming friend? Let me guess. The chief of police? Where's Sin? I've released him earlier. And your presence here may confirm my suspicions. What suspicions? The bots. They're supposed to take care of prisoners. However, they've displayed strange behaviors lately. I can't trust them anymore. I took it upon myself to lead Sin out of here until the situation is resolved. Where is he now? Probably still in the slums. I left him at his apartment. I gotta go. Wait, what about- Call you later. And the pills shortage? It's probable everything is linked. Hmm. Dee said she has proof of criminals getting murdered, but I can't see any obvious connection. Proof? We should share our information, but not here. More bots are on their way to replace the ones you've destroyed, and I have no control over them. Let's meet at the ancient garbage disposal center. 
In one hour. You sure? No one ever goes there. All the more reason. It's an open area. We wouldn't be spied on without knowing it. Hey, what about me? Am I free to go? Yeah, why release Sin and not him? I always treat problems one at a time. Regardless, you're the reason he's been incarcerated. Your decision. Yeah, let him go. Whew. And just to confirm, I never killed anyone. The murderer is still around. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Well, see ya. Bork? That's insulting, you know. I wish you'd stop calling me that. It's not your name. What? Whatever. We've had our differences in the past, but today, we need to cooperate. There's a much bigger threat going on in this country. Yeah. No problem, old man. Later. I'm counting on you. Uh... Hello. School is closed. Oh, uh, okay. Still here? Ah, stop scaring me like that. I'm looking for my boy. So... Cat, gray fur, blue eyes, red sweatshirt. Huh. You... you've seen him! Well... Tell me! Where is he? He... he went out. Not long ago. Uh, with a friend of his. That can't be. What was he doing here? Something about Toxout pills? They must be around. Take a look. Graf... what are you up to? Hello? Hi. I couldn't find Sin. Darn. The chief of police called. He wants us to meet. Yeah, I know, but I can't. My son is missing. What? I'll come to help. Don't. Just uh, convince Wes to come right after. To be honest, I don't feel like dealing with this guy alone. Don't tell me you're scared of the old man. Of course not. I just... Well, it's too important. We don't have much time left. The fate of the slums might depend on this meeting. Make your choice. Okay, on my way. <sighs> Graf, be brave. Okay, on my way. <sighs> Graf, be brave. I He's make Hey, old bot. If you intended to destroy us, why the speech? I couldn't take the risk to have you flee again with those documents. You were my useful idiot, Bork. Thanks to your abysmal detective skills, I was finally able to locate the third member, Dr. Durkin. No! Sorry, it had 
had to come to this. I usually don't kill drummers, but this journalist was a serious big man. Do not cry. You're next. I'll get you. I swear. Yeah. Even if it's the last thing I do. Please, forgive me. And only eyes were the biggest threat to humanity. Mm. And you're the biggest threat to us. Do you realize how many casualties you've caused at the bunker? Good. Murder! Who did this? I was. Mr. Brock? Mr. Brock? Uh, director? What's going on here? Uh, where's Graf? We've been kidnapped by the Squealers. He's still out there. What? I'm, I'm coming. Wait. Now you understand. Don't you? Those Squealers. They're one of those threats from the slums that deserves nothing but elimination. I don't care. My boy is in danger. P-26. Do it. Very well. I've sent some of our tribots after him. How could I trust you? Not him. Trust me. They will bring him back. <sighs> See what you've done. I'll be joining my dear son. Goodbye. No! Well, remember when I... Oh no. Graf, say something. Uh, what? I... I'm okay. 
Brock! Stop it! No, no! He deserves it. He tried to kill you. This time, he won't get away with this. No. No! Oh no. Mr. Brock, what have you done? This, this was the only way to protect everyone. Huh? Graf, where did he go? He left. Oh. Mr. Brock, I don't know what the rat told him, but ever since we've escaped, he's been acting strange. Talk to him. Not yet. D, I saved the slums. Thanks to you. Your daughter will be forever proud of you. Everyone shall know your courage. I'll make sure of it. Mr. Brock, let me handle this. You're sure? Yes. Go. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye. You're here. I was so scared to lose you. Stop this charade. I know everything. Ah. Uh. I've seen it. The violence. That rage in your eyes. What's it gonna be? Drowned? Choked to death? What are you talking about? The reason you got with my mother. The reason she died. The only reason you've been pretending to take care of me. So far. Hmm? This. A picture? This happened at a Tarkism day. You were there. You're responsible for the banishment of their clan. I could not. It's a fake. Obviously. <sighs> Ott said something earlier. Can someone really be family when they spend their life lying to the people close to them? You said you had no more secrets. But you lied to me. Again. How many times has it been already? I don't get it. Take a look. Uh, that bank account. That's my mother's name! Explain! Why didn't you ever tell me? It's my inheritance! No, she did open that account years ago. But this money, it's not hers. You mean it's yours? Yes. No, no way! He was right. Wait, listen to me. Maybe you won't believe me, but here in the slums, there's no way to open a savings account. When I was put in charge of you, I I knew you'd want to become a drummer someday. But your mother, she was the spender type. There was nothing left. I couldn't bear the thought of you starting a life under the dome with zero credit, so I saved up money on this account. For you. You're right. I don't believe it. It's the truth. 50 unis each day by automatic wire transfer. It's been almost six years. Do the math. <sighs> Just another lie. But it doesn't matter. Because of all the trouble you've caused me lately, I couldn't pass. Oh. So I attempted to cheat. That hacker made me an offer, but he ended up turning us into those squealers. Wait, what are you saying? The money is gone! What? I paid the hacker with it. A hundred thousand unis. And now, I guess they've evaporated. Vanished. Are you insane? What have you done? For years, I killed myself to save this money through blood, sweat, and tears. Work? Is that a new word for stealing? Like you did with those squealers yesterday? How could you do this? I had no choice! I had to try and fix the mess you've caused! The mess I have caused? You think everything's easy for me? I never asked for any of this. I had never raised a child, and I shouldn't. No kidding! I'm almost an adult. I don't need you anymore. You're being unfair. Can't you see? I did all of this for you. 
I just saved our world. And that's how you repay me. Saved? From my point of view, you just destroyed that robot. No, countless bots. You've destroyed our rulers. My teacher, Ott's uncle. You murdered someone right in front of me. And who knows how many others destroy. That's the only thing you do. You destroy everything around you. Stop this. If she was here, what would your mother think? <sighs> My mother. I barely remember her. And yet, I hate her. All she ever did was make me and die. How dare you? I forbid you to talk about your mother like this. Who cares? She's dead. Stop. Now you've gone too far. What are you going to do? Kill me? Like you killed her? I... never. Oh, I don't blame you for this. She deserved it anyway. She was trash, a bag of decaying worms. Like you. Enough! I did not kill her! Stop! That hurts! <laughs> I remember that feeling. <sighs> oh, no, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what possessed me. <sighs> Graf? Graf! <clears throat> oh, Graf, come back to me. This can't be! What have I done? <laughs> you... you tried to warn me, but I wouldn't listen. <sighs> no! I destroy everything. Be a detective. That's right. I should have found out my true identity earlier. I tried to fool myself, but I've always known. <sighs> There's a dangerous beast inside me, and I let it win. But I just can't stay alone. <clears throat> Grandpa, Leah, Graf, I'm coming. Thank goodness, the pills are back in stock. You know what happened? What happened? An act of God. He has shown mercy upon us. Our prayers have been answered. Maybe someone just worked out that mess with the pipe pills. Of course, a messenger from the Almighty. After all, we are all his flock, even those who doubt as you do. I suppose so. Let us pray to the Untail. Big sale, folks. Lovely little statue. Only ten unis. The boss is kaput. They're gonna pay for this. Yeah. I'm the boss now. What? No way. They can't even talk proper. I am. Am not. Would you two shut up? The children are sleeping. Sorry, moms. Where is my mom? When is she coming back? I'm sorry, little one. You're not allowed to see her. What about dad? Come on. Where are they? 
I'm afraid nobody knows. They've disappeared. I know it's hard on a little girl, but we'll take good care of you. I know where they are. They're on an adventure together. When I'm older, I'll be brave, just like them. Hello, number X1506. Hello, Dr. Hush. Hmm. Ha ha. Silly bot. Pathetic joke. Back to work. Of course. Productivity wins. Humans always lose. What am I going to... <laughs> hey, who are you? Um... Wait, don't go! I bet you were looting the place. It's okay. Listen, I'm the new leader of this department. Leader? <laughs> what are you, ten years old? Look around you. There's no one else left. I need staff. People willing to help. You want a squealer to be a cop? Man, you're desperate. Yeah, I'm a fool. A fool who thinks we shouldn't judge. There's got to be a first to everything. Wouldn't you say yes to a paid job? A clean job. Paid? Deal! <laughs> I gotta tell all the others. Well, I can't hire everyone. Yeah, yeah, just one or two guys. <laughs> Thanks, little fella. How unexpected, it seem. Let's just hope I can lead them. Thank you.